a a test 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 one two one two toast toast hello everybody welcome in you guys welcome 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 ruler of my heart welcome in everybody hi hello there you guys today we are playing wuthering waves uh let me go ahead and just uh, uh where huh where's huh where'd it go um hold on i thought the thingy was here um one second Thank you for the sub. Thank you. I appreciate you. One second. One second. I thought. What the heck? Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I thought I, I did something that I apparently did not do, even though I thought I did it. But hello, everybody. Welcome in, you guys. I hope you had an awesome week. Yeah. Today's Thursday. I got I hope you guys had an awesome Wednesday yesterday, I guess. But we are back boys and girls and anything in between for some Wuthering Waves 1.2. We are doing that today. Um there it is. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Awesome. Yeah, 85 days free to play, you guys. 85 days free to play on Wuthering Waves. Did you guys think I was going to last this long? Genuine question. Genuine question, you guys. Have I seen the Jeji trailer? Yes. We watched it last stream on Tuesday. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Look at this, boys. Nothing purchased. Nothing purchased. Absolutely not a thing. The purchase shop. All the top-up bonuses are still there. Uh, my funds had a little dent in it from pulling for Chung Lee's weapon. But I have 105 saved. I have 105 saved up for our Queen Camellia. For our Queen Camellia coming up, you know? Yes, I did check out the new profile. Let me actually stop the music. And then I'm going to put on the Woo Woo's music. Okay. Nothing purchased. Um, look at this. Battle Pass, not purchased. I've yet to buy a Battle Pass. You can look at my weapons because I don't have any Battle Pass weapons either. Uh, Lunite subscription, never purchased. None of the bundles have ever been purchased. Um, that's free to play books. Uh, none of these top up bonuses have ever been done. I am fully free to play in this game. I have not spent a dime. I've also gotten insanely lucky with my pulls. We got Jinshi in 30 pulls. I got Chong Li in one pull. We have yet to lose a 50-50 yet. I skipped Jion and I skipped Yin Lin. So I don't have those characters. We're skipping Jeji this time around. Although she does like she's growing on me, but I still think I'm gonna skip her. Just because um, I saw Shorekeeper. I saw Shorekeeper. I want Shorekeeper. <laughs> like, I, I, want, I want Shorekeeper and I need Camellia. So like, you know, you know, Zheji is really good for Jinshi. Well... Um, uh, I'm using Chung Li right now anyways, so uh, I'm sorry. You guys, I'm on team Black Shores all the way. I just think the Black Shores have the best faction. 
like they never miss they never miss character like wise because like they have literally all of the best characters in the game you have camellia you have alto you have encore and now they show us shorekeeper as well like the the faction is freaking stacked beyond belief it's like so unfair but out of 1.2 um the ones i like I, I like the guy i like the guy a lot I, his name is is passing me right now but i actually really like him and he's free which is amazing for my free to play wallet so i don't even need to pull for him which is amazing so like yeah free is great free is great uh jian li yao okay i think i pronounced that wrong but i tried my best is mina finally gonna do chung li story we're gonna play 1.2 i'm gonna play the new the new story there is a new story right i want to play the story quest wait hold on i have to adjust settings uh that's uh no okay no that's already okay never mind i have an unadjusted settings okay why is my pc having a stroke right now okay okay all right all right all right all right feels like forever since you last saw wuwa it has been a minute i feel like it has been a minute there's been just so much happening i feel like and I meant to do Chong Li's story quest. I, I want you guys to know, like, I genuinely had the intentions to play Chong Li's story quest on stream. But then I got strep throat. But then I got strep throat. Oh, there's no game audio? Hold, hold on. Sorry. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. Oh, am I doing F is FPS? Is that the reason it's being weird? Where do you frame? No, I still have it at 60. I could 120 it, but... There you go. 120 gamers. I already got the stuff from the mail. But yeah, I, I got strep. So like, I wasn't able to play Chung Li's story quest like right when it came out. Because I was just like sick. And I feel like me being sick just made me not play anything for like a little bit, you know? FPS looks good on our end. Thank you. Alright, awesome. Perfect. But hey guys, what's up? How are you guys? Are you guys excited? What is the code? Is a so, it's going to be a giveaway. They gave me 49 codes that I can give away to the viewers, to you guys. So, we're going to be doing giveaways periodically throughout today's stream. 49, wow. So, it, hey, I feel like that's actually kind of a lot. So, you're going to have to be watching. And you have to be following. Because if you win and you're not following then i then you didn't win and i will give your win to someone else now that i think about it Wuba barely drops any public codes i yeah they i don't know they're really nice to give us codes to give to you guys you know this is a testament to my connection with guys listen we're we're gotcha gamers we're we're gotcha gamers you were not being sarcastic for the last time it was no it was it was it was, it was around the same i feel like last time is this a sponsored stream yes today's stream is sponsored use my link and get Wuba today I have my chat bot up, right? Oh, hold on, let me just let me just make sure. Guys, I'm a brand new streamer. Earlier today, I was recording with Numi for Strapped In. And we were recording our AX hauls finally because um your girlies okay, yeah, I do have it up. Um because your girlies have just been really busy and we haven't had a chance to uh like link up and do recordings together for Strapped In. So content is coming for Strapped In, just you know, strap in her subazon's almost over. And once that's over, we'll be able to like mass record stuff as well. So you guys will, will get consistent content. But, but, um, so we were recording for like dead ass an hour. And then, and then by the end of it, I realized I just, I didn't hit the record button. But then, but then I found out, I found out. I actually did hit the record button and 40 minutes into the recording, I accidentally hit my keyboard and it stopped recording. So I only really missed 20 minutes, but I didn't realize this until I re-recorded for an hour. So I watched, I watched Numi's POV and dubbed over it as if it was my first time and responding to what she was saying and trying to remember what I was saying. 
So we have like an ADR version for me for the full hour where I am pretending fully to, to, to be in line with exactly what I said beforehand in the same order in which I took things out of the box. But then I looked, I have the first 40 minutes, but then the last 20 minutes is gonna be me BSing. Truly, I am a professional, you guys. I am a professional. Just shove all the footage, the edit. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Pre-watched, pre-watched content, you guys. I think at one point I just started slurping. I was like, <laughs> but there's a reason why I was doing that. There's a reason, I can't tell you guys why. I can't tell you why, but I was doing that for a reason. So you gotta double in a normal recording. <laughs> yeah. You really mean I reacted to her own videos? I know, right? Toes, it's toes. I don't know if I did that for toes or not. But yeah. Oh, Elif is blocking Rover. There you go. There you go. Look at Rover. Actually, let's look at a. Uh... Oh, hello there. There. This is. I think this is a great POV for you guys while we talk for a little bit. Before we actually start, you know, playing. Right. Right. Looking nice. 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 Looking. Is looking an emote? Do. You... Is there is there a seven TV emote called looking that you guys would like? Let me see. Hold on. Seven TV. Yes. Hold. Well, let me add it. The looking. At hand. This very uh, moment is the best of our lives. Oh. I don't see it. I don't see one just called looking. Where, where, oh, I like this one though. Oh, we have that one. We have binoculars. But wait, where's like looking? I don't. I don't see looking. Just straight up looking. I don't see this emote. The moment at hand. This. You know, confirmed Tuesday. She is blind. What do you is mean? The best. What do you mean by that? I'm not, I'm not blind. Oh, looking, I found it. Okay. There you go, there you guys go. I got it, I got it, I got it. Is that the one you guys met? Is that, is that, is that the right one? Yeah. Did you guys watch Molly's stream yesterday? I was on Molly's stream and we played Super Bunny Man and then we played Gang Beasts and then we played Human Fall Flat and it brought back my sickness from how hard I was laughing. Like I was genuinely about to pee on myself from how hard I was laughing. I raised Super Bunny, no I didn't. Witch Girl, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, I appreciate that greatly. Welcome in everybody, hi, hello. I was laughing so hard playing that game. Like I, I genuinely like my, I, I, my throat hurt from laughing, and just like the camp, the, the the distress in Camden's voice every time I stole one of his carrots, brought me so much the joy. At hand. Yeah, it was it was such a funny stream, dude. Moment. It was such a funny stream. It's the best of our lives. It truly, it was just like really random, but like it was it was a fun time. It was a fun time. I, I highly recommend watching the VOD. It, it was really funny. Oh, Camden's great. He's so sweet. He's so funny, too. Dun, dun, when he picked him up and tried. <laughs> the little bitch slap was really funny, too. It was a really funny stream. But but yeah, um, today, though, today we're going to play the 1.2 story. Okay, here's the plan for today, you guys. We're going to play. We're going to play the uh, 1.2 story. Does anyone know how long it is? Do we, do we know how long 1.2 is? Did anyone finish it yet? Erm. Erm. Why are you guys saying erm? Erm. Wow, it's short? Okay, bless. I'm mad early. It came out yesterday. I gave you guys time. Four hours my time? Okay, we have to start now then. But like how much in like normal time? 
Haven't done it. Haven't done it yet. One vote for sure. It came out midnight my time. Well, anyways, we're going to play 1.2. And then we are going to watch the 5.0 Natlin special program. And I'm surprised it's at a normal time. Because it's at midnight my time. So, so that should be interesting. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah, it's in about four hours, a little less than four hours. Very moment. For once, it's at a human it's hour the for the Americans instead of 7 a.m., which is nice. Normal time is kind of crazy. 12 a.m. is normal. It's more normal than, like, I don't know, 6 a.m. Uh, midnight EST. It's still better than 6 a.m. Respectfully, okay? 7 a.m. not being human hours. Not for a streamer. Not for a streamer. Okay? Neither time is normal for East Coast. Nah, guys. I'm a streamer. Alright? Let me live. I went to sleep so late yesterday. But then I made sure to wake up early today. So I'm a little sleepy, but I'll be fine. I'll live. Is the best People wake up at 6am normally though Not gotcha gamers We wake up on resets On daily resets Little guy not a morning person confirmed Damn right Guys she's unemployed Why would she wake up at 7 <laughs> Unemployed I'm a streamer You ever heard of it before A streamer I love that line I love that line so much the moment at hand. Streamer girl working this hard. Very moment. Guys, remember when Mina was still was in Corpo and streaming? You think she would have? She'll have more sleep when she quits, but in the wrong direction, and she gets even less. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I think I get less sleep now than I did when I when I worked corporate, and I used to work a seven to three, so I would wake up at seven a, or I'd wake up at six a.m. because I had to be at work at seven, and then I would work till three. You missed my corpathon. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Anyway, hey chat, who's going to ANYC? Guys, one in chat if you are going to ANYC. The moment. I didn't give you a second option. Just stay quiet if you're not going. Chat, stay quiet if you are not going. I just want to see the people who are going. You asked this before? Yeah, I'm gonna ask it every stream to, you know, like, you know, prep people, to get people ready, you know? So, one in chat, if you intend to go to ANYC or Anime NYC. Freedom of speech, no! Rules are made to be broken. Well, anyways, if you're going to ANYC, just make sure to keep. Mm -hmm your Saturday open at 1 p.m., okay? 1 p.m. Saturday, just make sure you're available. All right? All right, for those, like, three people who are going. Why is Chung Lee blindfolded? Because she has her stacks of superstition on, or whatever it's called. I'm not available anymore, Acheron got you. Just tell her, like, tell her you need, like, 10 minutes. But 115 is a whole live event. Um, I'm the only VTuber you should be watching. Have you ever thought about that? Have you have you ever have you ever thought about that? Why would you need to go to a whole live event? Hmm? Hmm? Why would you you watch other streamers? Are you are you betraying me? Yeah, what's a V2? How dare you? How dare you mention another vtuber in my presence lovely weather we're happy <laughs> even other streamers because you don't stream 24 7 then you should be watching my vods i'm not seeing an issue here i there's three years worth of content that you could be watching three three years of content that you could be watching this is no excuse i watched them all <laughs> What about Brax? You can only watch the Brax videos I'm in. Duck? You can only watch the Duck videos I'm in as well. Okay? <laughs> Poke, you can only watch the Poke videos I'm in. <laughs> like... 
You're only allowed to watch my friends if I'm there. <laughs> I don't know who Numi is. I only know Numi Plus, my Oshi. Yeah, man. You recently rewatched all my Honkai videos? God damn. Clip it and send it. Hell yeah, brother. Trapped in and topped up are both slow on upload. Okay, listen. Listen. I got sick for a month. So a lot of stuff got got delayed. And then Numi is in a subathon. So like so like, you know. Is Mina having her parasocial phase or just being platonic? Platonically parasocial. I mean, I'm trying to find Ethereum Wars Part 2. Where can I find it? Um, you guys, if we ever do another Redacted, I'm going to make that a goal. I'm going to make I'm going to make that like a 10,000 sub goal. Finish Ethereum Wars. That'll be that'll be it. That'll be a 10,000 subs. Cuz I don't want to do it. Got to start saving. <laughs> would Mina survive another No, I don't think I would. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be so for real, you guys. Oh my god. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. Alice bought her ticket to to Japan. I don't know if she got her passport yet, but she bought her plane ticket to Japan. It turns out she got the same flight that we did. So we're going to be on the same plane to and back from Japan as well, which is really nice. Am I going to meet the JPVA or Robin? I'm already friends with the ENVA. Why do I need to meet the JP one? platonically flying although i'm not gonna lie you guys guys so i'm in the premium section you know because i'm just like a little extra i'm like I'm, I'm i'm like i'm just a little extra so i'm not sitting with my friends i'm sitting by myself <laughs> a little okay listen 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 you guys, you guys, no, 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 guys, no, listen, 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 chat, chat, you need to hear me out here, okay? I need this. You know why I need this? Because I'm going to give you guys my schedule. September 19th, I'm going to TwitchCon. September 22nd, I'm coming home. A few days later, I'm going to Japan. I'm going to be so tired. I'm going to be so tired. That I want my 16 hour flight to Japan to be as comfortable as possible because I'm going to a whole ass convention across the country, coming home, having less than 24 hours before I have to go on the plane again for like 16 hours. Okay, so so God forbid, God forbid, I I want to upgrade a little bit, upgrade a little bit. For my 16 hour flight to be a little bit more cozy after a whole convention of socializing. No, first class is way too expensive. First, no guys, first class is way too expensive. Each way is $4,000. 4,000, I am not paying $4,000 for, for a ticket to like one way by the way, 4,000 one way. Both ways is $8,000. All right. Do you guys want to know how much premium was to upgrade to premium? Three hundred dollars. You guys, three hundred. That felt that felt a little bit more worth it. Okay, much more reasonable. A lot more space than just economy. All right. So yeah. Oh yeah, it's not that bad for sixteen hours. That's why I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. That's I, I'm okay doing that. But guys, listen, 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 listen. It doesn't matter if I could, if I could afford it. The, it's the principle. It's the principle. Okay? It's the principle about spending that much money on an upgrade that I'm okay with just being in premium. I don't need to be in first class. Because I'd rather spend the $4,000 in Japan 
enjoying buying things in Japan than spending it all before I even get there. You know? You get what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Sounds like when you bought your standing desk and it came in handy except for the one time when it turned my PC off. 8,000 more dollars for Yuri. Damn right. Ah, I do, I do. You're gonna spend 4K on gachapons in Japan. Yes. Yes, how did your desk turn off your computer? Um, so this desk is really cool because you plug the desk into an outlet and then the computer and then the desk itself has an outlet. So like, it's like a connection of outlets. So the one that connects from my desk to the, the 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 wall um unplugged so it turned off everything that was plugged into my desk which is my entire setup it was just it was it was feeling like a little it was feeling like a little quirky you know premium and first class are like s1 and s5 yeah i'm so excited for all the gotcha i'm gonna get in japan you aren't supposed to plug your PC into a splitter. Um, listen, I do what I want. What about business? Business and first class are like the same thing. It's still four thousand dollars. The upgrade is four thousand dollars. I'm not. I'm not spending that money. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I can't. I just can't justify that for myself. See, she gets it. Chung Lee gets it. Rip wall outlet. Why? The way I heard you say a little quirky in my head before you said it. What can I say? I'm just like... I love being predictable for you guys, you know? $4,000 could get you four E6 characters if you're lucky. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. If we fund the first class, will you go to a maid cafe and Kabedon the maids? Please don't fund first class for me. Um, I can I can promise you I will not cabedon a maid. But if you want to fund my first class, I'll cabedon Alice. I'll do it. I'll giggle. But you'll have to like kind of just deal with me saying it. But like, you know, even better. <laughs> Please don't don't fund my first class. Don't do that. Because I'm telling you now, if someone sent me $4,000 right now, I'm not buying first class. I will keep the $4,000 and I will just spend it in Japan. So, like, thank you for giving me a budget. <laughs> like... A kabedon is when you hit the wall of the person, like, behind them. And you get, like, really close to their face. Scammed? I'm telling you from now what you're getting yourselves into. If you want to give me, like... Eight thousand month, like eight thousand dollars, like go for. It. I won't say no, but <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend that money. You need money for first class, bet I'll send you eight k right now. Please don't. I just joined in the stream, and the first thing I see is peak gameplay. Of course, right here, the best peaks to exist. This very moment is the. Would you reserve a one night stay and a traditional Japanese inn for experience? Um. One of the Airbnbs we're staring at is more of a traditional style home. And the other hotel that I'm staying at is no, we not we didn't go like we didn't go like full traditional, you know? Mina's too bottom to Cabedon, let's be real. For eight thousand dollars I would do it. Okay, for for, for eight thousand I would do it. Are the codes out or not? So it's gotcha system. I'm gonna do a giveaway soon. Is the best of our lives. Doing it for money is bottom behavior. What do you mean? Eight, wasn't it just 4K a second ago? Well, it's 4K each way. So like, yeah, 4K. I'll do I'll do one for 4K. Like, I, yeah, that, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I would do one. 
Yeah, you'd have to wait, because, like, I'm not seeing her till next weekend. Can Mina even Kabe done, though? We know what she. Oh my god. Bum, bum, bum. No, I'm gonna play the story. We're just talking a little bit first, chat. I missed you guys. Do you guys not want to talk to me? Do you guys do you guys not want to talk? Mina doesn't feel like a bottom. It feels like she wants to be a bottom. I don't know about you guys, but if I was Rover, I'd be in Lee's obedient plap doll, no questions asked. Day in and day out, you'll find me tied up in her strings, getting my hips broken in by her breedable hips and mind breaking fingers. Also, hi, Mina, smile. Mimer, did you change your profile? Mimer, Mimer, you changed your account, right? Mimer, that was you, right? No, no, Mimer, I feel like that was you. That I feel like that was an alt account. <laughs> that it felt that felt like one of your messages. New Mimer baby. Chat no, don't don't put me in here. Don't put me in there. I make tasteful jokes. Just saying. Just saying. Like, sometimes it's okay to keep thoughts in our brains, you guys. Just like a little bit, just a little bit. Like, sure, do I, would I love to motorboat Chong Li? Yeah, of course. Do we need to say it out loud all the time? No, we don't. So it's, it's okay to have inside thoughts at times, you guys, right? But I just said, no, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you guys mind readers? Once or twice is okay, noted. <laughs> oh my god. Cue clips of whenever Mina meets hot woman. I don't know what you're talking about. Chang is really pretty though. I'm like, I'm still shocked at how nice her character model is. Ruan May. I don't know what you're talking about. Guys, I want you to know I'm staring at my poster of Robin right now and I'm and I'm just looking at her. It's like she judges me every time I say anything out of pocket. It's just keeping me in line. We knew it. Serval's coochie juice. I feel like with that username, you're not allowed to say anything. I just feel like you lost the right to make a point with that username. All right? I just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. Undo Stone, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you guys for the subs, by the way. I always do appreciate you guys greatly. This Wuwa 1.2 version activity takes me 6.5 hours to finish. Off. Why would you tell me that? No, no, then I really need to start now. I thought mine was bad. Robin's neck wound. Damn, that's crazy. Your username is something the game forgot about. Sometimes I think even even the game itself forgot that they wrote that in. Bum, bum. We want more stall Yama. Yeah, we're just talking. We're just having fun times. Who's Robin? Oh, she's a new character coming out uh, next patch. I'm really excited for her. Bum. Wouldn't your thirst for Black Swan, while valid, count you out to Mina? Is my username Black Swan's bra? No, it's not. I'm perfectly fine. My username is normal. Or like Black Swan's back shots. That's your first thought? I mean, listen. I mean, you know. BRB making a new account. <laughs> oh my god. You know someone's creating the account right now. There's no way. Wow. Frost, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you for 16 months. I appreciate you. Um, you spelled lingerie the wrong. At hand. 
this very moment guys i want usernames with my name in it of our lives like like other people have like you know like random ass like, I, I want i want like 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 mina's toxin or like like normal ones though normal ones not like weird ones but like normal ones you parasocial no not parasocial normally <laughs> Finally free ball. Thank you for gifting a sub to Black Swan Baby Mina. That's two pair of social Mina that goes against the platonic code. What do you mean platonic code? Mina's free to play account. <laughs> <laughs> Mina's uncontrollable thirst. Why not just like Mina fan? Or like, you know. Well, this Wubo stream is just chatting. You should have pulled Yun Lee. Hey! What's wrong with Chung Lee? Why do I want usernames? Is your name? Um. The moment because I think it's really cute. This Mina Bottom Yama. Yeah, like that. Is the best of our lives. There's some Aoyama fan usernames out there. Yeah, that's for like My Hero Academia Aoyama, okay? Me, a casual viewer seeing those usernames. <laughs> Mina to nowhere. I've had many a streamer based names, but I have in fact never made a Mina one yet. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm freaking saying. Bum, bum. I'm just sad that you didn't get Yinlin. I'm sorry. I'm free to play. The moment at hand. This. Mina Aumama sounds like her mom's account name. I mean, probably. Bum, 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 bum. Would I ever E6 Black Swan on rerun? I think it depends when she reruns. I don't think I would E6 if it's like within the next few patches. I might go for some cons though. I might like, I might try to get like an e E2 maybe or like an E3. But I, I don't think I would I would go for E6. Vanna, thank you so much for the tier uh, for gifting out a sub. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh just because I I don't know. I'm doing a lot of traveling coming up. I don't want to spend too much money. So I'll probably like if if she does have a rerun within the next few patches, I'll probably just like E2, E3. But I won't I won't like E6. Why did I think she eats it? No, I have an E1 uh, Black Swan just because I got a double. I got really lucky with her. And I intended to not E6 any more characters when Black Swan first came around. So, like, you know, I just got lucky. And then, but then Allegra told me to keep pulling and was I supposed to say no? And then, I mean, like, Robin. Watch, she's gonna cheat Robin for another hot HSR character. Do you guys doubt my loyalty that much on my favorite character? Like, I haven't had Kazuha as my favorite Genshin character for over two years. Like, do you guys genuinely believe, do you genuinely believe that my love of Robin, my obsessive love for Robin is gonna sway anytime soon? Just saying, just saying. Because my my brain moffer, I know I'm annoying about her. Like you you need to understand. I know I'm annoying about Robin. And I can't help it. I can't help it. I just love Robin. You mean it doesn't sway to your B? Oh my god. Camellia, Robin, Robin. Robin 100 percent Robin right now is my favorite character. Like like flat out. She's my favorite character right now. What if Obsidian is the perfect woman? Well, we'll see whenever Obsidian comes out, but she's not out yet, so I don't need to worry about it. From Molly to Sam to Allegra to Alice. Um, actually, Topaz and Akron were never my favorite characters. They know this. They know this information. They've, they've already accepted this about me, you guys. Allegra, Allegra knows, Allegra knows, because she always gives me shit for it, that I like Black Swan, like, she knows that, like, out of Aka Swan, I like Black Swan more. She knows this about me. And she, and she accepts this as well. Sam, Sam is just happy to be top 15. 
Kafka's number number six. I love Kafka. Bum, bum. See, you guys keep saying like, oh, you're gonna sway, you're gonna sway. I had a dream, blah, 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 blah. You guys, you need to understand. Robin takes every box of a character that I like. Like, you need to understand, you need to understand. Idle, pretty, idle, soft, elegant, gorgeous. That's all I need. She's perfect. But not blonde. Surprisingly, most of my favorite characters aren't blonde. I like blondes aesthetically, but um, the, a lot of my favorite characters are not blonde. So Kiana, I do adore Kiana. Mina's arachnophobia. I love that. I love that so much. See, that's what I want. That's what I want. Thank you for listening. Very moment. The idle part is rare, which makes it even more valuable. Exactly. What's that? It's a phobia of spiders. I don't like spiders. Yeet Jade for HSR Durndal. I will love HSR Durndal. Basically, Mina wants a blonde Hatsune Miku. I love Miku. Would I E6 Durndal if she comes to HSR? Um, we have Serval. Weren't you a spider VTuber once? Yeah. Someone should make their Twitch name Mina's Robophobia. Erm. Um. Am I gonna pull for Jaucho? Yes, I'm gonna go for E0. We're gonna E0 Jaucho. E0 S1. Bum, bum, bum. Don't hate spiders that keep your house clean. If I see the spider, I will cry. Bum, bum, bum. Wow. Mega Dragu, thanks so much for the prime sub. Thank you. Mina prefers Takina rather than Chisato, and Chisato's about Exactly! Guys, listen. It's all about the vibe. Okay, guys, I'm I'm actually like really scared to like kill a spider. Because, like, at least, like, smush a spider. Because I've seen those videos of people who kill a spider. And then it, like, gives birth to thousands of little spiders. And that's genuinely, like, one of my biggest fears ever. Like, I saw one where, like, it was at least in a bathtub. And, like, she started spraying the spider. And then, like, it, it, like, it got so scared. It started, like, shitting out spiders. Like, baby spiders. Like, it gave birth. And that was, like, so scary. That's when you burn that. Yeah, no, that's no actual terrifying. I'd move. I also would move. Uh, that was a nest, not one spy. No, dude, it looked like it was shitting out spy. I don't know, bro. I didn't like that. I think I'm. Gonna, <laughs> I'll think about that when I sleep the night. You're welcome. I got you guys. Don't worry, chat. I, I, I always have your back, chat. I'll always let you guys know the, the terrifying things that I also see. <laughs> there are spiders who carry their eggs on their back and that's... Uh, just... What is this angle? It's the best angle. Uh, we should do a giveaway for some codes. Alright guys, what should we make the, uh, the code word? The moment at hand. Giveaway. This. I'll include mods. Is the best of our lives. I'll give away ten codes right now. We're gonna do it quick. We're gonna do quick status. And then we'll start playing the story. Okay. What should we make the keyword? Um Code, uh, no, we're not making it spider. Caught? Robin? No, we should make it Wu Wu related, you guys. Oh, yeah, make sure your whispers are open. Yeah, because a mod will DM you. Camellia? Okay. Keyword, we'll do exclamation point Camellia. Type that in. Type that in to be eligible to. To win a code. Yeah. Yeah. All 
right, the rules, the ground rules, very simple. You must be following me. If you are not following me and you win, you will not get your code because you did not win. You have to be following, okay? It doesn't matter if you're following for one second. You just have to hit follow before you win. If you win and then hit follow, then I will still retract your win. So spam the word camellia, exclamation point camellia for, for a chance. I'll give you guys a few seconds. What code is this? Um, Wuwa was really kind to give me a bunch of codes for you guys. Um, it includes 30 asteroids, an energy bag, uh, resonance potions, energy cores, shell credits. So you all are getting some codes. And we all said thank you, Wuwa. Yeah, 30 whole asteroids, exactly. That's so many. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. I hope a mod wins. Robin's chicken wings. I love this. I love this. Robin's chicken wings, please be here. Please say hi. You have to talk in chat. Please. Please say hi. Please say hi. Robin's chicken wings, please. Please. Acknowledge yourselves. Where are you? Please. Hi. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I'm so glad. Congratulations. You are our first winner. Our first of many. Congratulations. All right, that's number one. Congratulations, good job. I'm so proud of you. Great username, by the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero Phantom, are you here? Are you here, Zero Phantom? <laughs> Madge, the, I love Madge Clap. Ain't no way. Yes way. You have won. Congratulations. You are our second winner. All right. Exclamation point Camellia. If you also want a chance to win, you guys. Exclamation point Camellia. We're going to do 10 right now. And then we're going to play a bit of the story. And then I'll do another 10. Exclamation point Camellia. For your chance to win, please make sure you are also subscribed. Uh, not subscribe, sorry. I mean, you can subscribe. I, I'd appreciate that. Uh, make sure you're following to, to make sure that you can win. And make sure to use my link and download Wuthering Waves today, you guys. Zethir. Are you here? Zethir? 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 Zeth? Z Zethir? Do we gotta do, keep doing it or just... Uh, it should just count as once. Hello! Congratulations! You are our third winner of the night. Congratulations! Congratulations! Pachi, 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 pachi. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bam. Miss Karos. Miss Karos? Hmm. Miss Derek, Miss Derek. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you here? Hi. Congratulations. You are number four. Lots of winners. Lots of winners. Oh, my God. Everyone's uh, everyone's here, too. It's so nice. That's so freaking nice. Exclamation point, Camellia, if you would like a chance to win as well. That's number four out of the ten that we're doing right now. And then later in the stream, we'll do another ten. And then another ten. Because we have 50 to give... Or 49 to give away total. Alrighty. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Westney underscore 21. Westney. Westney? Westney? You have one minute to say hi. And or anything. Hello! Congratulations! You are our next winner. Mods, make sure you also say it so you have a chance to win too. I want one of the mods to win. Those are our first five winners and we're going to do five more. Five more. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching and thank you for following. Five, four, three, two, one. Lucas Mar. Ooh. Lucas. Lucas. 
Lucas. You're not Lucas, you're not you're not following. Lucas, we had one rule. The moment at hand. I'm so sorry, Lucas. We had we had we had one rule is the that you moments. had to be following before winning. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You you can follow now and pray you win again. But I apologize. I have to stay true to the rules and I'm so sorry. Psychmon. I'm sorry, Lucas. I'm so sorry. But Psychmon, are you here? Psychmon, here. Congratulations. You are winner number 6. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Alrighty. Exclamation point, Camellia. And please make sure you are following before winning. Because you will be disqualified if you are not following. So make sure you are following before. Five, four, three, two, one. Kurumiku. Kurukuru. Kurukuru. You followed three minutes ago, but it still counts. Congratulations, Kurumiku. Congratulations. You are our seventh winner. We have three more for this round, and I'm going to play a bit of the game, and then we'll come back and we'll do more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okamijin. Okamijin. Also, please make sure your Twitch whispers are open so that a moderator can DM you your code. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Congratulations. You are a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Awesome. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have two more for this round. Exclamation point, Camellia. Please make sure you are following for your chance to be eligible. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Na, 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 mine. A regular. A regular has won. Nana Namine. Are you here? Namine? The moment at hand. Congratu <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. You're a winner number nine. Moments. Now we have one more. Now we have one more. One more winner for this round, you guys. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. MJ Valentino. Are you here? Ma MJ Valentino? Um. Are you. Are you. No weighing? You got it. You got it, buddy. Congratulations. You're winner number 10. Alrighty. That's the first 10. We do have 49 in total. So for right now, we're going to take a little bit of a break from the giveaway. And I'm going to start playing Wuthering Wave. I'm going to play 1.2. And yeah. And then we're going we're gonna, to, you know, go off with it. Why 49 not 50, bro? Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's time to play the game. You guys should use my link and download Wuthering Waves today, by the way. Look at that. Don't you want this? Don't you want this? Don't you want, like, look at that. Look at that. Don't you want that? Right? Right? Don't you, guys, 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 guys. I'm just saying. Just saying. Did I look at the new character profile? I did actually. Eons of time on this vast land, all encapsulated in a humble game. I am fortunate to have you as my opponent. I love that you're able to watch the pull animation because of this. Have I seen rovers? I actually don't think I have. Black Shores Men? Eons. Oh, 
Oh, Rover's cute. Eons of before told, you and I were meant to cross paths. Nice. Alrighty, um... Is it the tutorial quest? Is it... Yes? Okay. Oh, I'm nearby, nice. No, I'm gonna be skipping Jeji just because I am free to play, and I just I I don't have I don't have the spendings for it. I would I want to save for Shorekeeper. Hello, Rover. It's me, Yang Yang. I'm not gonna lie, I like forgot about Yang Yang. Did her voice? No, it's still the same voice. I I like just kind of forgot about it. No, I'm good. No, I'm I'm busy actually. So, what have you been up to these past few days? Feeling lonely without us around? No, I'm good. Wanna go see some fireworks? I how about some moon shooting? With a festival just around the corner, there's a really cool spot we can take you to. Festival? Yes. It'll be the moon chasing festival in a few days. Though we celebrate this festival every year in Huanglong. Given everything that has happened, this year's moon chasing festival in Jinzhou is sure to be quite special. Yes, yeah, special. I've them hanging lanterns all around City Hall. Every street and alley is going to be glowing. I can't wait to see it all lit up. And we've got special Jinzhou traditions you won't find anywhere else. Like tell you and Vale. Folks go there a few days before the festival to write their wishes onto paper. Then mm, hang them mm, on mm, branches mm. or toss them into Moon Tree Lodge. They say wishes made during these days are sure to come true. Works like a charm. I'm gonna wish to like for Camellia Where to come out. Go? All you gotta do is write down your wish. Real simple. Yang Yang, Baija, and I are already here. Oh my god, Baija? Wait, I haven't seen her in forever. I'll come find you guys. I gotta find you. Great. I haven't seen Baijer in a while. Alright. We gotta go wish for Camellia, you guys. Where is she? Where's my queen? What's going on? Oh? Where are we walking? What's going on? Music is nice. Hey, over here! Hey, over here! Wow, it's a Where starting trio. <laughs> Did you miss us? Oh, anything exciting happened while you're out there? Rover oh, we met um Chung Lee. She was really pretty. Come on, let us in on it. Uh, I also met Jinshi. She's also really pretty. And then um, a lot of so, stuff happened with so Jue. You mean that big Mount Firmament thingy that shocked all of Jinzhou? Uh, no way! That shocked all of Guanglong was it all because of you? Mm, yeah, I'm kind of awesome. Rover saves the day yet again. It was a team effort. Yep, that would be me. I'm kind of a big deal. With the Thrinodian defeated. Our oh my God, Vizier. and Jinjo Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. Yes. A rover? And the Sentinel did give you certain insights about your memory loss. While there's still much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. I'm still not a fan of Yang Yang. long last. We can finally have some fun. Hey, what better time to celebrate than the moon chasing festival, right? 
Yeah. You, me, Yang Yang, and Bai Cha, the four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's I mean, yeah, the VA is better. I just like Yang Yang. It's exclusive to Chin Chou, happening only on the night of the festival. There's so much to eat, drink, play, and see. Yeah, there's so much to do. Wait till I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. I know a spot that has the perfect. I like Chi though. I think she's cute. Like personality-wise, I think she's really cute. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Sounds very exciting. Then it's a deal. Mark my words. With us around, you'll be in for a moon chasing festival you'll remember for life. Shoot, we got so distracted with everything else, I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal. You won't want to miss it. Huge deal. That's right. Remember what I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? Okay, we're, we're dead ass gonna wish for Camellia. There are stories of it flying around, especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the moon chasing festival seem to come true in one form or another. Mm, 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 mm. One form A few or another. Years ago, Jinjo had endless rain. Yang Yang wished for clear skies for the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. We got the animated blushing. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. Are we having a moment? The Moon Chasing Festival does have a history of such coincidences. Maybe there's something to the wish. Anyway, Vizier, how are you doing? How, how are you doing, Queen? How's like your science stuff going? Or maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the wishing tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. You saved the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Plays, I'm out. Mm -hmm. All right, better get to it before we chatter ourselves away again. Bum, bum. The it's because Yang Yang thinks I'm being a sin sin. Off you go. I love how like Rover has like not a thought in their head. We've already made our wishes. Mines for the moonlit fair to draw in a huge crowd. And You're not supposed to tell us your wish before it comes time. true, Chishia. As for Yang Yang, she wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. What did Baijer wish for? What about Baijer? She, uh, uh, she's not really. Uh, she's so cool. Don't mind me. I tend not to make wishes. But if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. She's so pretty. Yeah, you're the last one left. Oh, and don't forget about Abby. I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. Oh my god, I forgot that we had Abby. Knock, knock, Abby. Rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, it's time for on? eggs and bakey. You want to make a wish on the wishing tree? Make a wish. I like how Frover's earring Who's looks like a yield tired? sign. Just make one for me. Ugh, I want mm, lots of goodies to eat. Mm, I don't ever want to be hungry again. Never mind. Go back to sleep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like mood. Well, what did Abby say? Wow! I 
Nana. Thank you so much for the tier one. Why is there such a long pause? Well, after you finish at the wishing tree, come see us at the moonlit fair. Shizia and I will be helping out with preparations. <laughs> I'll be over at Qingxi's moon shooter stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give you a sneak peek. I'll keep that in mind. This area is really pretty. Especially with like Chung Li here. Bro, okay, the blindfold's off. There you go, there you go, you guys. I removed the blindfold. We're good now. We need ruin. Patty. Moon chasing festival. Moon chasing festival. Is that a robot? No, it's a chicken. It seems to be malfunctioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. All right. Is this your robot? Excuse me, have you seen this robot before? Do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. Yeah, it's acting a little, um, as one would call it, sussy wussy. Uh, it looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. One of its parts must be broken. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams <laughs> in there and <laughs> before you know it, Someone makes them come true. Mm. You can even say it's part of the okay, wishing okay, tree. So the but wishes made at the lodge are more public. It's up to the wisher if they want to share. Anyhow, wisher, I, saw I hardly that know her. Hovering around there earlier. Maybe that's where you should start your search. The Moon Tree Lodge. <laughs> Might as well drop by if it's at the wishing tree. This area is so pretty. Hey, Paisha is here. Mother told me the moonlit fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Oh, I can take a selfie with her. Mother told me the moon. Boom. All right. Okay. That was random. Malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. He One sounds moment. soft. Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator Xianli Yao. Authentication Xianli? confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics number 231. Onboard diagnostics failed. Bell to ring. Wishes. Beep beep. Waiting for a bright of future. Glory on the battlefield. Oh, free tickets. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Hmm. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. 
wishes, analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. Well, correction. Four. Oh, Patty. Wishes and solutions? Could this relate to what Chisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? Did they change how all the names are pronounced, and or am I going crazy? Now. The name sounds familiar. Perhaps. He's really pretty. Reaches for a cable-like object. Isolating of normal data. Running data correction. There. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostic. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. Aww. But where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. It's okay. Will the robot be okay? It's just a temporary measure. He is so I'll pretty. I'll conduct a thorough examination later. Yeah, I know he's free. I'm like, Thank God bless. Thank you for turning him to me. Wait, how do you know me? You know me? Yes. I've heard a lot about you from my colleagues at the Academy. Many of them are eager to meet you. I hope their enthusiasm hasn't been too overwhelming for you. Xiang Li Yao, a pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the Academy, but I'm glad to finally have the Is chance to Is he the meet one you. that, um, more, more Teffy? Like, was talking about or talking to at one point? Yeah? I merely provided a few ideas, but... I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was yeah, regarding I really like his the hair battle piece. at the Norfall Barrens. This year's moon chasing festival could only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. You're welcome. Is this place yours? So you're the mysterious hero granting wishes. Hero? <laughs> it's not as grand as that. It started by uh, trying to help children fulfill their wishes. Wait. No, put your hand back. He did the thing. Guys, he did the thing. Oh, wait, that's break counter. He did the thing. Make it like the size accurate. I think it just like the size of his chest, like that. He did the thing, you guys. It is on standby. It's always on standby. However. I do hope you can keep that between us. I see you prefer to work behind the scenes. Your secrets is safe with me. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. I wish it would say Frover. wishes come true and everyone enjoying the <gasps> festival. Come in, Frover, for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy. What will you taste like? Important gift. It wants to eat me? Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. Mm. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? You read my mind. I'd like a tour of this place. In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. The flowers are so pretty. Ugh, all the wishes. The game is so smooth in 120. 
Hello there. Okay. Welcome. I, I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. There's so many, I don't know what to pick. I can't think of any uh, on the top of my head. My wish is for everyone's wishes to come true. My wish is for Camellia. Take your time. We still have a little while before the Moon Chasing Festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. What's wrong In with it? In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread right, drastically right, with the addition of each How wish. Could you? Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. Cloud? Hello? Thank you for gifting 11 subs. What the heck, man? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, if you got gifted a sub, please, please, please make sure to say thank you to your sub daddy and appreciate the ad-free viewing experience and the emotes. Thank you so much. And Gabby, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Did someone tamper with the wishes? And everyone's wishes. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. I've this? isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes, pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. But before that, Can you imagine I need someone to coming up to you like, "Hey, the, the wish she made is whack." By these anomalies, to minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. With careful planning, it does have its challenges. But everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. El I wish, bro. To let them down. Yes, Yang Yang and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. Is there anything I can do? I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh my God! God bless you, sir. That's such a nice. That's a nice man right there. I offered my services, and he said, "No, it's okay. Like, live your best life, Queen." I don't want people losing their wishes. I'm still counting on you to make my wish come true. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Well then, the Moon Tree Lodge welcomes its newest member. Seems we have a new friend now, Patty. You, Yang Li Yao, and Patty, wishes come true. Organize Moonlit Fair. Moonlit Fair? Yes. The lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair, but it still remains an important element of the festivities. The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. Oh, if you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. Thank you. He is very pretty. Fable about moon. Oh. The code. Is it a puzzle? Yeah. Oh, that was too easy. Give me a complicated puzzle. To the Moonlight Lodge. Moon Tree Lodge. I'm tired. I'm really tired. The many failed experiments and our unachievable goal have filled me with despair. I'm not the right person for the work of the Academy, nor am I good at communicating with others. I don't even have what it takes to apologize after hurting the only person who would listen to me. I'm rotten to the core and unworthy of pursuing the truth. Even if I make a wish, I bet no one would want to make my wish come true. 
But on the off chance, even if there's only a 1 in 10,000 chance that someone will see this, please make me disappear from this world. I hope that nobody will remember me, and nobody will be sad because of my disappearance. Um. Um. That's kind of sad. That's kind of really sad. The Academy. What a sad wish. Me when I lose a 50-50. Is it from a researcher? Initiating analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world. Indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated Aww. social connections to be erased. Feasibility, zero percent. Causing physical harm or manipulating human memories are actions strictly prohibited. You see, um, actually, it is an L wish because we can't make that come true. Also, this robot is so cute. Uh, this is Shang Li, Patty's work buddy. Aww. Patty gathers and analyzes the wishes, and Shang Li helps make them become a reality. seems very much up to the task. You have a good eye. Shang Li is indeed a very reliable companion. Aww. Analysis conclusion. The wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies, indicating a high level of danger. Danger. Prompt physical care and psychological intervention are advised. Patty does not understand this wish. Patty does not. Aww. not hurt humans. Just as I've suspected. Wait. This is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. The desire to disappear directly conflicts with Patty's underlying logic of well, not being able to harm Look how sad the little guy humans. looks. Then his wish he wants to krill himself. Written words are different from data. Data represent precise and unified content. While Ooh, words wait, his resonator's on his knuckles? They seem on the surface. That's cool. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. This suggests that Xiao Sheng still hopes for his voice to be heard. This is just my personal belief, but I suspect he's not truly ready to give up. I think the thought pains him. Which means he's... He is... I know what you are. He's calling for help. Yes. I believe that is the case. I want to uncover the true desire hidden in his wish and help him fulfill it. Will fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering? Ye probably. Yes. I hope it will. Oh my god, you guys, we're gonna anti-depress someone. What's the plan? Seems like my debut task at Moon Tree Lodge. We should start by locating the Wisher. If I recall correctly, there is no Xiao Sheng at the Academy, so it's likely a pseudonym. Fortunately, we know that he's a researcher, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find him. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the Academy. There are faint traces of another type of writing on it. Seems to be some kind of code. Little stalker. I'll decipher these codes, and then we can... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. I feel we like really good Wu merch would be water bottles in that shape. Prototype 49's core has gone out of control. Emergency protocols failed, and it's overheating as we speak. Oh, Lord. Lock down the lab. I'm on my way. 
What about the experiment logs? Already sent to your terminal, sir. All right, tell everyone to stay calm. We still have time. Everybody stay calm. There's been a momentary setback in the research. I need to handle it right away. I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiaosheng to you. Consider it done. Thank you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I have the issue resolved. Here, take Xiang Li with you to help with the investigation. I already have a few speculations as to the contents of the code. I'll call you once it's confirmed. Do we exchange Good numbers? Good luck, my friend. Aw, bye. I like him. I'm so glad he's free. I'm so glad he's free. Make it fast. Run, huh? Heed my command. Bum, bum. Have they announced this kit officially yet? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> am I saving for Shorekeeper? Yes, I am. Kit is in the game already. He's in the gallery like Chung Lee was. Oh, really? Plan with convention, then conquer by. The experiment begins. The experiment begins. Oh, he's Electro. Uh, they don't say his, uh, his weapon type, though. I don't, I don't think it says his weapon type. Is he gonna be good for Yinlin? As a non-Yinlin haver? Oh, you're not dead? Now you are. Guests of the unkind. Guests of the unkind. Mind oh, that was a little extra. Okay. Um, we're just like farming a little bit, you know, while we run. Alright, come on. Three for three. Three for three. Mind Three for three, let's go. One, two, three. I'm so glad he's free me to cry as in free to play. Why would I cry in free to play? I'm so glad he's free as a free to play gamer. My Chong Lee build. Plan with convention. This. She's then not perfect, but she exists. You're waiting for Shorekeeper? Me too. God, I love running around in this game. Bum, bum. Shit. <laughs> uh, 
Alrighty. I'm saying my build, okay? My build's not perfect, but it exists. Oh, hey, it's her. Hey. Oh, hers is on her, like, hand as well. Alert. The person ahead is confirmed to possess information related to Xiaosheng. Based on the writing style, paragraphing habits, and content of the wish, it can be inferred that Xiao Sheng is likely introverted Sh Xiao and may exhibit nervousness in public settings, is that how you say difficulty it? in communication, and a preference for solitary activities. These characteristics match this individual's behavior. Are you saying that she's Xiao Sheng? A definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Master saying all that, that right behind her is Shang insane. Li I know, right? Making judgments about humans solely based on that Well, all artists are depressed. According to my data analysis, so it's not far fetched. Twenty-five point four percent correlation between these two individuals. Shang Li proposes you make the decision on whether to proceed. It won't hurt to, you, Ro, Rover. We can't just ask someone if they're depressed. Hey. Excuse me, miss. Oh, we gotta get the Riz face on. Ahem. Hey, baby girl. Excuse me. Wow, what a cute little robot. Would it feel weird to ask if I could do a sketch of it? I'll just do it at a distance once they've walked away. <laughs> Hello? Whoa! Hi! <laughs> Lovely weather! Oh. Can I help you? Blush. It's Analyze like they learned how to put the blush on. Detecting a rapid increase in air humidity and a significant drop in air pressure. <laughs> Data suggests rainfall should be expected within the next few hours, covering 60% of oh, the she's doing the shy girl area. pose. Um, uh, that's right. The weather isn't actually all that great. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're just here to have a chat. Um, are you depressed? Hey girl, I saw you standing there and I thought you looked depressed. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think you mean anything bad. I'm just not very good at talking to strangers, that's all. I like her voice. My name's Frover. Jeju. Um, nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you as well. Her model looks a lot better than the art of her. If that makes any sense, you guys. I think I think her model actually looks a lot better. Does the name Zhao Sheng ring any bells? What were you doing just now? Should we just like... I, I kind of like the idea of Frover being so blunt. But I also like would rather beat around the bush. So like, what are you doing? Uh, me? <laughs> ah, little old me. This is my painting scroll. I'm searching for inspiration for my next painting. Oh, her nails are pretty. Am I not allowed to do that here? No. I'm so sorry. I'll leave right away. You're under arrest for Terrifying being adorable. And regulations. There is currently no prohibition on painting or photography in this area. You may rest assured, ma'am. So you're a painter? Well, I hardly know her. A painter? Oh, no, 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 no. It's 
it's just a hobby. So it's not a match. She isn't who we're looking for. Um, excuse me, but is something wrong? Yeah, you're not the depressed girl we're looking for. We're actually looking for someone. Well, someone who goes by the name Xiao Sheng? Huh? Maybe a shy researcher? Huh? Huh? I've never heard of anyone by that name. Sorry, I couldn't help. I, I don't have a wide social circle. Mostly just my painting clients. How did she know that? But I'll let you know if I do. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I, uh, I'll be on my way then. I feel Bye. like she's still the person. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. The robot's face is so funny. It's unlikely she has anything to do with the wish. Affirmative. The individual showed no signs of abnormalities when mentioning the name Xiaosheng. God, that's so freaking funny. I love that. We love a relatable character. Might as well ask another researcher. Detected. Individual meeting search criteria. Analyzing. God, is it just the press people around? Researcher of the Department of Laboratory Evaluation. <laughs> Huashu Academy. Suggested topics of inquiry. Shaosheng or work stress. Work stress. Rest assured, when discussing heavier topics, I will employ a light and humorous inquiry method. I'm afraid to know what light and humorous is. I've been tossing and turning all week. Can't switch off these thoughts at night. I can't take it any longer. Been scrolling through the forums lately? There's this thing blowing up called Nighttime Blue Syndrome on the Hawashu Hive. Definition of noun. Nighttime Blues Syndrome. A popular term used to describe the state of today's youth that have lost their enthusiasm towards life due to excessive work Ain't and that real, buddy? stress. Symptoms include avoiding social engagements, reluctance to work, Insomnia and signs of depression. Further analysis Damn right. An 87 Damn right. I'll be right correlation back. between the syndrome traits and the emotional state of Xiaosheng, inferred from the wish made at the time. A few colleagues from other departments even used it as an excuse to ask for leave yesterday. They wrote, the world is such a wonderful well, place, a filled drink, with guys. different kinds of sadness to experience each day. Ugh, lucky bastards. Lucky Taking bastards time off whenever they want. Whenever and look at us, want. sweating God, bullets so over research with no results in sight. How are we supposed to sleep? Is that the latest thing? You know, I don't usually visit those forums, but on well, this term, maybe it's because everyone's feeling the pressure lately. Relax, take some time off. You can leave the rest of your work to me. Don't let it get into your head. Smile, and everything will be a okay. Hm. You sure are optimistic at a time like this. Yeah. Anyway, I really need to pass out for a while. She's all yours. <laughs> they are calling us out. I know, right? I think I sneezed because they were talking about me. Um, hello? Are you listening to our conversation the whole time? Anything I can help you with? Are you depressed? Wait a second, it's you, isn't it? The one who sucked in a tacit discord with your bare hands. Yeah? I didn't expect to meet you Thank in a you place guys. like this. Are you here for something? Is it about the monsters? Or, or maybe... Ec uh, no, never mind. Uh, do you know anyone by the name of Xiaosheng? Xiaosheng? Pretty average name, if you ask me. Um, I think it has a but great personality. I've never heard of anyone with that name at the academy. Can you 
provide any extra information? The robot is so uh, cute. Uh, maybe I can help you find him. Searching nighttime blues syndrome and Xiaosheng as keywords. There are 417 relevant results found. Search results consist of forum posts made under the username Xiaosheng. Xiaosheng. Example result. Another day today. Wait a minute. Analyzing someone's online behavior without their consent is a violation of robotics protocols. Well, I am robophobic. Searching protocol confirmed. Thank you violation for gifting a sub to Cars Extended detected. Warranty. Shangli, I'm sorry. Initiating self destruct huh? sequence. No, stop. Apologies. Shang Li does that sometimes. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, he was just trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> oh, well, its creator gave it some good features. It's fine. But do you mind me asking, why are you looking for Xiao Shang in the first place? This question involves the individual's privacy. We are unable to disclose any details to those not directly involved. I understand. Uh, speaking of which, this robot looks rather familiar. Could it be from the Moon Tree Lodge by any chance? How did you figure that out? I'm afraid that's confidential. Ah, got it. Akron's toaster, thank you for the thank you for the tier one. Wow, he's so respectful of our boundaries. Hmm. It's almost time to set up the centrifuge. I need to make my way back and check on the samples. You notice that he appears a bit flustered for a moment. No I feel like he's depressed. Was obtained regarding Xiaosheng's identity. Acquired new keyword. Yes, we can always check the forums for any updates later. I feel like now he's then, he's Xiaosheng. Let's Shang. try our luck somewhere else. Everyone's depressed. Amen, brother. Attention. During our conversation with Shifan, another researcher was detected. Ooh, I like this NPC's hair. Proximity. The individual has been eavesdropping on our conversation up until this moment. Eavesdropping? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's a really pretty Uploading NPC. Researcher's location to your terminal. Finally, some useful information for once. Cheng Li is always useful. <laughs> oh. You found me. I was just about to come talk to you anyway. Who are you? you? Were eavesdropping on our conversation. Who are you? Please explain your behavior. And I'm sorry so about sorry. That, but, but I had a good reason for doing it. Thank you for gifting a sub the to that username I'm not going to say out loud. You mean Xiao Shang? You want to help him fulfill the wish he submitted with a pseudonym, but you don't know his real identity. How'd you know well, that? It's obvious just by looking at the two of you. That robot you have there is from the Moon Tree Lodge, right? I may not look the part, but I am an actual researcher. My name is Joe Lee. Researcher? Now, she my friend, and I know Hardly who know he really her. is. Oh? As a matter of fact, you've already met him. You mean Baija? You mean Shifan? I think it's Shifan. Precisely. So, you are. I knew it. he was sus. He probably realized who you were as well. Explains why he made up an excuse and left in a hurry. <sighs> Still running away from his problems by the looks of it. Damn. I was just as surprised as you were when I first found out that Xiao Shang was actually Shifan. The two of us grew up together, went to school together, and entered the academy together. He's always been the center of attention. Easy going, always fitting in effortlessly. But at some point in time, he, he started writing these negative posts on the forums. It didn't it's take always me long the to internet, figure bro. out Xiao Sheng was him. I know his writing style too well. Every time I asked him, he'd always wriggle his way out of it. And he started distancing himself from me. And even transferred himself to another project team. Aww. Pulls out his terminal to show you a picture of him and Shifan. And you notice his hand trembling slightly. No. Oh. That's from an accident during an experiment involving echoes a while back. It wasn't too bad, but it did leave a few symptoms. I haven't been able to operate any precision instruments since then. At you guys first, think they were platonic? I thought that maybe Shifan started distancing himself from me because I couldn't continue to work on his project anymore. But deep down, I knew he was not that kind of person. So I have a request. 
Yes. I want to know what kind of wish he made, and if possible, um, I want to help make it come true. Erm, um, I don't think you want to do that. The integrity of Joe Lee's information is estimated to be at around 99%. In order to fulfill the wish, providing relevant information um, is recommended. Um, hey guy, maybe... Maybe you don't want to fulfill your friend's, like, this specific friend's wish, you know? Um, I just think, um, this, this one, like, maybe, maybe we skip, you know? You tell him the whole story and the contents of his well, that's wish. That's how it is. Is he blaming himself for my injury? But that's not true. I've never felt that way. He wrote that wish, but he's still the man he was before. He still smiles and comforts others and helps people whenever they're in a difficult spot, which makes me feel even more worried. Bro, this is so platonic. We want to understand his true wish. Thank you for telling me all this. I'm afraid she found and I aren't on talking terms at the moment, but maybe he'll listen to you. He's been fascinated by echoes ever since he was a child. Echo-related research was all he'd been working on before he left our project. He loves Echo so much. And now, he's given up on it completely. Aww. And I think this might be a good place to start to have him open up to you. This is the male version of Mina and Alice. I don't know what you're talking about. Good to know. Please. If you find out what his wish is, be sure to let me know. Okay. Okay. Hi there. How are things on your end? Transferring progress log. Transfer complete. Fantastic. It appears everything has been going smoothly. Yeah. We're so good at our Long job. Long story short, I've managed to decipher the code from earlier. It's echoes. The code mentions three echo sample data sets Shifan once needed for his research. According to the Academy's oh. archives, his research partner, Joe Lee, had an accident while searching for these echoes. Shifan shut down the project shortly so after. So if we find I the three echoes, we'll give him a reason to, to live. Once I've wrapped up here at the Academy, I'll meet you as soon as I can. Well then, it's time to look for some echoes. Echo, echo, echo. All roads lead to Echo. Guests of the unkind. But who's the caged bird now? Mine eye. Okay. All target echoes acquired. Task complete. Well done. So you're telling me this guy's whole life mission and whatever, the reason this man is depressed because he couldn't collect this echo sample I got in two seconds? Um, and it wasn't even far. It was on the beach. Next to... Like, like, right next to where they are. He's not a resonator. I don't care. You're telling me there wasn't one fighter in this entire village. He could have been like, hey. Just get good, bro. That's what I'm saying. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it, thank you. I knew I could do it as well. Is normal? Yes, that's everything. Uh, Xiang Li sounds just like Xiang Li. It's one of Xiang Li's features. I can join you on your travels this way. My god, friendship. I'll remotely control Xiang Li, ensuring our audio, visual, and movement modules are in sync to keep our communications seamless. Oh. It's our quickest way to connect. Plus, I suspect Shifan might find it difficult to open up in front of a colleague from the academy. Mmm. Pat the robot on its head. Oh. oh?
Oh? Oh? Not necessarily. No. So, without further ado... I feel like he just lied to me. Way. I feel like he just lied to me. I feel like he felt that. Make guests of the unkind. Yeah, he so felt that. I kind of liked it. That was that was fun. Hey. Oh, that he does look depressed. You're back again. Uh, no luck finding Xiao Shang. We found him. We're here to see you. This music is really depressing. What do you mean? What if he jumped? You signal to Xiang Li. Okay. This this is echo testing data. What are you planning on doing with... Wait. Uh-oh. Where did you get this data? Oh, this music is scaring me. I have my ways. Shang Li and the rover are researching echoes but have hit a dead end. They heard that Mr. Shifan is an expert in this particular field and are seeking his help. Pretty spot on with the voice. Oh god, what's going on? What's gonna- I feel like something bad's about to happen. That was a long time ago. Oh, very well. What do you want to know? What's going on? The data you gave me is packed with motion values. I would start by understanding how the Echo adapts to different geographies. And these numbers... If we cross-reference them with standard values, the fitting coefficient nearly hits one. It looks like your model's direction might be on track. Oh, the more I look at this data, the more I think, had it reached me earlier, things might have been different. Oh? This data, how much do you want for it? I'll pay anything. How about not krilling yourself? No, even with this, I can't do it on my own. Is this your true wish? This music is really what? ominous. What do you mean? You have always had regrets, both for your friend and for your echo research. I... I don't get your meaning. There was a serious accident during the experiment, and I was the one who shut it down. How could I... How could you... So you don't deny you are Shaoxing. We saw the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, but it seems that may not be what you truly wish for. Your true wish is to continue your research of echoes with the one and only friend who understands your passion. Aww. Is this correct? I never thought my wish would actually be heard. You're right. I am Xiao Sheng. The loser who spends his nights complaining in bed. A washed up expert. Aww. I worked hard to get myself into the academy. My best friend was a real genius. And I was just an ordinary person who had to work my ass off in order to catch up with him. This music. We promised to push the boundaries in Echo Research. I always believed we could produce groundbreaking results. Maybe even touch the essence of the Lament through our research. Lament! But due to my carelessness, he lost his chance to walk through that door completely. He 
Yet, my stubbornness in continuing the experiment without adequate samples led to irreversible harm to my friend. My friend. I chose to continue the testing. That's why he missed the window for treatment. Not once did I visit him during the final test periods. <gasps> and I was the only one left on the project. It wasn't a surprise the experiment failed in the end. Oh, Nor. It wasn't until I sat alone in the empty lab that I realized. Maybe everything I sacrificed, even my friend's future, was all for nothing. I had hurt my friend, given up on a career, and worked on something I wasn't actually interested in. But when I lie in bed awake at night, I feel regret all over again. I know I can't give up Echo Research. My obsession torments me. But I don't deserve to pursue it anymore. He's doing the voices pose. Oh, obsession. I've heard enough! Oh my god! Hello? Pull yourself together already! Joey! Where did you- This is the most platonic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll what in the right soap now, opera? I never blamed you for what happened. I felt the same as you right from the start. On our path of pursuing new discoveries, I was willing to pay any price. What I don't accept is you calling quits halfway. But... I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, blows my mind that this is why you stopped talking to me. While I've been until... It, you haven't changed a bit since we were kids. You get in the habit of running away from any problems you face that are non-research related. I'm... I'm sorry. It is wonderful to have someone to support you on the journey to achieve greatness in Charlie, research. he just punched him! It seems even without our help, this wish has been fulfilled. I agree with you. This in turn indicates that Xiaosheng's wish is not the source of the abnormal codes. Three more wishes to go. Mission's not over yet. It still isn't resolved. I appreciate your hard work. It's thanks to you we were able to fulfill the first wish so quickly. Now, we should make our way back to the Moon Tree Lodge. Hello. I hope you've been well. Remember how I mentioned that the stall vendors at the Moonlit Fair will adjust their offerings based on everyone's wishes? Mm -hmm. Based on the wishes we've received so far, I've thought of a few excellent themes. Maybe we can start preparing for them. All right, so build Yum Yum Haven. Fast travel. Guys, that was so platonic. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this is the event, right? Oh, is that Sanhua? <laughs> Oh my god, Rover looks so cute. Head to Yum Yum Haven. Wings, heed my command. Oh my god, it's Bop in here. <gasps> Sanhua! Oh, you're here, Rover. I'm here for work today. Madam Jinshi entrusted me with this letter for you. As you're involved in the Moonlit Fair, she may have something important to discuss with you. Bum, 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 bum. 
expresses concern and suggests taking her to the Moonlight Fair for some much needed relaxation. Uh, tell her the contents of the letter. How about taking a walk with me? Wh why are you making that suggestion all of a sudden? I know, Madame Jinshi must have said something in the letter. I suggest we find, uh, we first patrol the, near the nearby area. Girl, take a break. Stop! Yes, Rover? Is there something wrong with my plan? I want to know what you want to do. I apologize. I forgot I'm not in City Hall handling affairs. Something I want to do. Give me a moment. I've never actually seen anyone make the dessert before. It's called plump cake, right? I know some good plump... Sorry, something fell in my room. At that exact moment as I was making that joke. Did you guys hear that? One second. That was my pin board falling. Holy shit. My heart, that scared the shit out of me. Bro, the board says you won't make a plum cake joke? No, dead ass, I, I wasn't allowed to make the joke. I wanna learn how to make it, then I can. Great, then let's learn how to make plum cake. How to do it myself. Uh, let's go gather ingredients. There's a special lotus seed called twin lotus seed found near the lakes. Okay. We read about it. It's a unique fragrance. Yada, yada, yada. I believe using it in the plump cake would elevate the flavor. But it's rare and only grows where tacit discords roam, making it hard to come by. Sanhua via where? I know, this part's not voiced. I'm not running 3,000 meters. So is 1.2 just like the event stuff? You guys? I didn't skip instantly because it's Sanhua. And I like Sanhua. All right, let's go Mordor. Guests of the unconscious. Triumph Alright. Oh, I don't know why. I was, like, really convinced this was going to be voiced. Like, like, I knew none of this was voiced. But this, I... I it just felt like it was going to be voiced. Like, I heard, like, a hmm. And I'm like, oh, they, they voiced this part. That's awesome. And then it... And then it wasn't voiced. It's fine. It's fine.
What do you usually do other than simp for Jinshi? My main duty is to protect Madam Jinshi. I also assist her with paperwork, meet visitors, convey her orders to other departments, kiss her on the lips. What do you do except work? Ah, comment Ulf Chan. Let me think. I sometimes drink flower wine, not too much, as over drinking leads to mistakes, which affects my performance. Other times, I listen to the storytellers. I learn about how other people live their lives, how they respond to life's ups and downs, and everything in the world that I cannot witness myself. In fact, I learned from a story. Okay. But I don't have much time for that. After all, Madame Jinchi's safety is always my top priority. Are you really that busy? Yeah, she's always doing stuff, and the stuff's name is Jinchi. I'm afraid so. Jinjo is located on the. Okay. The Thernodian is no longer a threat, and everything is getting back on track. I am positive life will be tranquil for our people soon. Aw, Sanhua. Aw, Sanhua! Aww. Mina to Robin? Damn right. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Return to the stall. Talk. Bum, bum. I know how to make plump cake. For at least a few hundred years, not many people can make it nowadays. I bet most youngsters have never seen one. Uh, making plump cake takes a lot of effort. Do I have to do this right now? Question mark, or can I just continue on with this quest? The other quest. Bum, bum, bum. Sanhua can definitely nail it. Bum, bum, bum. All right, I'll let you use my stove. Peel the lotus seeds. All right, I'll peel your seeds. Effortly recreates the plump cakes. Okay, awesome. Excuse me? What? I didn't say anything, you guys. Thank you for the plump cake, Sanhua. It's amazing. Bum, bum, bum. This is for you. Aw, thank you. And this is for Madam Jinshi. Of course it is. Since you enjoyed the plum cakes I made, I think she'll like it too. How about you? Um, eating cake isn't part of my duty. Respectfully, Sanhua? Yes, it is. I've decided that it is part of your duty, actually. But Jinchi wants you to enjoy the festival. Life isn't just about work, you know? Sometimes you gotta eat the homie's cake, you know? You get it, chat. Yeah, platonically. She just wants you to be happy. I don't have a plan yet, but we can continue enjoying the Moonlight Fair. The tasks on my to-do list aren't as urgent. Aww. No, Song was gonna eat Jinchi's cake, but like not platonically. <laughs> Can 
Can... Can Chung Lee super jump? Mother told me the moon up there will start once the witching She can't really... She can't really super jump. Oh, is she back? I already took a selfie with her, though. Mother told me the moon up there will start once the witch... Oh, I already took the selfie. Mother told me the moon up there will start once the wishing tree is built. All right, now that we have companions. Okay. Run! Okay. Recommended teamwork. Okay. What? We got the D. Fair stalls. I think I need to open the other stalls. Okay, that's... Build fan drawing stall. <gasps> uh, Exclaim everything. Strange. Okay. Fair stalls. We need the uh, fan drawing stall built. Okay. Oh my god, these little guys' faces on them. Okay, now I go to this stall. Make it fast. Oh, she's here too. Jeji. Don't tell me you plan on finishing all of that by yourself. But there's so many requests, darling. I can't help let you do them all by yourself. It's okay, I'll finish them all on time. I like the pet name Darling. I think it's a nice I think it's nice. Sometimes I imagine, like, you know, Black Swan saying it. And I feel like that sounds really pleasant. Y yes, please. I'll start working right away. Thank you. Bum, bum. Sweetie and Deer. Deer feels kind of old to me. I like Darling, though. Wait, Shishi! Wait! Oh, hello, Frover. Are you here to buy a fan? I saw her leaving in a rush. Okay. None of us okay. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh my god, they should let me draw something. Tell that to Alice that she could torture you with more Robin lines? No! That is something I will absolutely not be doing. I'll pay you. That's the magic word right there. Should draw peach trees? Okay. Alright, piece of cake. Oh, let me do a code real quick. We'll do some giveaways. We'll do we'll do code giveaways. All right, let me. Ahem. We'll do exclamation mark code. 
All right. Start spamming exclamation code for your chance to get a code. I'm also going to do it. All right. Here are the rules. You must be following. If you are not following when your name gets called, I don't care if you follow in that exact moment, you will not get your code. You have to be following before you win, okay? Before you win. All right? I'm giving you your chance now. Oh, Pyro, you got your username back. I'm telling you now, okay? Cool spy, make sure you spell it correctly, fam. Come on, come on, buddy. There you go, you got it right. Alrighty, exclamation point code, exclamation point code. Do you guys think you're gonna win? I hope a mod wins. I want a mod to win. I want to win. I think it'd be really funny if I won. What would you guys do if I won? Would you be offended, chat? Mod's gonna emote only on the next giveaway. That'd be so funny. Unironically, I would laugh so hard if mods did emote only chat. Can someone win twice? I've never seen it happen. I'm gonna say no, but you can try. And if you do win twice, I'll laugh. All right, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll. Addy art. Addy, Addy T art. Addy art. With the Peko, the Peko icon, watching other VTubers, I see. What is this? That's me. Yeah, that's you. Congratulations. You are our 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 our, our, our next winner. Can't believe you have another VTuber as your icon, bro. Can't believe this. Can't believe this. Nonetheless, thank you so much. Congratulations. Please make sure your Twitch whispers are open. Five, four, three. Two, one, ba bam. Soul Fighter. Soul Fighter T, specifically. Are you here? Soul Fighter, me, Watashi. Yes, it is you. You won. Congratulations, fam. Congratulations. Nice. That's two. All right. Number three. Let's go. Five. Four, three, two, one, boom. Toasty, Toasty Letta. Toasty underscore Letta, Lita. You guys are really making me like have to say usernames out loud. Hey guys, congratulations. You are our next winner. Alrighty. Guys, remember exclamation point code. And you have to be following. If you're not following by the time your name gets called, if you do win, then uh, we have to skip. What happened earlier today? Make sure you're following. Five, four, three, two, one. Alan B. Alan B. Are you here? Oh, damn, that's me. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are winner number four. Winner number four. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Pachi, pachi, pachi. I love it when you guys spam Magic Clap. I, I love Magic Clap so much. Is this NA? Um, I believe all regions can uh, try to win. I love it. I love it when you guys spam Magic Clap. It's, it's, so, it's one of my favorite emotes. It's so funny. Anyway, five, four, three, two, one. Nekius. Nekius, are you here? Are you here? Speak now or forever hold your silence. Don't speak. I know just what you're saying. Da -na -na -da. Oh, um, Nekius. OMG. Oh my, oh my god, this and this and that. 
Alrighty, those are our first five. First five of this batch. I think I might do 20 right now so we can knock out 30. Um, like in total. Alright, let's do another one. F guys, remember, exclamation point code to be eligible to get a code. Um, what else is there? Make sure you're following. Otherwise, even if you win, uh, no, you didn't. Yeah, it's that easy. Wow. Guys, Nekius is shit talking, you guys. Are you, chat, are you gonna, are you gonna let them get away with this? With actually shit talking, you guys? Yes. Well, okay. Oh my, oh my god. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, I'm still waiting for my code from the last time you did code. Is, was your DMs open? Because if you didn't open your DMs, how were the mods supposed to send you your code? Yes. Message a mod about it. The me message, message a mod about it. All right. Boko Bat. Boko Bat. Where are you? And oh, I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot breathe tonight. Oh, I need somebody and always. Um, hey, Boko Bat, you here? You here, buddy? Boko? You got one minute, Boko, to answer. The timer's right here, Bo Boko Bat. Boko Bat, don't be our first one. There you go. How do I DM? You don't have to DM. Make sure your DMs are open and a mod will DM you your code. Congratulations. 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 Congrats, congrats, congrats. You are winner number six of this batch. Alrighty. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Mina's Yuri Addiction. This is the first time I've seen you guys happy about someone winning. This is unironically the first time I've seen you guys happy that someone else won. Why the wired look? You made a typo, buddy. You made a typo, buddy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Make sure your DMs are open or your whispers are open. Alrighty. Alrighty. Five. Four. Three, two, one. The origin. Oh nine twenty five. Uh oh. Hey, wow! You responded so quickly. What a Chad. What a freaking Chad. Am I right, you guys? Thank you for the biddies. Thank you. All right, five, four. Oh, wait, hold on. I got text. One second. Alice texted me. All right. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Velistia. Valistia, are you here? Speak. That's you. Congratulations with your Final Fantasy fourteen icon, the cri uh, the critically acclaimed MMORPG with a, a, a free expansion up to st something something. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Good job, buddy. She said the thing. I'll always say the thing. I. It's the meme, you know. I'll do anything for the meme. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. So this is number ten, and we'll do we'll do twenty right now. So this is number ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Noam. Hey yo, when a regular gets it, when a regular gets it, let's freaking go! Congratulations. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, the obsidian. Okay, no, no. We're gonna snooze the ad break right now. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, guys, I even snoozed your five-minute ad break. Look at that. All right. We're going to do 10 more. We're going to do 10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. Denmark doesn't exist. Bro, what do you have against Denmark? What? What do you what do you have against Denmark? Buddy, you already won. You don't you don't it's okay. You don't have to you don't have to type code again. You got it. RIP Denmark, bro. Not here. What do you mean not here? You're literally right there. Guys, please make sure your whispers are open so the mods can DM you your, your Wuwa code, okay? I have really high latency. Oh, is it because you're in Denmark? You're high latency because you're, you're in Denmark. That makes sense. And it doesn't exist. So, like, the ping is really high. All right. That was number 10, I believe. Right? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, no, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, this is twelve. Five, four, three, two, one. Shadow Peak. Sh 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 Shadow Peak. Shadow. Where are you? Where are you? Yo, congratulations. You are winner number 13 from this batch. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Alrighty. Five, four, three, two, one. Cryo Slime. Are you here, Cryo Slime? Cryo slime. Yes, congratulations. Wow, we haven't had any misses yet. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Number fourteen. Five, four, three, two, one. DJ Vibe Man. Oh my god, the Kakania PFP. Based. Based. Kakania? Dr. Clara? Where's your matching is sold icon friend? Platonically, of course. Where are you, DJ Vibe Man? I want you to I want you to claim your prize. DJ, please, please respond, DJ. No, don't tell me you went on a piss break. Please, please don't tell me you went on a piss break. No, please come back. Please, no, you have a reverse icon. Oh, no. Oh, no, they have 20 seconds to claim it. <coughs> They're in Denmark. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Can we get some O sevens? Can we get some O sevens in chat? We lost a soldier. We have we have we have lost a soldier today. He did not respond within the one minute, and I really wanted I really wanted a Kakani a PFP to win. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. Reroll. Twy lens. Right. Yeah, I know. Right. Is Twy Lens here? With the Sparkle PFP. Yeah, um, what's this for? I just joined and typed exclamation point code for fun. Um, well, it's for a Wuthering Waves redemption code. Such a sad code. day. It is such a sad day. Um, this is for a Wuthering Waves Redemption code. Uh, if you don't play Wuwa, that's okay. Uh, give it to your friend. <laughs> oh my 
god, that's so funny. That's so freaking funny. One time my friend won one of these, and I knew she didn't play Wuwa, so she gave me the code. All right, that was five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So number 15 right now. Five, four, three, two, one, bam. Starvers. Star versus an Alekino PFP. Erm. Um, Erm, um, Star? Star, are you here? Can you give me a sign? Star? Oh no, guys. Oh no. Where did everyone go? It's because I called it out. It's because I called it out. Star, please. Please, where are you? And I'm so sorry. Denmark took him out. Why is everyone in Denmark? Father left to go get milk. You're so right. You're actually... You're you're so correct, unironically. Bum, bum, bum. Guys, make sure your whispers are open if you won. Otherwise, you won't get your code. And I think you want your code. Aw, oh, shucks. They lost it. Anyways. Zanko! Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Another regular? Another regular? I would give it to somebody else, says the bad boy, but I'm only bad because the person that gives to me, I give it to somebody else. That's why I'm bad. Is that the lyrics to I'm bad? Anyway, Zanko, congratulations. Congratulations. Love it when a regular wins. That's number 15. All right, number 16. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shit, the break. Oh, I forgot to click. If I win, I blame ads. It, it'll say it in chat. Okay, guys, guys, chat. For, for, the sub, for, for those who are subbed, chat, 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 chat. For those who are subbed, act like someone just won. Okay, guys, act like someone just won. And they'll never know because I haven't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Madge Clap. Guys, guys, if you're subbed, like, spam Madge Clap right now. Like, no weighing Madge Clap. Okay? Like, oh my god, this is insanity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you allowed to do a daily double and give out two codes to one winner? Nor. Yeah, I can't believe... Oh my god, absolutely insanity. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, guys, pretend I won. Oh my god, that's so good. Wait, that's so... Pretend I won, guys. Start saying rigged. Start saying rigged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it. All right. A blue orchid is a blue orchid here blue orchid yay congratulations you're number 16 we got four more from this batch Alrighty, alrighty. five four three two one warble 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 Wurble wurble. Wurble 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 OMG! Oh my, oh my god. Dun 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 Not rigged. Exactly. Not rigged. So freaking easy, bro. So easy. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, it's number 18. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bam. Try fire. Are you here? Nani? Nani? Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. Alrighty. Oh. 
Okay, that was how many? Um, four, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, two more. Number 19. Five, four, three, two, one. Bam. Zerbena. Z Z Zerbena, Zerbina. Z Z Z Z Zerbenia, Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Hi! Hi! Welcome! I hope you're doing well. Congratulations. Please make sure your Twitch whispers are open. Alright, the last one for this batch. And we'll do, an, we'll do one last batch afterwards, too. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Chan... Channer... Ch Chandler cries. Love the perks of being a wallflower PFP as well. That's a that's a nuanced. That is that is one nuanced icon I will say. With Logan Lerman crying in uh, perks of being a wallflower. I remember this exact scene as well. I love this movie. It's a very good movie. I actually highly recommend it. Do you guys know that movie, Perks of Being a Wallflower? It's good. It's a great movie. But congratulations. I remember it coming out when I was in high school. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. That's that's it for this current batch. But guys, don't worry. There's still 19 more codes to give out, I believe, total. Yeah, there's still 19 codes to give out. Now you guys can go pee. Now you guys can go piss girl. Wait, there's still... Oh. <laughs> Take a photo. Wow, so pretty. Now go take a photo of Jinjo. Okay. Am I gonna watch the live stream tonight? Yes. We are. It's in like an hour. So we're gonna see how far we can get in this quest. And then um, we'll watch the live stream and then I'll go to sleep. That is the plan. Yeah, midnight EST. Which means I have to start the YouTube live stream in like half an hour. Please remind me at 11.30 to do that. <sighs> All right. Why is it early? I don't know why it's early. They just made it early. Find Gigi. Did I play Chung Lee's story? No, I got strep and I haven't had time. I want to though. I want to. I like Chung, I like Chung Lee a lot. Make it fast, girly pop. I'm one minute Mina for a reason. I should leave more space to make the contrast pop. Blah, blah, blah. She's so deeply focused. Bum, bum. The man probably just seeing things after staying up too late. God, that's a mood. Deliver the photos. Hey, yo, say Safo. Thank you so much for the prime. Also, guys, just another TSA. Um, I'm gonna keep saying it until a uh, ANYC. If you're going to ANYC, guys, make sure your Saturday 1 p.m. is free. 
because I'm gonna we're gonna do something at ANYC, which is akin to a meet and greet for those going. Okay, for those going. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You're going on Friday? I'm so sorry. A lot more people are going on Friday than I was expecting. I will be there no matter what. I love that meme. It was real. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, meme. I was talking to one of my managers and. I, I was looking for the no matter what, I'll be there meme. Like, I will be there no matter what, like that meme. And then, like, I went on Google, I found one, I sent it, but I sent the wrong version. And I sent the version that says, I won't be there no matter what. Even though I meant to say, I will be there no matter what. And I had to very quickly uh, change it to the correct one because I was saying yes to something, not no, so like... <laughs> it made me giggle. Good news! Reference photos? Oh my gosh! I'm playing with a fidget toy, you guys. Got it from New Me. Kind person. Nothing. Excuse me, I, I need to work on painting. Ayo, hey, her knowledge is crazy, bro. What the heck? This reminds me of the um the the, the museum event. I thought he was puking for a second. She reminds me a little bit of the museum event, but like not voiced. I miss that event. Okay, this one we need knowledge. Overwhelmingly positive. Good job, girly. Um. Bro, Sanhua's getting her like, her ass whipped a little bit. Wow. Ayo, Krasis, thank you so much. Um, we're kind of shit at action. Can I open the other stall? Fair stalls. I need to open Moon Shooter. Build. What? Okay. Um. We're gonna prage that we get this. Crazy, thank you for the tier one for 18 months. That's crazy. Okay, good job, Sanhua. Good job. Is this randomized? Um, Eureka! Uh, uh, experience Eureka, which could lead to surprising results. Success rate, 20%. I'll do 500. I'll do 500. I'll do 500. 25% chance. That's a 1 in 4. 1 in 4. Wait, without any additional funds of it. Of... 
Wait, wait, wait. Question, question. Do I lose it if I lose? YOLO. No! God damn it. God damn it, JG. Sanwa, stop getting mixed. Okay, good job. Good job. Can we have another Eureka? That was fun. Okay. Sanhua. 70%. Oh, we got this. You got this. 70%. Bust. Genuinely offended. Unironically, I'm actually offended. to her okay we'll chat okay um i'll give you a gift okay okay you're good you're fine we need to do this to sanhua sanhua sucks ass bro okay i have seven we'll give you another gift Okay, guys, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I need a Eureka moment. I need a Eureka moment. But we're gonna win. Eureka? Shit. No, Eureka. Ooh, that's a lot of money, though. We're so close. I'm so... Uh, we're so... Okay. I would like a Eureka moment, though. Urethra! Ooh, that was good. That's good. Good job. Come on, Eureka, Eureka. Ugh. Oh, hey, I'm rich now. Okay. I can't believe we lost a 70-30. Seven, a I can't believe I lost a 70-30. I'm actually offended. Friendly chuckles. Ja 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 ja. Ooh, a puzzle. Two moonlight tree, moon tree. Why do I, I want to call it moonlight? Moon tree lodge. They say that moon chasing festival is a time for family reunions, but my son is no longer here. The house feels so empty without him. I miss the old days with him by my side, the both of us together sharing conversation. Is he as lonely in that other world as I am in this one? Should I go be with him? But I promised that I'd live a long, full life and take care of myself. Oh, Moon Tree Lodge, I've gotten so old. What do I have to wish for anymore? If you can really pull off miracles as they say, please tell me, what should I do? Hey, Ying.
Why are they all depressed? Uh, this wish does bear some similarities to the one written by Shifan. This yeah, they're all sad. Just like Shifan, the woman who wrote this wish is desperate for help. We need to consider this carefully. The problem Indeed. Yeah. The wish shows well, a we struggle can't bring her between son her back. and a promise she made to her son. She speaks of another world, likely hinting her child has passed away, leaving her alone with nobody to care for her. Yeah, we can't draw that's so sad. Solely based on words alone. I'm curious as to what drove her to write these words. Her Ing and her son. What's their story? What promise did they share? What is it? Is there something on your mind? No, nothing. Oh. It's just that... Is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? You she tell knows him, the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong, it might... So that's what you're worried about. It seems what Bai just said about you is true. You do have a gentle soul. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're um, right I just found out about this today, bro. But the Moon Tree Lodge's very existence is to have every wish be heard. Ignoring people's pain isn't right. Besides, we're not trying to force Mrs. Herring to make a choice. Our role is to listen, understand, and reflect. Ultimately, the choice lies in Mrs. Herring's hands. Her but it's in. getting late. Let me know when you're ready for our next task. Let's go. I like these little guys. They're just loot. Seven hundred meters. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yes, the MC speaks in this one. I do wish they were British, though. Just a little personal side note. Hey, old lady, what's up? How are you, Grandma? Hey. Excuse me? You must be Mrs. Herting? Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, hello. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, oh, what? Uh? Who might you be? My name is Xiang Li Yao, and this is the rover. I apologize for the unannounced visit, ma'am. Rover? Rover? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, I remember now. You're the hero of Jinzhou, aren't you? Defeated that terrible beast. I'm kind of a big deal. Everyone's been talking about it. My thanks to you. You've realized my son's vision. Oh, how joyful he'd be seeing Jinzhou now. Aww. Since he was little, my boy dreamed of shielding me and all of Jinjo. He'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian one day so everyone can live peacefully. You must have been really That's proud of him. him. To join the Midnight Rangers. Aww. Huh. Yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dreams. He never stops striving. Once. He and some rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but... But now he's gone. And he'll never witness the defeat of the Thranodians. I just... Oh. We used to celebrate every moon-chasing festival at the stalls. And he'd make wishes at the Moon Tree Lodge. His mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now, the silence is overwhelming. Oh, I can't help but wonder if, if he's lonely wherever he is. Oh, perhaps I should join him. But before he left, he made me promise to be witness to okay. the day the Thranodians are finally gone. What am I to do? Oh dear. 
I've rambled on about my boy again. What brings you here today, dear? We... we're here for the wish you made. Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herting? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge has magical powers. I see. You must have been sent here to help me magical fulfill powers. my wish. Just Is the guy right? in his robot? You granted his wish beautifully. I trust you might do the same for mine. Though, really, I have nothing much left to ask for. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find myself at a crossroads. Unable Two to decide. roads diverge in a yellow wood, and I, I the took the one that I've traveled by. Clear my doubts. When deciding your answer... Oh, yes. I recall they say it's best to speak the answer in front of the Moon Tree Lodge. Huh? Gives you a slight nudge. Oh. Yes. Absolutely. Huh? Mrs. Her Ing. Might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? The Taoyuan Vale is preparing for the moonlit fair, and the atmosphere is quite lively. Why are you commenting on my man's nose? I like his nose. A walk. Oh, my heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. And, well, my legs don't carry me as well as they used to. Let's go together. Well, okay. If you think it might help find the answers, then perhaps we should try. What was that about? <laughs> it was just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to join us at the lodge. You probably sensed it after hearing her story. The promise between Mrs. Herring and her son wasn't like just his about seeing arm. his wish granted, but about finding peace in her life. In her grief, Mrs. Herring overlooked what her son truly wished Um, for. is this thing trying to kill I me? he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Cernodian, and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Taoyuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see. A reason to embrace life. Oh, how are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Oh my gosh. Come on, I'm waiting on you. Um, I need my revenge. <laughs> Yeah, how dare you? All right, come here, old lady. Come here, let me at him. This year's moon chasing festival sure is lively. Indeed it is. Look at the crowd. Oh, so many things I've never seen before. It's quite exciting. You yeah. young folks must be thrilled with all this. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Don't mind this old lady. Mrs. Hutting has been doing her best to stay cheerful since we arrived at Taoyuan Vale. Let's take her to see more of the fair. It'd be nice to see the cast on your YouTube, like Star Rail. Um, I mean, I would love to. I don't know how to contact them. That's really just it. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh my god, a British would person. Would you like to browse our fan paintings? This one is exquisite. Just look at the fireworks bursting to life on the fan. Oh, I might. I've never seen anything like it. You have excellent taste, Mum. This fan is the creation of Ms. Juju. It's the moon chasing Juju. festival from her imagination. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fan. And these capes. Ah, oh, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. A special touch from Ms. Juju. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the moon chasing festival 
And remember that the festivities are all thanks to the brave rangers. The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even the soldiers should be able to see it. You won't want to miss it. I'd like to buy one of these fields. Buy a fan. Everyone struggles. Is it Jeji? Jeju? gallery my son was so good every year at the moonlit fair it was his favorite this Aww. is her <clears throat> happy moon chasing festival everyone want to give the moon shooter game a try lots of rewards to be had prizes count me in i love winning things oh i need oh Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh my god, is this like a new quality of life thing? Wait, is wow. that new? Very impressive shooting skills. <gasps> Here are your prizes. So I don't need to pull. Listen, listen. Wuthering Waves team, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for adding that quality of life. I she she is never coming out now. That's great. That's so good. Chishi a power creep real. Dude, that power creep is so real. These prizes. Did you make them yourself? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community, so we thought practical items would be more meaningful. A ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, Aww. his instructions and methods continue to guide us. These tools were a great help when we first joined the rangers. We've now improved them to help even more people. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure Shoyuan would want you to have them. And you are... You might not remember, but after Show You and passed, Aww. I tried to visit you. You didn't want to see me then. Damn. I never expected we'd meet here. It's good to see you out and about. Show You and always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Show You and are here today. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Look, here they come. Group of soldiers walk over to the gallery as Ching Shi waves at it's them. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Herring. Shoyuan was an incredible mentor to me. I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. Yeah, I'm multi chain the, the Natlin stuff. One by one, the rangers share their stories. So... The boy taught you everything I taught him. Aww. Mrs. Herring? Mrs. Herring? <laughs> the difference in pronunciation is oh, crazy. Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. I'd love to hear more stories about Show You and's time with the Rangers. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there first? We've got plenty of stories to share with you. Before that, Thank you, Shangli Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, I knew that both of you would make my wish come true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer, I'd like to walk around a bit more on my own. I Aww. trust that this answer will be right for you. 
Yes. Thank you. Both. Do you think Mrs. Hutting understood the promise she made to her son? We can't be sure just yet, but at least she's made a good start. Don't you agree? Now she isn't just going along with us. Aww. She's searching for the life her son wanted for her. I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her own choice, without relying on the Moon Tree Lodge. But it means this wasn't the wish affecting Patty either. We'll have to keep digging. At any rate, more stalls are being set up in Taoyuan Vale. Care to explore further? Care to explore further? Nice, that one was easy. Festival journal. Oh, is that how we unlock Chishia? But I finally power crept her. Can I skip? Can we unlock Camellia? Bum, bum. No. The skip button's right there. Oh, you're talking about Camellia. So easy, bro. Really? Okay. Oh, it's another one. Oh, that's kind of hard. Ba bam, and then. Okay, I got it. It's fine. The first try, first try, first try. First try, first try, first try. I do wish this music was like a little bit more upbeat, but I understand the somber vibes because every single quest has been sad. Like unironically, every single quest has been upsetting. Like sad. I'm sorry, I'm really not paying attention to Chishia. Oh, she's all about teamwork. That's cute. Make it fast. Oh my. Tell you. Alright, come over here. Is there a claim all button? My favorite button? I would like that one. And that's, I get another one at three. Okay. Lodge wishes. Oh, can I just, can I get it already? Oh, I have to build stuff. 
30,000? 50,000? Okay, knowledge. Not Chishia for knowledge. Oh, I can get him too? Oh, I have to finish that one. But I can't finish that one. I'm sensing mixed signals. I am sensing mixed signals. Where it's saying I can I can get him, but I need to complete the thing. Which means I can't get him yet. Anyway, we're gonna do this. I need a Eureka moment. I need a Urethra moment. Alright, come on. Give me a Urethra. 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 Let's go. All in. Bust or maybe I'll bust. We're gonna win. Eureka, Eureka. Okay. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Another Eureka, and I'm gonna win. This is the one, guys. We're gonna get a Eureka right now. JJ. 70%. Seventy percent. Seventy percent, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Our first win. Our first win, you guys! Oh my god! Holy! Holy! That was so good. That was so good. Again! Again! Shishia carried? I know, right? Okay, overwhelmingly positive. We love to see it. Okay, awesome. Oh, no, Eureka. Damn. Okay, I can buy this one. Oh, Jianshin. No Urethra today, you guys. Give me my, my crystals. Is that what I meant to click? Um... Okay, knowledge. Oh, I can get Chianshin now. Okay, whatever. Oh, nice! Nice. Okay. Um. Where's my urethras? I should probably go. Ooh, eight thousand. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Girly. Okay. 
Okay, not that good though, I'm not gonna lie. Not, not the F, bro. Not the F. Okay, let's go, let's go track her down. Oh, she's right there. Mother told me the moonlit fair will I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna, um... I, um... Mother told me the moonlit fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. It's all good, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're fine. It's all Gucci. Uh, <sighs> Who is this child? So you guys can experience it. Oh, that's a cute kid. <laughs> uh, bro, I wish I had that POV. Okay, go over here. Is there a waypoint closer to it? Yes. Yeah, it's for the viewers to enjoy, yeah, yourselves, you guys. So you guys can play it for yourselves. I don't want to spoil all of the quests for you guys. Genshin live streams in 40 minutes, right? Mina's always looking out for us the way she looks out for her friends on the couch. Yeah, of course. Make it fast. Mother told me the moonlit fair will start once the wish. What's up, Uncle Dong? Isn't it in less than. No, I'm pretty sure it's in 40 minutes. Thanks, Frover. No problem. Mother told me the moonlit fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Okay. The stream starts in 23, but it starts in 40. Yeah. What a. Oh, I will do this one again, but now we have more knowledge. Lots of knowledge, but we have no teamwork, so we're gonna go. Oh, maybe if I level them up. Okay, I have how much? 53? Okay, I'm gonna. Ooh, we're gonna travel together. We got 47. That's kind of nice. I need a little bit more teamwork, though, so I think I might work on Sanhua. We're gonna travel with Sanhua. Okay, that was nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna, um, hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna pr do preparations with Chishia. And then I'm gonna give her a gift. Okay. And then I'm gonna, um. Thing is like, Jeju and Jianshin are the same, but Jeju's like a little better. We're gonna do this one again. We go her, her, and her. And we're not gonna get an F this time. And then we're gonna get a Eureka moment. Look at that. Look at that. 
Nice. And now we're gonna get a urethra moment. Okay. Okay, or not. E. All right. Again. Um. Where's Dungeon in the story? Bro, I oh. I can't help you there, bro. Still an E, that's 24. Where's my Eureka moment? I'm getting, I'm getting mad money from this. Oh, they left me. Just teamwork. So Sanhua... Okay, we'll go this way. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Sanhua. Sanhua. 20,000. Sanhua. Please. Honestly, impressive at how much I do bad. Okay. GG. It was 15. One more time. No, 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 no. We're gonna, I'm gonna win. We're gonna get a Eureka right now, and I'm gonna win. Can you guys stop getting mad? Can you? Can I get my Eureka? Okay, I can. Okay, I'm gonna buy. Uh, which? How much is it? Fifty. Oh, I can buy both of them. Oh, encore. You only lost this twice. Must be nice. I've only won once. Of course, Encore's at the fireworks shop. Encore, my child. With the explosives. Okay, guys, watch this. We're so good at knowledge. We're so good at knowledge. And we're gonna get a Eureka moment. We're gonna get a Eureka moment and it's gonna be so good. Right here, okay. All right. I, one in four, I got this. I got this. This sound is gonna haunt me in my sleep. Ooh, four, ooh. Action? Oh, I don't have a very action forward team actually. But I could get young, young. Or I can get Encore. Well, the Genshin, we're gonna switch to Genshin soon. So I probably shouldn't uh, start a new thing right now. Pop 35 and 4 to get those. Um, dun, dun, 
Yeah, it's time for me to start my YouTube stream, which means we're also going to switch over to um, Genshin. Um, I did not finish my dailies today, but it's okay. Um, okay. Thank you to Wuwa again for sponsoring uh, this portion of today's stream. I appreciate y'all greatly. Guys, make sure to use my link. Oh, let's give out the last few codes. Shit, I need to start the Genshin. I need to start the other one stream, though. Okay, guys. What if I gave out the last codes after the Genshin live stream? Thoughts on that? No. Okay, we're gonna speed run it then. We're gonna then we're gonna speed run the last like nineteen codes right now. Okay. All right, we're gonna speed run. We're gonna speed run. All right, rolling. Lord Death, are you here? Exclamation point code. Um, I'm gonna quickly push back the Genshin by 15 minutes. Uh... Hey yo, congratulations, congratulations. All right, that's one. Make sure your DMs are open. All right, five, four, three, two, one, ba bam. Um, N Haru Aoki, are you here? Is that Toma? Not Toma. Um, shit, shit. Oh my god, I haven't played Project Sakai in a hot minute. Oh my god, oh my god, what was his name? Oh my god, what was his name from Proseka? I don't know where Toya. Okay, I was close. Um, and 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 uh, or N are you here, fam? You have you have you have twenty seconds. Um, um, it's exclamation point code by the way. Oh, I might need to reset it. I'll I'll give it thirteen seconds. I might need to reset it because these people have, you know, they entered the code in last time. I don't know if they've been in here the entire time I was playing. You know. Yeah, I think we might need to make a new code. Okay, they're not here. Um, I'm gonna make it. Woo wa. Exclamation point woo wa. For your chance to win! Your chance to win! Exclamation point! Woo wah! Woo wah! Alright, we already got the one out of 19 codes left. And then we are a switching to Genshin Gym Pact. Alrighty. Five, four, three, two, one. Ba bam. Sub zero. Sub zero. Are you here? Sub zero. Please speak now or forever. Hold your silence. And you spoke. That's number two out of 19. Congratulations. Five, four, three, two, one. Ba bam. Miaming. Miaming, are you here? Are you here? Also, please make sure you are following because if you are not following, then you will not win. Even if your name gets called and you're not following, uh, you won't win. Congratulations. Make sure your DMs are all open so that our mods can DM you your code. Congratulations, Miyaming. Five, four, three, two, one. But ba Tomo! Tomo! When a regular wins! Tomo! Tomo! 
Tomo, where are you? Where are Tomo? To Tomo? Okay, go men chat. Don't don't go men chat. No, congratulations. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Ba bam. Sylveon, congratulations. Are you here? Sylveon? Was here? Are you are you currently here? It says was here. That's past tense. But are you currently here? Oh, hello! Congratulations! Congratulations! You are number five on this batch out of nineteen. So congratulations, guys! Please make sure your DMs are open. Also, please make sure you are following, uh, so that you can win. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Yandere Harum, are you here? Yandere, are you here? Another regular as well. Yandere? Yeah, yeah. Hi, welcome. Congratulations, you are winner number six. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right, guys, there's only 13 more winners, 13 more chances for you guys to win your own Wuba code. Five, four, three, two. Oh. There's an ad break. Anyways, roll. Muted Mayday. Muted Mayday. Are you here? Muted. Muted. Way, may, muted Mayday. I hate it here. Let's go. They still won. Nice. They still spoke. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's number seven. That's number seven. We'll take it. At least it says it in chat. So, like, you'll still know. You'll still know. Neon and Anise Luck. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the Nikkei Gamer. The Nikkei Gamer. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Yuri Quack. Yuri Quack, are you here? Are you here, Yuri Oishi? Congratulations, good job on the Kafka PFP, by the way. Love it, love that so freaking much for you. That's number eight, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, okay, nice. Five, four, three, two, one, bam. Starlight! Congratulations! Starlight! Oh my gosh, are you here? Starlight? Starlight skies. Speak now or forever hold your silence. Where are you? Yes, there you are with your me now cheer. Congratulations, Star. I love it when like I like I like it when regulars win. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. You're number nine. There's ten more chances for someone to win, you guys. Ten more chances. Yeah, we have 10 more chances, gamers. Five, four, three, two, one. Miguel O. Miguel, are you Miguelo? Miguelo? Are you here? Where are you? Oh, yeah, Gorilla Spin. Nice suit. Nice suit. You are number 10. Numero 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine more chances to win, gamers. Nine more chances to win. Five, four, three, two, one. Azur! Hey, yo, Azur Jones. Let's freaking go, Azur. Azur, speak now. Where are you? Whoa, yeah, congratulations. Let's freaking go. Oh my god, like, regulars are winning. That's like... That's crazy. All these usernames that I recognize in chat. That's number 11, I believe. So we have eight more chances. You spoke my name correctly. Let's freaking go. Um, uh, Yeah, guys, just make sure your whispers are open so that a mod can DM you your code. Otherwise, it'll forever be in limbo. Five, four, three, two, one. Amnex, am, 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 how do you pronounce this? Am, Amnex, Amnex, bang, boo, bounce. I'll take it. Congratulations, congratulations. I can't pronounce this username. I don't, I don't know. Is it just Amen? Nonetheless, congratulations. 
you have won. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <coughs> Seven more chances, gamers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beckett! NZ. Beckins. Beckins. Speak now or forever hold your silence, Beckins. The Zhongli cosplay. Hi. Hello there. Congratulations. You are the 13th out of 19 to win. Now we have six more people who can win. Only six. All of you guys want a chance, but only six can get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Crystal is. Oh my god, the Robin PFP. Crystal. Crystal, you're based. You're so based, Crystal, with the Robin PFP. Please, Crystal, speak now. Crystal. Yay, congrats. I'm so glad a Robin PFP won. Let's freaking go. The Robin buff is real, you guys. The Robin buff is real. Even, even this knows. All right, we got five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Saikuno Shrimp 20 with the Chong Li profile pick. Love it. Love it. Saikuno Simp. Where are you? Or Saikuno Shrimp. I'm here. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's go. Yeah, why don't I ever get Mina Simp, huh? Huh, chat? Wait, where's where's the Mina Simp like 200? Wait, with the huh? Ew. Wow. Anyway, four more. Five, four, three, two, one. Bam. Oh, I missed it. Silvery! Are you here? So, Silvery? 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 Hi! Congratulations! Congrats! Let's freaking go. Make sure your whispers are open. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three more codes, you guys! We have three more codes to get out. Five, four, Three, two, one. Battlestar. Are you here? I can't tell what this profile is from. Battlestar. Hi. Congratulations. Congratulations. Make sure your whispers are open so a mod can DM you your Wubo code. We have two more codes now, you guys. We have two more codes now. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Marianne! Are you here, Marianne? Marianne Denise? Where are you? Let's go! Let's freaking go! Congratulations! Congrats, congrats, congrats! Alright, guys. Make sure your whispers are open so that Ahmad can DM you your code. The last code that we have, you guys. The last code that I have to give away. Number 49 out of 49. Five, four, three, two, one. There's no way. There's no way a mod won. There's no way. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Selino did it. Actually scripted. Actually scripted. You guys are seeing this. You guys are seeing this, right? The proper scripted Ahmad one. Let's freaky. I'm so happy. I'm so happy Ahmad one. Nice, dude. Nice. I'm so happy, dude. Let's go. And with that, that is. Yeah, remember to DM your. Hey, if we want to keep the authenticity, can one of the other mods DM Selino his code? <laughs> Just to keep it, yeah, yeah, just to keep it in all fairness, just another mod DM him his code, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, and with that, our WUWA giveaway is in fact over. It is over, gamers. It's over. And with that, our WUWA sponsor is also over. Thank you again to WUWA for sponsoring today's stream. Guys, be sure to click my link and download Wuthering Waves today. And let me get stuff set up for the Genshin live stream real quick. Switch over to Genshin.
Uh, 5.0 watch party. Do do do, Natlin time. IDK, what to expect? Attention, live show. In case you were curious, the last code was eat underscore my underscore shorts. Um, I don't think that's correct, actually. So, like, I, um, fun fact, um, don't have Genshin updated, so we're not gonna open Genshin Impact, but I'm sure the Genshin Impact official channel is probably doing something. Anyways, uh, let me go live on YouTube right now. As well, oh, let me hide this. Let me... <laughs> have that there uh and go live here dun, dun, dun. all righty we should be live on youtube right now as well what's up youtube we have about 15 minutes until the genshin live stream goes live for natlin we're actually multi-streaming for once which i don't normally like to do but uh, we were streaming wuwa over on uh, twitch so now it's time for the genshin live stream it's actually at a normal hour or a a better hour for me than seven in the morning compared to other oh it went live fabulous fox yai miko the one the only wait Tavot trivia oh, thank you so much you're too kind now for almost four years we've explored huh? every corner of Tavot, uncovering stories yeah of i all also kinds. heard that very to celebrate our fourth year we've prepared a little game show where you are the contestant okay now okay. i know what you're thinking retina is this just an excuse for you and your friends to geek out about genshin impact lore and to that i say you think i need an okay. excuse Anyway, here's the first question. Guys, I'm gonna know According this. According to A, what could have been used to bribe Yaimiko? A, new books. Um, B, shampoo to keep her tail and ears fluffy. Um, C, rare fabrics and silk. D, fried tofu. I feel like the answer is A. Cause she owns the a book company, right? D. Okay, if you got that one right, pat yourself on the back. If not, there'll be other chances. Now, I need to get Josie ready for the next round, but I'll see you soon. Good um, luck, travelers. Hey, Josie Montana McCoy here, voice of Kaya. Ready for round two. Um, Rotten has sounded kind of serious in that intro, huh? Well, between you and me, I don't want to be the one to disappoint her. Question. Okay. What does the Court of Fontaine legally consider okay. Paimon to be? I remember this. A balloon. A, a personal assistant. B, an endangered species. A balloon. C, a balloon. I remember this. D, it's C. A cultural delicacy. It's C. It's C. I remember this scene in Fontaine. It's C. I knew it before it even showed up if she was a balloon. C, a balloon. I'm not a lore and skipper. I have heard that for the very steep price of one sticky honey roast, Paimon will join your hometown parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that, guys? You see that? Hey everyone, Paul Castro Jr. here, voice of Fremine. Fremine and Mine. it's my privilege to welcome you to this latest round of Tavat Trivia. Speaking of welcomes, mm -hmm. what warm welcome did the House of the Hearth give oh, thank to you. the Traveler and Paimon? A, cosplaying as Paimon, um... imitation is the highest form of flattery. B, presenting them with a captured hilly churl rogue. Um... C, a crash course on espionage and poison brewing. D, a traditional Snezhnayan dance. I'm gonna go with C. Mm? The correct answer I feel like is it's C. C. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but my personal poison is Was this is in Arlequino side quest or story quest? I didn't do that. Own. I need to try one day though. But I feel like that's the only all probable right, that's thing. that's all for this round. And remember, never store your poisons in an old soda bottle. Use a neutral container and label them clearly. Okay, yeah. Caleb Yen, voice of Gaming here. Who's up for and, a true or false? You know, Here goes. Our trailblazer. True or false. When Kuching got her vision, her first instinct was to test her newfound power. False. False. 
Kuching actually took offense to the idea yes! of needing a vision. I so remember she tried this. To get rid of it. I First remember by this. Burning it, then smashing it with a minecart, and finally dropping it from the Jade Chamber's roof. I mean, that's crazy. Huh? What, what's that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> Hoyoverse wants me to remind you to practice safety and responsibility <laughs> when it comes to dropping objects from great heights. Especially if said object shoots lightning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I had an electrovision, I'd probably like use it to make pancakes or something. Because then you wouldn't need to use like the, the stove and it could just be like, oh, pancakes. Oh, sorry. Uh, Is that like what you would use like now. a pyrovision uh, but for? There's more to come. I had to do some deep diving for this question. Oh, <laughs> that pun. Oh, that I'm pun. Gonna... Okay, true or false? Everyone in Fontaine knows the Melazines, but few know their origin as the children of the Hydro Dragon. I'm gonna say true because Fontaineans know nothing. False! Melazines are the children of the great beast Alienass. Though children is a bit of a stretch. They were born from an explosion inside its corpse centuries ago. Now, me personally, I've never seen a corpse explosion birth. But so I'm the sure false is that this entire see. fact was wrong? Who would have thought such cuteness would come from something so dark? But then again, the same could be said about our boy Fremini. Guess who's back? It's me. This time, I've got a really good one. My treat. Yenfei may be one of Liu as greatest legal minds, but what job would she pursue if the world no longer needed her counsel? A. Rapper. B. Liu as resident lamplighter. She'd be a C, rapper. C. Spa owner. D. Fish tamer. She would be a rapper. 100%. She got those sick rhymes, bro. Hey, rapper! Wait, that's right! Hey, 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 my name is Yenfei. I practice law in the city of Liyue. That doesn't really rhyme. Yeah, I, I wouldn't pursue being a rapper. Anyway, that's all for now. <laughs> Wait, I was right? Keep up. Here goes. This is really fast. True or false. This is really fast. I don't know how I feel about is this. is one of the first three natives of Mondstadt to join the Traveler's Quest. Yes, true. It's Amber, Kaya, and Lisa. False. Kaya isn't actually a native to Mondstadt. He was born in Conria, but was abandoned in Mondstadt as a child. Guys. He was later adopted by Diluc's dad, of all people. Guys. All right, that last question was a little bit tricky. You guys. It's all about keeping you on your toes. You guys. It only makes sense they'd save the best for last. And I've got a very <laughs> special question in mind. Hope you brushed up on your history, folks. True or false? One of Liyue's protectors killed a monster with nothing but her waistline. I want to say true because I want that to be true. I just, true. I, yeah. During the Archon War, a monster tried to swallow Ganyu, only for her waist to catch in its throat. The poor beast ended up choking to death, a fact that embarrasses Ganyu to this day. Honestly, I think Ganyu is perfect just the way she is, and it saved her life. You know, when you think about it, we're really lucky that monster didn't succeed, because Ganyu is a pretty great friend, and we're lucky to have her on the team. And that's the last round for this year. If you made it this far, it's time for the roundup. If you got three questions or less, don't sweat it. This was just a game after That's all. That's so Besides, funny. Besides, this just means there's plenty for you to discover. Her, if you got four to seven her questions, yacht then you're pretty well so traveled. fat. Just remember, there's lots to see when you go off the beaten path. If you got more, then you're a what real a way to go. expert. I'm sure what you've a got way to go, about bro. where the story's headed. Maybe some headcanons, too. But don't rest on your laurels just yet. We've got plenty of surprises waiting that's just beyond wild. the horizon. That's wild. I don't know. That's wild, bro. Thank you so much wild, for playing, bro. and I hope you had fun. Now, whether you are an OG or you're brand new to the game, I just want to say thank you for being here. We couldn't do this without you. It is so much fun to experience this game through your eyes, and I cannot wait to see where we go next. Yeah, wow. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it's Flappy Dragon. Where's the rhythm game? I have no idea what to expect from Natlin, I'm not gonna lie. I just hope the plot is good, because Fontaine, like, the Fontaine plot, like, actually cooked. So I really hope that, like, Natlin cooks as well, you know? Ooh. Oh, we have 20 lives. That's nice. Fire Archon is dead. Bro, that's a plot of every single 
like our conquest. It's like what Liu Wei, everyone thinks strongly is dead. Inazuma, the first Archon did die, and then the twin took over. Sumeru, the Archon died, but made like a younger version of themselves, kinda. It's weird, can't talk about it. And then Fontaine is like, the Archon died. <laughs> and then now there's a puppet kinda taking over. Yeah, who? And then... Monstat, he's just drunk. Well, I, it, A is alive, but... Makoto died. So, like, the twin took over, you know? What is this? It's Dragon Flappy Bird. Dun, dun, dun. We have six minutes until the live stream. I have no idea what to do. What do you guys think is going to happen? It's usually... These ones are with Dawei, right? Because it's like a... Like a dev stream. Dun, dun. The dragon is voiced by Naruto. Believe it! You think Cappuccino will dedge? Columbina, where is she? Which um, Capitino is the um, Capitano? Cap How do you pronounce his name? Th that's the Fatui for for Natlin, right? Capitino, Cappuccino. Cup of tea. Wow! Oh, Consider, thank you for the sub. Dun, dun, dun. What do I think about? I I can't pronounce these names. I need to hear them say these names out loud before I even try to pronounce any name. Cause she's not voiced by Tanaka Rie. Um, I mean, we'll have to see, bro. We'll have to see. We don't know what's going on. How much do we have to wait? We have to wait five more minutes. Mina plays Genshin. I am fully caught up on every single Archon quest. I just don't play events. So, like, if there is an Archon quest, I am fully caught up in the story. Capitano, thank you so much. I simply just don't have the urge to log in daily. Summer event was cute. I heard it was cute. I watched the scenes involving Navia. Some events have lures. Yeah, I know. Um, have I done the interlude Archon quest? You mean the Dane quest? Because yes, I did it. The one with the twins. I almost cried. Seeing Lumin and Ether interact with one each other, like with each other, like genuinely made me like I got really close to tears. Specifically when Ether called Lumin, uh, um, like when he called her by name. And she's like, nobody else calls me that here. I got so emotional, bro. I got so mad at how it ended. Like, genuinely, I was upset. Like, it actually ruined my mood. Do I like Skara? He's okay. I don't dislike him. I do a little smile when it does a good jump. It's very cute. What happened at the end? They made them forget it ever happened. That made me so upset. My favorite male character? Well, my favorite character in Genshin Impact is Kazuha. Just hands down, Kaidehara Kazuha is my favorite character in Genshin Impact. Me, if, like, male or female, he is just my favorite character. And then it's Navia, and then it's, like, Fischl. Not 
have you a second. You guys, you weren't here to experience my, my Kazuha phase. My Kazuha phase was like, I have a cardboard cutout of Kazuha. Is Kazuha C6? Yeah, he's a C6. Like, if you guys were here for my Kazuha phase, like, it was bad. Given his sword. I didn't get his sword. I gave him El Haytham's sword because I thought it looked better on him. And I have a crit Zuha build. How did he become my favorite? He was my first five star. He's also voiced in Japanese by the same voice actor as Yuki from Fruits Basket. And I love Fruits Basket. Do I have a shrine for Kazuha? Basically, yeah. What if Robin traveled to say that? Why are we thinking about things that aren't going to happen? I mean, I like Farina a lot, but she's just like, listen, I really like Kazuha and I really like Fischl. Do I have a Robin card? I don't have a place to put a Robin cardboard cutout, so no, but I have a lot of Robin merch. Yuki over Kyo. I like Kyo better for Toru, but like, I love Yuki as a character. Like his like character development and his growth is insane. But I think Kyo is better for Toru. What Harbinger am I most excited for? Senora. When she comes out, you guys, in 6.9. I'm so ready for her to come back. Have I ever played Dung? I played all the Danganronpas. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. It's time. It's time, guys. It's time. We've arrived at the final phase. The winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors. Give it up for a long time contender and first time finalist. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything can happen here. There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar. Ooh. And also foreign. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the abyss, while the sacred flame burns eternal. Oh, she's cute. This is giving Pokemon vibes. What's going on? What are these kids? Wait, why is it pixelated? Why are their kids pixelated? Next pilgrimage. I'm still not sure why Arwyab chose me of all people. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the abyss. Then Pyro Icon, so, Archon. The effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Ooh, breakdance. I, I really want to win this time and become a true warrior. But through our long history of fighting the abyss, We've realized things aren't quite so simple. The Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom and has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. Going there, the Night Kingdom? Only those who triumph over the Abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. You heard something from here, didn't you? Kinich, what is the meaning of this? Only one way to awaken you all on? from your willful blindness. More sacrifices Dragons! Be made. You'll die if you try to make your way forward. Why don't you just give up? You want to know why I won't give up? I should have died five years ago. Take me as your next sacrifice! What that is land is on? on the verge of destruction. It's Ooh. very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Once your ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. What is going on? No! Why can't I find him? Why? Every great display of power comes at a price. Where's the the, 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 the lion girl? That is the tragedy of your short lives. You understand nothing. 
nothing of all encompassing power. You shall unite the tribes and save Natlan from its impending doom. What use is the Gnosis in your hands? Oh shit! I don't know what you mean. Wait, this theme? But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Your plan has oh, reached an shit! impasse. And now it falls to me to create new <laughs> rules for Nala. Wait! Like us? Let our fleet do the talking! Whoa! The Capitano stuff looks so cool. Dawei, why were you so loud? Please, sound mixing, please. The trailer was so quiet, but you were so loud. 看大家对娜娜还是有很多期待和疑问嘛 我是你们老朋友大伟哥，那么今天呢，我们又请到了我们的项目组老朋友啊，战斗设计师鸡哥，我们的IP负责人小罗浩。Hello，大家好，我是大家的老朋友鸡哥。那这一次来到五点零的前
，我们有一个新增的玩法叫浪船，啊对对对对对对对对，然后在三点六版本，我们做了一个呃叫花林的这样的一个族群，那么他们有一位叫呃斯路莎的游牧者，对吧？那他其实也会有一些独特的移动方式。那到了五点零，我们其实想做一个尝试，就是呃把这些东西呃全都呈现在角色自己的行为模式里。对，那其实大家在四点八和四点七这两个版本前瞻的彩蛋里面啊，也看到了一些端倪，就是包括我们展出的这三位角色，他们都会有各自不同的移动方式啊、哦。我理解了，就是说我们。角色的这个移动能力是不是要得到空前的这个呃变化呃？呃，对，其实你看，就是之前我们我也看到过有旅行者在呃社区里面有说到，那这次我们是不是可以有一些、Parkour、呃飞檐走壁的啊对对对对对这样这样这样的一些行为模式嘛？那那大家也都在呃视视频当中也有看到，我们确实是在做这样的尝试。哎，我看到还有玩家问到啊，说那个前瞻彩蛋里面那个马拉尼踩的那个滑板，它到底是个道具啊，还是个技能？呃，其实我觉得就是硬硬要说的话，它其实其实是算技能。So her skill is like、呃、就像刚才我说的一样，其实呃这些新角色的行为模式是融入到它的方方面面的。Uh-huh. 就是它作为一个技能来说，可能有点狭隘吧。然后第二条其实是呃，如果把它作为道具的话呢，感觉有点。他应该是伙伴才对，对，应该是伙伴。这个我我感觉我已经我我我已经感受到了啊。那么我们问完这个第一个问题，我感觉基哥还可以啊，基哥还可以，游刃有余啊。那我们再看看是不是要提供一点更难的问题啊？还还还有更难的吗？又是一个彩带掉落啊！让我们来看第二段 VCR。はい皆さんこんにちはマグロヘッドです。今回は原神チームにバージョン 5.0 に関する質問をしてみたいと思います。ナタ処方 PV で数種類のドラゴンが公開されましたが、あの力を借りて空を飛ぶことはできるんでしょうか、oh、God, ？PV の最後にね飛んでいくドラゴンいましたけど、あんな感じで飛行してみたいです。それとナタのキャラクターって独自の探索システムとかは持っているんでしょうか？よければたっぷり教えてください。也是一位我们的老朋友。这一位其实我也看过，好像是叫金枪鱼头。啊，对，金枪金枪鱼头，对对对。他的凯亚系列攻略我很喜欢。对，包括七人召唤他也特别喜欢。啊，对对对，是是是是是。OK。那其实他刚才也有提到说，呃，龙的探索机就是怎么设计的？对啊，呃，他提到说，在我们 PV 的末尾是有一个飞行的龙。嗯嗯嗯，这个其实稍微有点剧透啊，因为因为可能透透透透透，今天是干货，干货干货干货。那其实就是包括这条飞行的龙在内啊，纳塔所有的。呃，玩家看到的这种不同形态的龙，他们各自都会有一套呃独特的探索机制。那这个探索机制呢，和刚才这个问题里面我们提及的包括的角色，呃，他们之间也会有一些息息相关的设计点。大家肯定会有疑问说，呃，之前在视频里看到说，我们好像可以操作这些龙，嗯，呃，进行探索。对对对对那到底是、like like、呃，我们通过某种方式驯化了这条龙？啊，还是说我们呃把自己呃放到这个龙的体内，怎么怎么样，对吧？那呃其实我想说的是， yeah, 我们其实提供了一种类似呃呃附身的这样的一个机制，附、oh, 身，对，可以让呃旅行者在纳塔的领域区域内，呃去通过附身的这样一个机制去呃获得这些龙的操作权。那不同的龙，当然它也会精通不同的。呃，探索的一些一些本领。对对对，我感觉基哥的意思说，到我们到纳纳塔之后啊，我们是可以真飞檐走壁，对吧？对，没错，没错。那还是回归到刚才金枪鱼头提到的那个问题啊，就是我们会不会有呃飞行的可能？<笑>呃。<笑>我只能说，嗯，大家可以敬请期待，呃，纳塔后续的版本里面，我们给大家提供的内容。啊，嗯，我感觉前面两个问题都是鸡哥，我我一定要抽一个，别小罗号啊，对吧？不能让小罗号闲着。好，我们在做问卷调查的时候啊，有超过三成的玩家提到我们整个纳塔的这个世界观啊，就是大家都想了解的，比如说纳塔的这个这个设计这个灵感是从哪里来啊？包括说我们在纳塔里面非常重要，有很多龙嘛，包括觉得纳塔也是一个这种人龙。共生的这么一个国家啊，所以想请小小龙号给我们讲讲这，在这个纳塔啊，我们这个人和龙之间到底是一个什么样的这个共生关系啊？我们知道，就是纳塔的部族当中啊，龙啊被纳塔人视为自己的家族成员。对对，说一个可能不是很恰当的，有点像我们养。呃，猫猫狗狗。Oh, that one is so cute. 就是说纳塔人的伙伴。They're literally Pokemon. 养龙的。有机会，但我也很想。呃，他们在一起生活，在一起工作战斗，彼此信任呢，也彼此照顾。This is dead ass just Pokemon. 和龙伙伴之间可能没有办法直接用语言相通，但是长久的相处呢，也能够让他们能够弄懂彼此。
的心思和一些就是习惯了。对对。那么我们旅行者在拜访各个不同部族的时候呢，呃，就可以发现纳塔人和龙伙伴相处的方式，可能也会也也 evolve。就比如说在我们。应该第一个接触的部落回声之子中，稳重可靠的几封龙伙伴呢，会帮助呃他们的部族成员挖掘宝石和矿物，或者呢在山洞当中去开辟通路。哇，这个很有用，感觉很有用。对，然后呢，他同同时呢，他们的爪子和那个钻脚呢，就很需要就是啊、呃、人类伙伴的照顾了。啊那这个地方我也就简单的先抛一抛，因为我们五点零会接触到这三个部族的龙伙伴。然后在之后的环节当中，我们会有呃专门的同学来给大家进行更详细的演绎。对，这里我就先小卖一个关子。对，就接下来的环节，我们还会有更多相关信息的爆料给大家提供。对对对对对，我听完小龙的介绍，感觉在这个纳塔啊，人和龙是一种非常和谐共生啊，而且是非常友爱的这样一种氛围啊。<笑>啊 I feel like they probably don't have as much of a loving and symbiotic relationship as they're making us think. 第三题呢，也是个特殊问题，我们来看 V C R。What's up, guys? I'm Tuanto. Oh my God, who's that? And I'm here to ask some questions for the Genshin team regarding 5.0. Pyro's the spotlighted element for the new update, specifically for Natlin. Is that Jake Tuanto? I'm curious, how does Pyro have its significance in Natlin? Will Natlin be more accessible for newer players in the game? Because I do know that a lot of newer players have difficulties and or struggle to get to the newer pieces of content that get added to the game. Honestly, it is insane that we are at Natlin now. I want to give you guys all my luck because if I can't win the 50-50, I hope at the very least you can. Thanks, Jake. And I hope you find your own true meaning on your own journey. Genshin Impact. This one, I also know. Okay, thank you. Uh, his this question. Ah, that. Then, his question. Ah, I will say. Fire Kingdom. 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 呃，纳塔独有的高阶的火元素的呈现形式，它有时候可能是能源，有的时候又可能作为一种呃战斗当中的策略资源。那当然，除了战斗方面的价值和探索方面价值以外呢，它本身也有呃很重要的呃精神层面的一些意义。火就是纳塔的精神图腾嘛，对，就像我们纳塔的最核心的建筑物呃地标圣火竞技场，没错，里面有昂扬不灭的圣火。火就象征着纳塔人，他们永不屈服的一种精神。然后纳塔历代有很多英雄和英杰，他们用自己的精神和力量，将纳塔的火不断的向未来、向新一代去传递。无论他们遇见了怎样的艰难和挑战，他们的火都不会熄灭。我们一直知道那个纳塔被称为是这个战争的这个国度啊，那么其中这个战争的含义是什么呢？之所以说纳塔是战争的国度，是因为纳塔在历史上曾经面临过无数场危机。那么，为了保护自己的家园，我们之前也提到纳塔的人民，还有纳塔的龙，他们一起并力同心，抵御着各种侵害纳塔的势力。那么，在一场又一场这样的战斗中，涌现出了无数的英雄。那他们在这种战斗和战争中留下的英勇事迹呢，就被记录下来，在历史上刻写成为古铭。古铭也是我们纳塔的一个比较。呃，核心的一个人文概念，然后以此将英雄们的事迹和呃精神传承下去。那么一代又一代的纳塔人呢，在古民的引导下，不断的成长，不断的去战斗，和过去那些他们历史上的英雄们一样，用自己的力量支撑着纳塔，在一个巨大的威胁呃之下屹立不倒。那么到了如今呢，六大部族之间依然会彼此竞争，在圣火竞技场所举办的大赛中，比拼各项的能力，从而选拔出最强大的战士。I love a tournament arc. We need more of them in Gacha games. I feel like they don't. They stay away from tournaments. You don't want to see your favorite lose, you know? I like that one girl. This one. I like her. Let's see if we can get to the end. 几乎有这个五成的这个问卷啊，都提到了这个火神啊。相信那个旅行者们啊都很好奇，说火神是有什么样的性格？那旅行者呢，在纳塔、啊、又会跟火神一同经历怎样的故事？火神嘛，我们简单来说，他就是纳塔人的领袖，就纳塔所有战士里面的最强人、嗯、最强者。Her hair is so cool。纳塔战士们迎接了无数的战争，也夺得了无数场胜利。
无论面对怎样的敌人，火神的火焰从来没有暗淡过半分。嗯，就是对于纳塔人来说啊，还有纳塔的龙，只要跟随着火神，他们就可以战胜任何胆敢侵犯纳塔的敌人。它就像是一轮永不落下的太阳，在它的照耀之下，所有的迷茫和不安都会被驱除。Like like like like、那么，当我们的旅行者啊，到我们的娜塔和火神马维卡相遇的时候，再和他一起踏入战场，想必也会一定会体会到啊、呃、马维卡的热情，感受到他的光芒和温度。那至于他的性格，呃，我觉得大家很快就能够体会到他所拥有的那种和他的力量相匹配的那种王者一样的那种自信了。对对，我印象特别深刻，因为我看我们娜塔前段短片的时候啊，看到火神马尔卡走出来之后，充满了这个自信啊。对对对,对，前面聊聊了这么多啊，我看我们还有两个特别有意思的问题啊，那也请两位来一起来看看。안녕하세요세미입니다오늘은원신팀에게 5.0 버전과관련된몇가지질문을드릴건데요우선나타는발자취형상을보면부활과관련된뭔가있는것으로보이는데혹시원신세계안에이미죽은동화가부활했다는뜻인가요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요아니요嗯，战争的国度嘛，它必然会伴随着牺牲。那死亡从来都无法被轻易逆转。但是呢，在娜塔，唯独在娜塔，就是我们英雄们的火焰不太会轻易的熄灭。就我们足迹皮鱼里面说到，戴英说过一句谜语嘛，就败者成为战火的余烬而胜者重燃。对。那在娜塔，牺牲是无法阻拦英雄们奋战的脚步的。他们是有机会去继续战斗，直到那一场战争彻底的终结。那至于是。怎样的一个重燃的这个机制？不要卖一个关子，因为这个就是我们可能大家心里面一个很很很很奇怪的一个。就是那大哥，你知道，就每每次到这种时候，我其实是憋得最难受。She's coming back. She's coming back, you guys. Senora's coming back. Okay, okay. 就是 I've been saying since two point one. She's coming back. 整个主线剧情当中也扮演了一个非常重要的角色。We're so back, boys. We're so back. 对，那刚才呃小罗浩所说到的呃重燃，包括战争这些概念。呃，某种意义上也是队长来到这片土地的原因。对，对。那刚才至于刚才那个比较，不能说太多了。<笑>至于说刚才那个奇妙的问题，说他会不会在纳塔中暑？那我可能再剧透一下，就是可能有某种原因，我觉得他不太可能会中暑。哦，<笑>我感觉我已经 get 到一些信息了啊。那、啊啊、那个，既然两位都说到了这个火神与队长啊。那么我们娜塔的其他新角色是不是也该登场了？那是哦，对哦。I mean, there are people saying that she's not coming back because you're wrong. She's coming back. I've been saying it. 不过在此之前啊，我们先看一段短片。A short clip. She's really cute. She's a minor. <laughs> oh, does he jump super high? Is he like the new Kazuha? What's going on here? I do like his design. Oh, there's the code.
like how Ether's running here. He looks lame. It's cute. to most out of the care they're not even showing the lion lady or the one that march 7th va voice acts they're not showing either of those characters those are like probably the two i'm most interested in旅行者们最关心的角色呢，还是鸡哥你作为战斗设计师，你先来。OK，OK，OK。好，那刚才我们聊到的时候也说到呢，在纳塔的六个部族当中，呃，他们有一些呃身怀绝技的各个部族的
，但比起自己玩的开心，他更享受和大家一起度过美妙的时光。无论是他作为水上用品商店的店主呢，还是他作为一个新生代的向导当中的一个佼佼者呀，马拉尼他都非常热心于和他人推荐一段充满乐趣的惊喜的旅程。那么在不足记文流传之众当中呢，旅行者就有机会和马拉尼一起。我们开始挨在飞行的中啊，神秘岛屿的一个旅程。那相信已经横跨五国的旅行者，一定不会错过这样的冒险和挑战。因为他也是流泉之中的勇士，他们在战斗中也会有一些独特的作战方式。首先，大家可以看到马拉尼是一位使用水元素的法器角色。哦，法器角色，对他是一位法器角色。那会搭成一个叫“沙沙冲浪板”的这样的一个呃水上用品来提升自己在地面和水面上的这样一个行动能力。那马拉尼本身是一个攻击节奏可能不那么快的角色，但是因为他很灵活，他可以利用自己的身法为。自己接下来发动的这次攻击是积攒一些优势，所以他在移动当中呢，这个沙发冲浪板可以标记并且撕咬敌人。啊，这个撕咬可能本身并没有呃产生一些呃很强的效果，但是在之后马拉尼主动发起的攻击当中，呃这些行为会他提供非常大的注意啊，就积累资源，对，没错，从而得到更大的优势，对。那它的元素爆发呢，也会呃发射一个巨大的沙沙导弹啊，迸射出一个非常绚丽的涂鸦。嗯，就你大家也看到娜塔有很多呃涂鸦性质的这样的一些表现，对吧？让敌人能够充分感受到来自流泉之众的勇士的这样一种呃水上运动的精神。然后刚才说到了马拉尼的一些作战能力啊，那其实除了在战斗当中在敌人之间进行穿梭以外呢，这个沙沙冲浪板的这个状态，它还可以。帮助马拉尼在一些特殊的地方，呃，自由的穿梭，而且他还拥有一套和卡奇娜一样的探索的能力，也就是他也可以在小地图当中去显示娜塔区域特展的位置。哇，那不愧是我们流泉之中最好的向导呀！他的移动方式又很特别， okay, 然后又很灵活， question. 而且还能帮助我们去探索大世界。Um, 除此之外，他还有一些别的能力， right? 就是说。呃，它在纳塔这些存在燃素，刚才我们有提到燃素这个概念，就在燃素机制的区域里面和一部分的采集物进行交互呢，它还可以去恢复整个队伍的燃素值。那三位勇士中的最后一位。则是来自我们玄牧人部族的年轻猎人，他们叫基尼奇。基尼奇，他们看起来虽然有些沉默寡言，但身手非常的干净利落。多年的野外生活的经验赋予他制服各种野兽和恶龙的方法，同时他也是少数能在龟火盛宴巡礼中多次取胜的人。跟基尼奇这样的人一样啊，就玄牧人这个部落里有不少的部落成员都喜欢挑战。极限，对，然后他们的实力肯定也不同凡响。那他们这么强大，是不是有什么独家秘诀？比如说，我注意到基尼奇好像不是孤军作战，对他，他身边其实有一个很奇怪的，算是生物吗？有个很奇怪的龙伙伴，对，那这这个伙伴是为他在战斗中会提供不小的助力。那他有没有什么来头呢？那这位自称伟大克隆的布布的阿乔，我们大家都称呼他阿乔吧，和基尼奇是几乎形影不离的。<笑>阿乔，我感觉他的画风跟其他人不太一样啊。那你说长相这样奇特的阿乔，他是不是呃性格感觉也很奇怪？我感觉他在之前的影片里面体现出来的那个感觉是挺狂妄自大的。确实，就是阿乔和基尼奇可以说是完全不一样的性格。阿乔的性格特别恶劣，而且大部分时间他都在和基尼奇斗嘴。那么这样的龙伙伴确实也会为金尼奇他自己招致的一些非议。那好像来说，就是金尼奇也不是很在意，就是他并不屑于靠语言来为自己辩白，他总是一个怎么说呢？意志很坚定，目标很清晰，他就是完成自己的委托，然后去向委托人去收取他认为合适的报酬。而更多关于金尼奇还有玄牧人的过去以及他所继承的古民的秘闻呢，旅行者们都可以通过我们的库库秘闻玄牧人的任务，然后得到进一步的解答。那呃，同样也轮到我来介绍一下基尼奇的战斗技能了。那大家也看到了，他是一个擅长极限运动的这样的一个一个少年，所以在战斗当中，他也会用类似的技能，通过元素战绩呃进行快速的移动。啊，除此以外，他的元素战绩在连接到敌人之后呢，还会发动一些特殊的攻击，并且在合适的时机，他会发射一种很厉害的像手炮一样的这样的一个一个技能，叫做。回猎灌灵炮，但是很重要的是，对他描述的这些发出强力的击，而他身上的爆发的时候呢，在他身边这个好像很性格很恶劣的时候，他可能就会释放一点力量，释放土星来摧毁眼前的敌人。
那和其他两位勇士一样。呃，你大概会猜到基尼奇在纳塔的大地上也会具备什么样的能力？哇，这也太好了吧！那是我们五点零三的伙伴都能够帮助我们。Simmeru for go already. I'm still my sons are, you know. 因为基尼奇他也有显示纳塔区域特点的能力，并且除此之外，他也有作为呃玄牧人部族成员的能力，也就是他和部分的采集物交互的时候，还可以去提升队伍中所有角色的移动速度。我已经就预见到了。You know they're in a game. Yeah, but you don't want them to become self-aware they're in a game. You've, you've seen Doki Doki Literature Club. 文路和怎么说特效，很有一些纳塔的风格，就像周深有火焰在燃烧一样的感觉。那这种设计呢，其实也是我们在纳塔角色身上所尝试的一种新机制。Like they're trying to pretend that the the kid is pyro when she's geo. 呃，结合起来，呃，称之为夜魂加持。那纳塔的角色会利用这种叫夜魂加持的状态，在战斗中充分呃发挥它的作用。这种能力，我就接过话茬，是通过我们这位称为一种叫做燃素刻录的仪式来激发的。借助这种古老的仪式啊，在纳塔地区神之眼的持有者，不仅可以与部族的大灵和地脉进行沟通，还能通过这个仪式强化自己的实力。OK， 这个大灵听起来好像是什么部族的监监视者，或者像部族的一个。啊，图腾和信仰这样的哦，原来如此。那也就是说，有了夜魂加持这种全新呃概念的加入，会导致纳塔会有一些完全不一样的。Guys, probably get pyro traveler like at a like a hype moment in the story. 也做了一些便利性的设计。那我们从五点零开始，重新制作了一部分且是身手的活动场地。嗯哼。那大家可以看到，就且是身手的场地会变成一个完全是纳塔风格的，类似大世界这样的一个新区域。世界观察。那旅行者们就可以在这样的一个区域里面很方便的去测试角色的。They heard everyone complain about climbing. 介绍这三个角色之后，那大家也会再问一个问题：那旅行者在每个国家，只要他呃触碰一下七天神像，就可以获得这个国家的呃相关元素的对这个能力。那么在纳塔，他是不是也能够很顺利的去接触到火元素的能力，并且也和这些角色一样，呃有夜魂加持的效果呢？哎，提到这个就要提前和大家说明一下了。那么这次旅行者来到纳塔和七天神像进行初次共鸣的时候呢，由于某种不知名的原因，旅行者并不能立刻唤醒火元素力。那关于这个奇怪的现象，其实涉及到了我们现在纳塔面临到的一些种种的危机。那等旅行者们在纳塔的旅程进一步深入的时候，就能够得到详细的解答了。我相信啊，除了刚才介绍的到这些新朋友啊。还有一些纳塔的角色，因为之前我们有过，呃，以凡聊著名的这样的一个视频。对，比如说啊，我们还有更早期的呃一个卫星角色，就是足迹当中的对对对，就是足迹 P V 里已经露面的伊安山，包括像我有印象的还有恰斯卡、啊嗯，对吧？还有火神这样的角色，嗯、那么他们在剧情当中是否都会在五点零的版本中登场呢？哎，七哥就观察得很仔细啊。那么我们先说呃恰斯卡嘛，他是一位来自花语会。个性洒脱、实力傲人，在各个部族中非常稳定的朝廷人，这么一个身份，在五点零版本的魔神任务当中呢，他也会和我们一起参与到某项重要的调查之中。还有刚才提到的，来自于沃路之邦的我们的健身教练、潜规火圣夜巡礼冠军导师伊安山，那他也会在我们的剧情当中为旅行者提供帮助。其实刚才在问答环节中啊，大家其实也反复提及的就是火神，对吧？还有愚人众的第一席。队长就实力最强劲的这一位，那么他们都会在魔神任务中登场吗？对，也请期待就我们的队长和火神这两位强者对强者之间，他们会擦出什么火花的。This 而在其他引燃 PV 中出现的角色，就比如说来自我们火神之子的希诺宁，来自烟迷组的希特拉、罗伦等等，他也会在后续的版本中陆续与各位旅行者们见面。Okay, so not this version. Okay. Sorry, guys, I got jump scared. I'm sorry, I got jump scared. 角色活动祈愿的具体安排吧。终于到了大家。That was insane timing. Oh my god. 这次还是由我来给大家介绍一下五点零版本的祈愿活动安排。那么在五点零版本的第一阶段，看到了我们的马拉尼和风油万叶。看到他的卡斯卡。然后卡奇娜呢，她也会出现在第一阶段的这个活动起源当中，并且提升获取概率。而在卡池的下半期呢，将会迎来惊奇和雷电将军的概率二。旅行者们可千万不要错过。
。此外呢，全新五星双手剑、山王长牙和五星法器冲浪时光也将出现在武器活动起源中。Surf's、同时，纳塔地区也新增了五把核锻造武器。旅行者们可以前往纳塔的铁匠铺，呃，寻找阿龙进行兑换。那在接下来的、呃、前瞻的一系列的活动当中，我们会推出一个名为“出发火车”的 S 五网页活动。I don't play enough to justify polling anymore. I already have my favorite characters. 即将上线的五点零版本的新内容，还能在版本更新后直接通过这个 H 五的玩法获取三种纳塔地区的锻造武器。那所有关于这些活动的具体内容呢，也请关注官方后续的公告，了解更多的活动详情。那除了刚才说的全新的武器以外呢，五点零版本更新以后啊。Until Senora, if Senora comes out, I'll get her. I have to. I think I said like two years ago, if Senora comes out, I'll see six. Yeah, it sounds like Nata style. Yeah, Nata style. Yeah. 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 那么我也圆满完成了今天的任务。好，那我也要追随大伟哥。所以说，大伟哥今天台上就只剩我一个人了吗？你可以想办法呀。啊，我自己想办法吗 ？I don't pull and get you anymore, you guys. I only play Arkham Quest and I log out. So like, I I can't justify spending money. 行，那请大家拭目以待。This must be your first time in Natland. Chief says Natland's a little different from other nations. We're not like other nations, you guys. Rather than having one main city. But every time the pilgrimage rolls around, all six tribes gather at the stadium to compete. It's a pokey battle. See those people with the tapetlosaurs? They're from my tribe. I come from the children of Echo. We're known for our mining skills. This bee is good. The tapetlosaurs are our friends. They help us find the prettiest ores and gems. <laughs> and that means my tribe has all the best jewelers. When we find a really special gemstone, we use it to decorate our Bro, weapons this bee? Oh, also, if you have time, you should come watch one of our dance-offs. They're super fun. Anyway, the other contestants we just saw are from the people of the springs. That's right. <laughs> We live alongside the Caholosaurus. Ooh, I like her voice. Our tribe is a really awesome vacation spot. Oh, oh, sorry. Got lost in the music for a sec. The people of my tribe love getting together to go fishing, listen to music, and relax. Beyond that, our favorite thing is bathing in the hot springs. The Caholosaurus like it too. That's why we're such good pals. But make sure you give him some space when it gets busy. And if a grumpy Koholosaur bites you, do not bite them back. A lot of places in Natland are covered in lava. If you plan to go exploring, I recommend picking a guide from my tribe. <laughs> For deliveries, look no further than the scions of the canopy. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of messengers. Is this Everything Kinnich? from letters to packages. Being quick on our feet is one of our strengths. There's also our hunters, who take on a wide range of commissions. Ha! Look! Those idiots have a bigger death wish than you! Extreme sports are popular in my tribe. He sounds like someone. The Yunkasaurs will protect them. This region is inhospitable. Young people from my tribe come here because they like a challenge. Next up, there's... Wait, wait, wait! Look! Competition starting! Wait, there's only three tribes. There's still two more. Who's gonna come out on top this time? I can't wait to find out. Another code. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, why did they release Jaucho's trailer right now? Like, unironically, unironically. Why would they do that? Wait, so we don't. Wait. That was an accident. I was trying to, I was trying to pin your message. I'm sorry.
OK。哎，好，各位旅行者，欢迎回来。那在这个环节呢，我就不是鸡哥了，在这个环节我是逆叶龙鸡哥。那我的小伙伴现在也已经到场了，呃，他们到底是人还是龙啊？哎，说你们呢，别说。I have a Pokemon, not a Pokemon. I have a Pom Pom. 节目都开始了，趣味真香啊！机会难得，你们给大家介绍一下你们自己。呃，大家好，我是疾风龙啊，不对，我是原神的战斗设计师老杨。平时的主要工作呢，主要是做龙。然后今天呢，很高兴能到现场给大家亲自做一次龙。哎，大家好。我是原神的关卡设计师小巴，很荣幸呢，这次能够和大家介绍一下，呃，娜塔的场景和关卡设计理念。欢迎两位。好，那今天啊，我们请到小巴还有呃老杨来到现场呢，其实是我们接着刚才的话题，呃，继续聊。我们已经知道了呀，就是娜塔是一个呃人和龙。共生的国度。那刚才其实我们在呃之前的介绍里也有谈到说，哎、嗯，纳塔的地貌环境啊，其实也跟其他的国家非常的不一样。哎，是的，我也其实也在网上看到了很多这样的评论。对于我们开发者来讲呢，纳塔也是一个非常具有特色的国度。潮酷和多彩是它的两个关键词。比方说，旅行者可以在巨大的山体上面看到多彩的涂鸦，或者是说在各个部落里面看到很多潮酷的要素。哎，那这次我注意到一件事啊，就是老杨你，你你怀里抱的这这这是个什么？呃，这应该是我们娜塔会呃随时陪着我们在任务中的一个小伙伴。就是在娜塔，我们已经知道它是一个人和龙结合的国度、哦，所以我们整个的设计理念是围绕着人和龙怎么做的结合。没错。那上一趴我也有说到啊，就是呃。旅行者可以通过一种附身的方式来附到娜塔的龙类身上，从而进行一些复杂的探索的行为。那接下来我就替老杨来介绍一下这位非常可爱的小伙伴吧。哦，他也有什么来头吗？呃，旅行者们在纳塔探险的时候呢，就会遇到这一只特别的小恐龙。So maybe instead of pyro traveler, we just get Pokemon. <笑>我们暂时称它为小家伙吧。小家伙呢，它会陪伴我们经历很多有趣的小故事，并且也会参与到重要的世界任务当中。Oh, oh, oh, it's a little baby. 除了这个小疾风龙这些小家伙以外啊，那我知道就是呃，刚才你也有谈到纳塔有非常多的部落的特色。那其实今天也很难得，我们有三个小龙人在场，对吧？不如。这次我们就眼见为实，带着玩家去逛一圈。好呀，可以啊！来来来，我们先去我们疾风龙的部落去看一下我的老家。<笑>走走走，跟着他走吧,走吧。这里啊，就是我们回声之子的部落。哦，大家可以看到啊，我们这个地方有很多的宝石，嗯、也有很多的矿石。同时呢，我们整个建筑的风格也看起来就跟岩元素很有关系。看，已经是他们了，已经<笑>代入了。是的。我们回声之子啊，一直觉得最强的战士，比如说像我这样的，嗯，才能够获得最好的宝石。所以呢，我们去深耕了一下，挖掘相关的一些技术。我来为老杨补充一下，就是在回声之子周围呢，也有不少因为钻探和挖掘而被发现的奇特景观，比如这处巨大的、含有大量固态元素的鎏金之脉。以及一些很神秘的、可以一直向下挖掘的洞穴等等。哎，你刚才其实小巴有提到啊，有很多值得去挖掘的区域。你刚才也说，对吧？你们部落是以宝石和挖掘做建长的，那你们的战斗伙伴，也就是疾风龙，想必也非常擅长这个领域的一些能力吧？疾风龙虽然在地面上移动，看起来憨态可掬，但是借助燃素，它可以在地下快速的移动，还能翻山越岭。同时也能帮我们回声之子去探查地下什么地方有宝石，所以他应该是你们这个部落的跑酷好手了。哎，是的，哎，你看小巴那边还有一处，好像是你们部落的。是的，这是我的老家。接下来不如到我的老家去看一下吧。没问题，那你来带路。哇，这里呢就是我的老家，骑游龙不足，流泉之众。就咱部落的人呢，是大多是热爱音乐，然后以及喜欢泡泡温泉、休闲放松，然后包括他们的伙伴企鹅龙呢，日常也是一副懒散甚至有那么一点迟钝的样子。虽然我们部族的人呢，经常看起来是这么一副安逸的样子，但当遇到真正的战斗以及比赛的时候，也都是一把好手。值得一提的是呢，咱部族的人也是纳塔少数的能够在液态燃素区域上活动的人。啊液态,液态燃素是不是就是那种
，看起来特别像岩浆的那种区域。呃，对对对，我记得，因为之前我们也提到过液态元素。那小八哥，我们再介绍一下。好的啊，液态元素区域呢是，呃，我们看起来是比较像橙红色，很热，甚至有一点危险的这种地区。哎，那既然它这么危险的话，是不是我在周边游玩的时候要特别小心才行？呃，其实也不用，因为液态元素区域呢，它通常是在比较隐秘的地下，<笑>或者说存在在一些比较有挑战性的区域，需要喜欢挑战的旅行者们呢自己前去体验。我们两个都说差不多了，鸡哥觉得缺点什么？那接下来就去看看我的老家，也就是聂龙的部族怎么样？好、哦、呀、啊，那我来带路。哎。Why is spicy？ 这,嘿嘿这可是聂龙部落的宝藏，也就是地图。哎，既然大家看到了聂龙部族这边有一个这么大的聂龙头像，那不如我们就从龙本身开始说起吧。可以啊，看一下跟我们疾风龙还有小巴他们骑游龙究竟有什么不同？没问题。那聂龙呢？它最强大的能力当然就是自己觅食的能力了。大家就看见啊，在聂龙的夹带当中，其实储存了一种很特殊的叫做果硫果胶的物质。那每当聂龙要去觅食的时候呢，就会释放夹带当中的火硫果胶，用它粘住果实，然后送入口中。那在纳塔当然也会有一些富含燃素的果实。那聂龙呢，也可以通过火灵果胶去吸收这些带有燃素的果实，并且在适当的时候去释放它们，造成爆炸的效果。呃，这种火硫果胶呢，它不仅能够作为觉觉 no, 作为觉觉作为 so, 觉觉 so, 觉 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 so, 那既然聂龙这么厉害，他们部族的人呢？哎，那么这不得不说，聂龙部族叫玄木人，所有的部族成员，他们都非常热衷于极限运动，也会和他们的龙伙伴一样，在群山当中来回穿梭。所以呢，聂龙部族，也就是玄木人部族的成员，他们多半也都成为了冒险家、呃运动员，或者说呃快递员这样的一些职业。呃，在聂龙部族旁边呢，其实有这么一个遍布高耸悬崖的遗迹——祖遗庙宇。和聂龙一起呢，旅行者说不定可以找到神秘的宝藏哦。鸡哥呀，我还是非常在意刚才说的吃果子这个事儿。<笑>我听过一个关于你的聂龙的八卦，<笑> I like the Archon Quest. I like the story of Genshin Impact. 我感觉不是什么好八卦。<笑> I simply just don't want to explore. 听说有一只聂龙，但是不是很自律。Don't want to explore. 然后呢，因为吃了太多的果子，导致身材发福，在洞穴下面。I'm just here for the story. I want to see it till the end. 你可以保重啊！啊，原来是这么一回事。<笑>那我觉得呀，这里面可有太多的新闻你不知道了，所以老杨，我们不如我们坐回去，就这件事情，我跟你们再好好说道说道。好，哎，老杨，就接着刚才那个聂龙的话题啊， yeah, quest, 嗯、我觉得我必须要为他说句公道话。虽然这是聂龙，他又贪吃，呃，体型又大，他确实也困在一个地方出不来，但是呢，他实际上是聂龙当中非常古老的一只。哎、oh ，那你就会问了。我和旅行者到底用什么方式来对付他们呢？那那这一点确实，老杨刚才说的有道理啊，就是他确实贪吃，所以旅行者们呢，在跟他对战的过程中，可以找到一些对付他的弱点，比如说他喜欢吃的东西，对吧？我觉得鸡哥更像是在给自己辩解啊，<笑>那一定没有这个意思，一定没有。哎哎，对啊。那我还不得不说一句啊，这个聂龙的 boss 长上去还是挺可爱的。Wait, wait, no, it's like, 难道我们纳塔就全都是这种可爱画风的龙吗？就像我们三个一样。I only log in for the story. 就像我们之前在宣传短片中提前放出的，有一只会飞的大龙。这个龙呢，其实也是我们五点零版本里面需要面对的一个敌人。Guys, play reverse 1999. 但是我怎么记得纳塔的龙好像一般都是聚居的？为什么这只龙它会自己单独跑出来呢？啊，你也看出来，它跟我们现在我们三个是不太一样的。<笑>这只巨大的家伙呢，是有一些特殊的原因的。这个地方我要先卖个关子。然后它不得已而为之，最后离开了自己的族群，生活在这片区域。哦啊，除了刚才我们介绍过的这个胖胖的聂龙和神秘的巨大飞龙呢，我们在纳塔的旅程中还有许多神奇的生物，比如说看上去就很容易被撞飞的鸟， oh、God, these little animals. 看上去就很憨的禽兽， oh, it's a 看上去就很热的甲虫，还有一些看上去就很会飞的老鼠。Oh 除了刚才老杨讲到的这些奇特生物以外呢，在纳塔还有很多风格迥异的场景。比如说神秘的高难度的夜神试炼，还有巨大的间歇喷发的火山，未来呢也会给旅行者们开放。这个大家可以尽情期待。大家都知道，我们在每个国家推出的时候，都会有一套叫声望系统的系统内容啊。那这一次。在五点零的版本，我们对这个声望系统做了一次全新的尝试。OK， 那这一次呢，旅行者可以在各个部落的一个叫钥匙图腾柱的地方，去接取对应部族的讨伐悬赏和务虚通告。
Okay, so it's the same. 哎，那这听上去不还是声望系统吗？ Yeah, so it's the same. 啊，对哦，好像说到这里，感觉它跟声望系统没有什么区别啊。但是呢，我还是说漏了一点。在之前的环节当中，我有提到一个叫“不足记文”的概念。那么在钥匙图腾柱这里，旅行者们还可以开启每个部族的“不足记文”了。这个记文呢，除了包含部族的传说和周边的风土人情以外，还有大家最关心的纳塔的角色传说任务。哦，也就是说，包含上述所有的内容在内，每一个部族都将陆续开放三个章节供玩家游玩。所以，我们纳塔的传说任务其实是换了一种新的形式出现的。除了部落巨文以外呢，在五点零版本还有更多以单元剧情式出现的篇幅比较短的世界任务，比方说刚才介绍到的以小家伙为主角的世界任务。好好好，那我们一口气介绍了这么多的呃，包括场景呀、啊，包括我们战斗的一些 BOSS 呀、啊，包括刚才说的任务。那么接下来我们再跟旅行者们介绍一下这次五点零版本的活动。好呀，呃，那就由我来为大家介绍一下我们的活动吧。这次我们也为旅行者们准备了很多丰富多彩的活动，比如纳塔探索导览，还有前往皮瓦特各处打卡的旅行回顾。完成其中一个活动呢，还能获得一个四星法器。值得一提的是，即使旅行者们已经游玩过的一些挑战呢，呃，在纳塔也会以一个完全不同的形式呈现。这里我要替他说一句，我们也为旅行者准备了一些特殊的游玩的短片，哦，具体有多不一样，我们一起看一下就知道。好，那我们就看一看。好，这次呢，我们纳塔呢带来了很多全新的玩法，今天也邀请了几个朋友到现场来实际体验一下。我就先带着大家跑一段现实挑战。这个地方有一个龙陵，这是疾风龙部落的，然后我们可以魂附到这个龙陵上。可以开始我们的挑战。Wait, we turn into the drum. 开始攻击，你就钻到地下了。在这个过程里面呢，我们需要借助我们这个小龙的特点啊，去尽可能多的吃到金币。Wait, you turn into them? 这就是个错误示范。这个地方呢，又要切回我们地方龙了。墙上这个红色的石头是吸不能量的哦，还行还行，厉害厉害厉害，一百一百，哇，也就是一百零一杠一百零一吧。我装个 controller， I'm a PC gamer。咱们教学也就先告一段落，立刻进入比赛，怎么样？来了，实战环节。咱两两组队，互相比一下，挑战用时和挑战得分。Why are they having challenges in the middle of this special program? I mean, like, have fun. 漏了。OK。感觉我上来就漏了。感觉我们有戏。OK. Oh, does it like stop mid air? That's kind of cool. 攻击。是不是漏了一个？那你要相信我，你转头看看呗，你漏不了。哎哎，我怎么感觉我下面又漏了？来，准备到你了啊！来了来了来了，给给给！哎，怎么换来的？哎，打开了元素视野，不愧是我教的呀！你哎，咱先把它跑，哎对，回到正轨，可以可以。哦、oh. ，第一次嘛，还可以，<笑>最高评分应该是 B， <笑>那必须的。I want this team to win、yeah.。压力，压力逐渐减小。<笑>攻击，攻击。准备要接手了。I feel like they could have gotten streamers to do this. Ah, don't hold it well for me. Come on, come on. You know? Super high level. Not me, because I don't play Genshin that much. <coughs> But they could have gotten like I don't know some streamers to do that. Yeah, not bad, right? You know? You know? 原神五点零版本也即将上线，马上就给旅行者们搬上来了。到时候我们大家一起去纳塔去体验这些新鲜的玩法吧。起来，旅行者们欢迎回来！哇，我终于从逆夜龙的形态解脱了。那坐在我身边的呢，就是大家的老朋友，原神的国内市场负责人 Michael。大家好
，这次说来也巧啊，我们的五点零版本刚好撞上周年庆啊。是哎，那说起周年庆，那就必须带上我们的传统技能。没错，那么在这次五点零版本期间呢，通过周年庆的签到活动，我们会为各位旅行者送出十枚纠缠资源。另外，我们也会通过邮件向大家发放包括一千六百元时在内的诸多奖励，其中还包含一个全新的跟宠和一个有趣的炸弹玩具小道具哦。Whoa there, buddy! Whoa there, buddy! 啊，对对对，我们也会在这个版本去重复大家的充分的福利。嗯，那福利的环节就到这里。那接下来让我来介绍一下。等等等等等等等等。啊，那福利的环节为什么就到这里了？我们每年的福利不是都还有吗？哎。难道大伟哥没有跟你讲过吗 ？But wait, there's more. 怎么了？那么，这个你见过吗 ？What is that? 这什么？啊，这么厚吗 ？Michael， 你真不知道吗？真不知道。别慌，别慌，别慌。那我们就带入 Michael 的视角，我们和旅行者们一起来一条一条分享一下我们这个版本嗯做出的福利以及相关优化。嗯，在五点零版本期间。旅行者们只要完成魔神任务《龙花与炎日之徒》，也就是我们五点零的主线，就可以在活动界面直接领取额外的五百元石。刚刚说到的是完成主线就有更多的原石吗？没错啊。那还有提到一点是五点零版本期间才有，那是只有五点零才有吗？哎，那可不是了。在接下来的五点零、五点一和五点三版本，也就是我们的主线重要篇章后的这些版本，都可以拿到这样的限时奖励，也就是有更多的额外的五百元石哦。嗯，我感觉还是有一些吸引力哦。我刚才有讲到魔神任务啊，那接下来我当然要去讲一讲传说任务了。嗯，在后续的新角色，无论他们是以不足祭文，还是以传说任务的形式，呃，出现他们的故事的时候，只要玩家在当前的版本进行了这些任务的体验，就可以获得额外的奖励了。那具体有哪些奖励？哎，这些奖励包含额外的原石，以及还有对应角色突破等级二。和突破等级三所需要的所有培养材料哦，我们就拿五点零版本的马拉尼来举例子。呃，首先我们会有写式身手的活动，马拉尼可以突破到突破等级一，对不对？嗯。然后因为马拉尼有不足祭文任务，也就是说接下来他会陆续获得突破等级二和突破等级三的所有材料。嗯。也就是说，玩家几乎不用付出任何的额外努力，他就能直接将马拉尼快速升到六十级。嗯。那说明。现在养新角色的这个培养压力就一下子下来了，没错。OK， 这样也是能够为我们的新老玩家第一次接触到新角色的时候，呃，就是能铺平很多原先遇到的阻碍。但是，对于新加入的这些旅行者，他们好像不能立刻赶到那堂。对于他们。有什么样的安排？那 Michael， 你的意思是说，假如我是一个初来乍到的旅行者，对的，我没有办法第一时间体会到这些任务，那我就拿不到对应的原始奖励了。是的，是的。这一点我们当然也都看到了。所以在后面的主线，它是一个新的公司，是主线开始公司。在五点零版本更新以后，然后完成了新的主线，达到了新的主线，并且达到了冒险等级二十八级。就可以直接在活动界面开启纳塔的主线剧情了。那太好了，就是之前还有一些朋友会问我嘛，什么时候入坑原神最好？那我觉得就是现在了。哎，我还要给大家补充一条信息哦，就是快速开启的这个功能，在后续版本也会陆续开启。那让我再追问一下吧，之前忙碌在外的一些旅行者，或许会返回到提瓦特大陆再看一看、嗯。那对于我们这些回归的老朋友，是不是也应该有些表示啊？你知道在《原神》原先的版本里面有一个针对回归玩家的活动，叫“新之归还”。对，那么在五点零版本呢，我们对“新之归还”的奖励也做了一定的调整。除了原本的原始奖励以外呀，还有一些长期没有回归到提瓦特的旅行者们。那这些旅行者呢，还会额外在“新之归还”活动中领取至多十枚纠缠资源，十抽啊！对，具体的参与规则呢，旅行者可以参考后续的官方公告和游戏内的指引，等等。那新玩家跟老朋友都照顾到了，没错、啊。那像我这种一直坚守在提瓦特旅程一线的旅行者，我们也提了很多的优化意见跟呃想法、嗯。那有没有针对我们的一些内容呢？那当然了，我们一直在强调，其实原神的开发组啊，一直在持续的关注和倾听玩家的反馈。那么接下来我还有更多的调整和优化，就是针对玩家的反馈所做出的，在五点零版本更新以后呢。只要旅行者们点击背包当中对应区域特产的野外采集选项，我不知道大家有没有注意过啊？就是区域特产一直有一个
呃，只可观看不可点击的野外没错采集地点推荐没错对。那么现在呢，只要你点击了这个选项，它就会在大地图上自动追踪这些区域特展的采集地点了。不仅如此，你还可以通过这个自动追踪功能来监控这些区域里面剩余特产的可采集数量。哇，那也太舒服了吧！那怪物的掉落的这个能不能也做一下优化？以前。我去收集这个海乱鬼跟漂浮林的时候，真的太痛苦了<笑>。那么在这一次啊，我们也针对这样的一个呃反馈做了一些调整。在五点零版本更新以后呢，我们特定的一些怪物的材料掉率也会获得提升。其中啊，就包括 Michael 你刚才提到的海乱鬼和漂浮林。嗯，那那怎么样提升、啊？呃，大家可以看到我们视频上面的一些掉落素材的对比啊，这、呃、好明显。对，当然，如果只是提升他们的掉率，可能还不能满足玩家除大地的一个需求、啊。所以在五点零版本，我们还推出了另外一个功能，我们推出了开放世界等级的世界等级九。Okay, 世界等级九吗？没错。那么大家会想，世界等级九会不会非常困难？但是对于这些实力强大的旅行者。他可以很轻松地挑战世界等级九的这些内容的同时呢，还会获得更丰厚的掉落奖励。Are we finally able to get to level 100? 我必须要强调一下，这些掉落奖励呢，也包含首领敌人在内。等等。那这是我的问题。那就是说，刚刚世界等级提升后的这个增加材料的掉落，以及包括整体的这个怪物掉落的这个内容的增加。两个效果是可以叠加的吗？没错，这两个效果是可以叠加的。Okay, how about like a re- reserve resin system? system? How about removing the day cap for getting talent materials and weapon mats? Michael, you 已经听到这里了。I feel like those are the quality of life changes people want. 这这样吧，我我还有一些痛点，就我必须要今天就替玩家去说。剩一物，我也一直觉得呃应该优化的。那你们有安排吗？啊，那当然了，那当然，那当然了。就是圣遗物啊，我觉得大家这么多年下来啊， oh? 对于原神的圣遗物主要是呃吐槽两个点啊，嗯，就是第一个点叫圣遗物转狗粮，嗯，嗯第二个点叫呃一个极品圣遗物的胚子，嗯嗯，我们先说呃圣遗物分解的事情啊，旅行者们在分解圣遗物之前不是只能分解出摩拉吗？哦不，这次啊，我们分解圣遗物之后，可以将它转化为圣遗物的经验素材了。OK， 所以就是说大家不用再担心说。呃，不舍得分解这些圣遗物而占大家的背包空间了。哎，我以前就是因为有一些生命词条跟防御词条，不知道应不应该把它拿掉，所以我一直都存着，我的背包是一直满的状态。对，然后存着的时候呢，你又不太愿意把它直接换成魔蓝。对，万一后面有角色要用到，那，对吧？我也没错，没错。好，那刚才 Michael 其实提了一个很重要的问题啊，就是他。呃，如果到了关键的时候，却又没有办法为后续的角色获取对应的圣遗物，呃，就会感觉自己很矛盾，对不对？对的，嗯。那么除了圣遗物转化为呃培养材料以外呢，我们还推推出了第二个很重磅的功能，叫做祝圣之霜。助圣之霜，这个名字听起来有点厉害。这个名字听起来很厉害，它的功能其实更厉害。旅行者们可以通过使用助圣之霜来兑换指定词条的圣遗物。指定词条吗？没错，这个指定词条不仅能够指定主词条的属性种类，还可以额外指定两个副词条的属性。副词条也能？没错。那我的双。That's a little nutty. That's okay. That's a little nutty. 五点零版本的助圣之窗呢？大家可以通过萃取一定数量已经升级的圣遗物，或者说探索纳塔的大世界，或者说解锁真迹形，达到指定的等级来获取。嗯，刚才我们是不是有提到周年庆的邮件奖励啊？对。所以在周年庆的邮件奖励当中，我们也附送了一部分助成装饰，大家取用。Double it, pass it, and double it, give it an X. 的东西没错。关于助成之窗的详细获取规则和消耗规则呢，后续也可以参照游戏内的相关指引。嗯啊，我知道之前一直也有旅行者吐槽啊，觉得我们进行奖励的很多物品我已经用不上了，包括可能我已经溢出的锻造用模块，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角色，包括可能给我在某个国家的角旅行者们就可以从这四种养成资源中任选其中三种，作为本次进行可获取的奖励。嗯，也就是说，你可以通过自己的需求来查漏补缺了。嗯，此外呢，如果旅行者们解锁了珍珠祭行或者珍珠之歌，并且在达到对应等级之后，我们原本指定国家的角色天赋培养素材。
会变成能够让旅行者自由选择任意国家的角色天赋培养素材。哎，等等，七哥，呃，<笑>你现在说的真的是原什么？观众你还记不记得，<笑>我们的旅行者为了去提升我们队伍的体力上限，嗯，他必须得把蒙德和璃月的齐天神像供奉至满级，对不对？嗯嗯，你觉得这个问题该不该解决？对啊，不然玩家直接到了纳塔，或者说体验其他的国度，他就体力值就没有办法涨了。没错，所以既然我们做了主线快速开启，那么一定要把相关的所有的细节都优化到底。嗯，从五点零版本更新开始，旅行者们就可以通过供奉任意区域的七天神像来增加自己的体力值上限了。与此同时呢，从纳塔开始，纳塔的七天神像。纳塔的地灵龛，还有类似像枫丹陆景泉这样的纳塔独有的供奉系统，也将会提供更多的原始奖励。哎，我帮大家算了一下啊，上述这些原始奖励加起来的总和有超过十枚纠缠之源的价值哦，居然又多了十抽。没错，哇，我感觉我现在也有一点动力要去探索大世界了。嗯嗯，呃，结束了吧？你希不希望、哎？你希不希望这个福利结束？这个眼神有点不对，<笑>你意思是还有吗？哎，你看我手卡已经用完了呀。是啊，那当然是。你还给我留了？我还留有后手。给,给我留了后手。Michael， 你要知道啊，或者我们的旅行者，大家要知道、啊，一般节目的高潮啊，都要留到后面的，所以到迄今为止，我都还没有收到重量级的信息。哎、okay. ，大伟哥，来之前完全没有跟我说过。有这些东西啊，那么这次我也不做，呃，顺序安排，由 Michael 自己去抽一张。那我先抽这个吧，先抽这个对不对？你觉得确定？确定。OK， 好。嗯，刚才啊，我们有一位朋友说到过，呃，希望他能够把玩家歪小保底的。呃，不好的运气都转到他身上，对吧？我们也很佩服这位呃旅行者的勇气。但是接下来我要公布的这一项福利，可以些微的分担一下这位旅行者的负担。Michael， 你想不想替各位旅行者先验货？那我就替各位旅行者先验验货了啊！好，那么麻烦我们的工作人员。好，谢谢。谢谢好 ，Michael， 试试看。嗯。哎。这个特效怎么跟之前的不一样了呀？不会是我欧皇附体了吧？这其实是我们在五点零版本的角色活动起源当中新加入的一个事件，叫做捕获明光。捕获明光，这个是什么东西、啊？我给你们解释一下，也就是当玩家呀、啊、常说的小保底到来的时候，有概率会遇到捕获明光事件。当这次事件出现的时候呢？抽取的结果必定为当期的阿普五星角色。You can force a guarantee. 但是我我我比较好奇啊，这个事件会挤占以前的大小保底的概率吗？哎，知道你就会这么问。我相信旅行者们也非常关心这样一个问题。那么捕获明光，它关键就关键在，它只是单纯提高了小保底抽中当期阿普的机会，并不会影响这个游戏其他所有的概率规则。也就是说，你简单理解为我们抽中当期阿普的。概率提高了，就这么简单。Flip, make, 这个 wait, 消息还是蛮爆炸的。更详细的信息会在后续的官方公告和游戏内的概率公式详情给大家一一说明。那接下来还有吗 ？Michael， 你觉得这个消息都不算爆炸性消息是吗？我觉得已经挺爆炸了。啊，不过呀，既然你都这么问了 ，OK， I don't understand. I'm not gonna lie. I I don't get it. 这三个消息中最不爆炸的一个，我们再试试武器神柱复兴祈愿。好，我点出去看看。Are they gonna finally split it? Are you gonna split weapon banner? 不对吧？这个定轨的数字好像有点问题。哦，哪个数字有问题啊？这怎么变成了一呀？你并没有看错。从五点零版本更新开始，我们的神柱复兴祈愿，也就是武器石。它的定轨上限会从二调整到一，不会吧 ？You don't need to lose twice to get what you want。我觉得事情不会那么简单，啊、你们肯定会从别的地方把它扣回来的。啊，你看 Michael 的这个质问就非常的，让我非常的有技术感、啊。It's finally a guarantee system。呃，坦诚的跟大家讲，这一次武器的起源定轨，我们真的只是把它从二下调到了一，仅此而已。我们没有变动其他所有的。原有的规则，我还有最后一条更劲爆的消息，嗯
还要跟 Michael 和各位旅行。这、哎哎哎、个这个，你别你别吓我，我刚刚开玩笑的，<笑>我跟我我只是玩家的嘴替，我开个玩笑。哎，我可没有在开玩笑， But wait, 对吧？ There's 那这次我们确实是真诚的，想给大家再送上一次非常劲爆的福利。难道说？没错。那么在今天呢，我在这里去公布我们这一次五点零前瞻节目的最后一条福利投放的消息，也就是从今年开始，每年《原神》的周年庆版本期间， wow, 我们都会向已经解锁了祈愿系统的所有旅行者提供一次免费获取飞行世间祈愿包含的任意一名五星角色的机会。That's crazy！ 所以不仅是一个自选的常驻五星。还是每年一个自选常驻五星吗？对你没有听错，你确定吗？你在这里说了之后<笑>不能反悔啊！很多人看到我们直播，我说的很清楚，是从今年开始，每年《原神》的周年庆活动都会给大家这样一个自选常驻五星的机会，而且我们 wait every year， so it's going to be an occurring thing now。哎，没错。我们随着我们版本的推进啊，其实会有越来越多的角色加入到飞行员的行列当中。So、也就是说，每年的这个福利也会随着版本的推进，它的选项会逐渐丰富起来。怎么样？你觉得这这个？哥，我说实话，我鸡皮疙瘩都起来了。我今天这个，我我我我真的有点懵啊，就是。哇，我我我没想到今天的福利居然是这样的，我感觉你的心情还没有从我刚才的我我有点这些消息中缓过来。对我我确实有点没缓过来。那我们给 Michael 一点冷静的时间啊。那我也想代表团队呢，跟大家去说几句。我们虽然是。原神这个游戏的开发者，嗯，但同时我们也是原神的玩家，嗯，这一点一直从一点零开始，呃，我都在不断的跟大家传达这样一个信息。那么玩家提出的一切的问题，我们作为玩家当然也都是感同身受的。是的，因为原神接下来要走的路也很困难，也很长，嗯，但是我希望它能够一直延伸下去，嗯，我们能够一直走下去，也离不开大家一直以来的持续关注和支持。没错。那么接下来就到了 Michael 的回合了。虽然我觉得我们所准备的内容不如刚刚的惊喜，但是我们准备的周年庆相关内容呢，比往年还是只多不少。我们想带给大家的其实很简单，旅行者们能够收获一些简单的快乐，我们就非常满足了。我们平时也非常重视每位旅行者的声音，我觉得项目组的大家其实都是呃发自内心的去认可，还是要以。高品质的核心内容创作 okay, 作为它最重要的基石，我们要持续不断的去做出好内容本身， for, uh, 这才是我们一直能够走下去的立身之本。Talent. 那如果说我们做的内容没有让玩家、没有让旅行者感受到乐趣， also, 那一定是我们哪里出现了问题。我们会非常非常乐意去收集大家的看法，进行调整。这个突然之间感慨起来了呢。那么接下来啊，还是呃再看一些有意思的短片来转换一下气氛吧。Oh. oh my god, he's pink. That's cool. That looks cool. That was cool. The colors. So cool. Please to Natlin. All the archons. So she's an archon confirmed. Well, I mean, we don't know anything yet. 
I think it's very easy to remove someone from a photo. I still feel robbed about Luca Devada. I will miss her. She was so fine. We are very attentive to the feedback from the players. We have many 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 feedback from the players. 在新的版本当中呢，这些事件将根据当期的三元素所对应的反应体系进行有效、清晰的策略引导。简单来讲，就是你拿到这个注意的时候，就已经知道它应该给什么样的队伍使用了。老师说，之前这些赢这些 buff， 我也我都看得不是很明白。没错没错，这也是很真实的一个玩家反应。是的。那这些注意事件呢，也将提供非常强大的特殊元素反应机制，也就是他们是贴合原有的反应体系去制作的。即使玩家对自己手头能够出色的角色机制不够了解，他也能够简单的通过元素搭配来展开有效的进攻策略。这本来也是我们去设置每一期元素主题的初衷。嗯，那当然了，可能会有玩家会问啊，那如果你们设置了这么强大的体系增益之后，会不会导致这些玩法越发的没有挑战性？所以在五点零版本呢，我们对于追求更高难度的挑战者也会开启新的卓越模式。卓越模式当中所对应的奖励内容也会增加，所以希望玩家能够持续的对我们后续推出的玩法不断的提出建议。我们会及时的收集并设法不断的完善这些游戏的体验。没错。此外呢，在五点零版本，我们还会有一些老朋友加入我们的七圣召唤卡牌当中。那新的角色卡、新的怪物卡以及行动牌也会等待大家收集，还会有新的纳塔牌位等待大家获取哦。另外还有联动活动要跟大家分享，纸符双印，原定在遇，原神与逻辑的首次联动即将到来哦。逻辑吗？没错，定制款逻辑产品将在九月的逻辑派发布会上与大家正式见面。逻辑的社媒平台啊，也即将公布联名产品信息。此外还有多种联名周边可以获取。各位旅行者，喜欢的话千万不要错过哇！逻辑的定制款，哎，你要知道我从小到大用的都是逻辑的外设，哇，这可太酷了。嗯 ，Michael， 听说你今天应该还给大家带来了一些音乐方面的消息。是的，纳塔音乐也必须在这个环节给大家分享。据我所知啊，纳塔的音乐风格跟封单相比起来是要特殊的非常多的。接下来就请旅行者们拿起手边的花生、瓜子、饮料、矿泉水，入席就座。纳塔交响音乐会马上开始。Natlin live symphony performance。This is so cool. Do you guys know what language this is? Swahili?
it. I'm just listening. Which language is this? Is this still Swahili? Like, oh yeah, Natlin's Nation of War, Nation of War. But they're really not showing us the war. Or do we think it's gonna like turn into it? Start war copium. It's not copium. She's coming back. Hmm. Hey, today, everyone's performance is very good. Look at this old actor. Is it okay to 
不是那么满意啊，而且压力也是相当的大。不过我觉得，如果旅行者们能喜欢我们这次纳塔的内容的话，我觉得效果就已经到位了。那今天介绍完这个今天的内容啊，我这边还有最后一个问题啊，也是之前问卷中有玩家提到的，就是项目组啊内部对于原神未来有什么样的规划，有没有什么可以提前透露的一些内容啊？ Yeah, brother. 啊，我先说规划的问题吧。呃，在此之前，我想提个题外话。就是在呃到期版本上线的那一年，我记得有一个海外媒体的朋友有问我一个问题，说，呃这一年的开发感受，如果用一个词来概括的话，你觉得什么样的词最合适？那当时我其实用了一个词叫进化，这个词不光是指我们整个团队为了去做更多原先从未体验过的内容所做出的个人努力，所做出的团队的进化。另一方面，其实也是，呃，直到今天，大家看到的像纳塔这样的内容，也是我们这个进化之路上的其中一小步。那每年我们都会努力的，做出一些让大家眼前一亮的、有新概念的内容，呈现给大家。那刚才大家也有问，在故事上我们有没有什么长线规划？我们会在未来的旅途上遇到更多的伙伴和敌人。那么他们其中有一些呢，呃。一直活在坊间传闻当中，那还有一些呢，可能迄今为止和玩家只有一面之缘，玩家和他们也不甚了解。那还有一些呢，可能他们对旅行者是陌生的，对于提瓦特的众人也是陌生的。但是这些人和世界的命运之间也是息息相关的。那旅行者前往寻找自己血亲的这个旅途，实际上也会和这个世界之间的联系，因为上述的原因越来越紧密。呃，那么基哥也给我们介绍了很多原神未来的规划，那么也是让我们对未来啊充满着期待。我们今天的那个前瞻特别节目啊，到这里呢也就接近尾声了。那原神到现在啊都已经四年了，我也有很多心里话啊想跟我们旅行者讲。呃，我们一起从二零二零年的那个秋天启程呢、啊，已经是相伴的走过了四个年头，那共同度过了许多呃难忘的时刻。那随着这个探索的步伐不断前行啊，那提瓦特的这个大陆也是孕育了这个丰富多彩。那我也相信未来的每一片新的地域啊，每一段新的故事啊，会成为我们最美好的这个回忆啊。那过去的这一年啊，原生项目组和我、啊、都是曾经经历了这个焦虑和迷茫的。我们听到了很多的声音啊，有的把原生吹上天，有的把原生啊贬得一无是处啊。这样的声音多了啊，难免让项目组和我都有点不知所措。我自己回想起原神这一路走来啊，其实旅行者的热情、期望与反馈啊，让我们有了不断前行的这个动力啊，也是原神啊能够不断进步的这个源泉。于是啊，今年上半年啊，原神项目组和我啊，决定去跟世界各地的旅行者面对面聊聊。我们去了很多我们从来没有去过的城市，比如湖北襄阳啊，呃，比如巴西圣保罗啊。在跟全球各地的旅行者面对面的时候啊，每一位旅行者都非常激动地跟我们分享他们的提瓦特旅程啊。他们有的还在每天体验原神，有的呢只是新版本更新上来体验一下，有的呢已经很久没有来过提瓦特。跟他们聊完呢、啊，制作组和我重新理解了旅行的意义啊。我们的脑子里想起了那句啊，我们终将重逢啊。I mean you're not wrong. 我们意识到啊。只有对旅行者的陪伴，是原生唯一不能改变的，其他一切皆可改变啊！也正是因为有了各位旅行者啊，我们才有机会在未来带来更多精彩、优质的内容。最后呢，我们将在八月二十八日迎来全新的五点零版本《火之国纳塔》，那这片炙热而神秘的土地啊，也是等待着每一位勇敢的旅行者前去探索。感谢大家一直以来的支持与陪伴，愿你们的纳塔之旅充满惊喜与期待。旅行者们，我们纳塔见。I will say, special program wise, while the rewards were really good, I think this is probably one of the weakest, like, point o special programs. 我感觉他们很放松，比我们之前这个，呃，我在场的时候要要要轻松很多。鸡哥怎么回事？都不提前跟我商量一下？还有不是跟我说是综艺效果吗？都整的是我啊啊！啊，我不知道，龙龙不知道，我只是一条逆龙，你不要来找我，是大尾龙要我干的，要找找大尾龙去啊！我不在的时候，他们谈笑风生。哟，好玩吗？好玩，咋了？像不像 bug 的？像你的 bug 的。拿着吧你，我就看你还修不修你 bug。
说完了，走走走，赶紧回去修 bug 去，看你修 bug。Bro, how long is this? Hello, travelers. I need to watch Jaucho's trailer. Talks. I'm Zach Aguilar, voice of Ether, co-hosting with my friend and voice of Albedo, Koi Dao. Huh, friend, huh? The best friends. I thought he like, cursed uh, for a like second and they censored it. Trace without me. <laughs> hey, everyone. Genshin Impact invited us to be part of the fourth anniversary celebration this year. Four years. That's crazy. Okay, I kind of wish they did do this oh, at like 7 a.m. So because now These it's like almost 2 a.m. and I'm tired. The pleasure of delivering some epic grunt sounds as Ether, voicing emotional dialogue in the Archon quests, and working on the special programs. So many great memories have been made, not only working on the game but also playing it. What do you think, Koi? Oh my gosh, four years! Wow. You know, I turned four years old once. You know, Poke didn't awesome. know Albedo was a character. <laughs> Back then, I never thought I'd get to voice such a cool and intelligent character in an exciting game like Genshin Impact. We know that many of our fellow castmates have had some fun, <laughs> sometimes truly unbelievable experiences over the past four years. So let's bring in a few special guests to Navia, as Albedo might say, Kazuo. <clears throat> turn the unknown into the known. Let's do it. Let's go. That was so energetic. Happy four-year anniversary, everyone! I'm Kimberly Ann Campbell, the voice of Nahida, and I know what you're thinking. A lot of people are like, wow, you sound so different from Nahida. One time during a rare live stream for me, someone in the chat told me to prove that I was actually the voice of Nahida. So both online and in person at conventions, I get a handful of people who seem to be very surprised that that voice comes out of my body. What can I say? It's just what I sound like. I usually whip out a everyone hold hands to prove I'm not lying. Yeah, that's super relatable. Like, I usually just scream Windblade at people to prove that <laughs> Wind it's Windblade! Or, or make a huh sound. Or even just in your private moments. Yeah. I've heard you scream it. Exactly. <laughs> I turn to my right side and I scream Windblade! It helps scare away the demons. That's weird. You're a weird guy. Anyways, here's more guests. <laughs> I'm so lucky that I get to see a lot of Genshin Impact fans yeah, and cosplayers, no. especially the Red and Shogun cosplayers, at conventions all over the world. I'm sorry, and I don't like your so character, cute. and you're such a nice come person. Up to my table and realize that I don't. But she killed sound Senora. Like her. So someone will come up and say, "Oh, are you the?" So until Red Senora's and back, Raiden's oh, yes, forever on my me. shit list, bro. Can you do a line? <laughs> and I'll be like, "Inazuma shines eternal," and watching their eyes light up always makes me smile. Genshin Impact fans are so passionate and I I'm not accepting her death. She's, she's coming back. She's coming back. I personally Oh, they got all the they got all the archons. When Genshin Impact dropped almost immediately, my life began to change in a measurable way. She should have been weak. Hey. And more people. She's beautiful. Don't hate on her. Online at conventions and honestly in my daily life who are so I love passionate his voice. about this game. And and <laughs> I've learned that I love to sneak up on Genshin Impact cosplayers, and then when I'm right behind them, say something like, "This is an age of gods and monsters. I wish not for dominion, yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer." <laughs> I mean, the reactions are genuinely priceless. You gotta say that was meant this one. And I frequently hear from people online that that was one of the highlights of their con. I meet people that are so excited about this game that they literally tear up. I mean, honestly, how lucky am I to be a part of something like that? Oh, that's so sweet. Wow. And that is such a funny thing to do at conventions. Can you imagine sneaking up on people and 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 and, and suddenly speaking in voice? <laughs> yeah, imagine Except someone just coming really in shy. voice and telling yeah. you something to Who make you panic. That? That's so mean. Luckily, my friends okay, don't do first that. First off, I want to give a big thank you to the team at Genshin Impact for letting me play the most beautiful man I have ever seen. Seriously, Nuvalet is a prized character of mine, one I'm just so excited to play and dig into for years to come. While he does have a range of subtle emotional beats and uh, some true cathartic twists, 
What's Nothing that one meme with Nervalet? Possibly compared to the elephant seal in the room. The the month of Oratrice Mechanique Genalise Cordenal changed my life forever. And who could possibly have seen that? I girl? got. Oh my god. Genshin Impact fans are so polite. Bro, I, I kind of remembered it. it. But of course, I always do. And their gratitude about he said the thing is always a palpable delight. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Oratrice Mechanique <laughs> Genalise Cordenal. <laughs> He said the thing. He said the thing. Yeah. He said the thing. <laughs> Pre-watch, bro. The thing. You say the thing. Oratrice mécanique d'analyse cardinal. Oratrice mécanique d'analyse cardinal. Yippee. Yippee. What so was that the voice? Most beautiful man you've ever seen, Zach. There's a correct answer. When I looked into your eyes, Koi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go on. <laughs> I knew that the most beautiful man I ever saw was the reflection in your eyes, me! I, I oh. knew it. I knew it. I knew that's where it was going. Hair flip. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming, everybody. And what an Thanks awesome for what? four years of Genshin Impact. So much happened. Yeah. We've got some surprises in store, so stay tuned for There's other more. Tivat Talks. Tivat Talks. Talks. Stay tuned. Talks. All right? Bro, I need to react to Zhao Cho's trailer. Welcome to Tivat Talks. I'm Sarah oh, Miller. Oh, but they got Cruz, Sarah. The voice of Lumine, and joining me are my lovely co-hosts, Crystal Yay! and Jenny. Yay! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Crystal Lee here. I voice Clarand, the legendary champion duelist herself. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, ooh. Pew, pew, pew. Hello. It is me. I have returned. It is Jenny. <laughs> Guys, you remember doing Mia. <gasps> I am the voice of Yoi Mia. Um, so, and I hope this anniversary sparks joy with all of you oh, out there. Yeah. <laughs> I see what so, you uh, did there. <laughs> speaking of the anniversary, how are you two celebrating this amazing milestone? Oh, one heck of a milestone. Uh, four years? That's like enough to get a bachelor's degree. I mean, I'm going to celebrate oh my, my graduation <laughs> from Genshin Impact University. That's yes. what I'm doing. Yes. I don't know about oh you guys. Gosh. What about you, Sarah? That's amazing. Um, I haven't planned anything specific yet, but I'm sure I'll play more Genshin Impact as usual. <laughs> Come on, you've been in this game for, since you the beginning. You should see your twin, Sarah. Nothing? <laughs> no, don't, no, no, listen, listen. <laughs> I've been looking for him <laughs> for four long years, okay? <laughs> um. So, I mean, listen. So, uh, Crystal, you mentioned that you're going to graduate. I think I'm, go I'm uh, going to yeah. enroll in grad school so I can stay here for as long as I can. Yes, yes I'm enjoying sure. my time. <laughs> because, um, that's, I mean, that's the best move. Get that PhD. Yeah. Also, <laughs> uh, I am very much I mean, a person technically, that is wouldn't Clorin just be like a first year? Culture, and so mm -hmm. I just want to know when my next sweet little treat's going to be. And oh, so yeah. I think I want to indulge in a cake. I want to get one of yes, the, the like, yes. Genshin Impact birthday cakes that they send you on your birthday. Like, technically, because she's like, and I want one. Just yes. came out. Oh my god, about time. Anyway. Let's go ahead and turn to our guests and see what they have to say about this momentous occasion. Yay! Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! I'm so humbled to be Chiori. part of such a fast world and talented cast. When I auditioned for Chiori, I felt such a connection to her inner strength as a fellow AFAB business owner, who is often told they are intimidating, who was discouraged at the beginning of their career, and who has big aspirations. Throughout the recording, Chiori has continued to inspire me through her bold and individualistic style. And I hope to have brought a bit of me to you all through her. Is she fun to use? Oh, that is so I, sweet. Wait, that's I lovely. Love that. I love Brittany. <laughs> that is so great. That's an amazing answer. I really love how like Genshin Impact shows a lot of really strong women, you know? Like a business yes. owner as like being one of such example, that's amazing. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oh my gosh. And I, I feel like a lot of us do feel such connections to our mm -hmm. characters, and that's partially what I think, you know, like helps us I really know, connect, bring them yeah. to life. You know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> I feel like I'm a lot like Lumine because I also have a twin brother in real life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's one of and the reasons that recording for the We Are Reunited <laughs> quest is like so special and emotional for me. Honestly, I, I've gotten teary eyed 
basically every single time we've recorded Ether and Lumine getting to be together again oh, because I that's fair. really cannot imagine how horrible it would be to be separated from my twin brother. It just like makes me so emotional. Oh, no. <laughs> so um, it's one of the reasons that Wait, does she have a twin? Our like IRL was giving me direction for the opening cutscene where they get separated. It actually made me cry. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I love to laugh, <laughs> if you can tell. And I love to laugh as Farina. Especially. I've met Amber before. Some um, of my favorite in person. She's really sweet. involved doing her variety of Her laughs. speaking voice is very I, similar to Farina. Like, I also kept cracking up later on when she's directing and shouts, Action! <laughs> I had so much fun doing those in a variety of ways. And I'm so, so happy the team liked the variety and even some of the sillier ones. You know the ones. <laughs> On the other side of the spectrum, one of my favorite scenes I got to do was when Farina was on stage, reliving all those different moments from her past up to the current day. I'm not joking when I say I couldn't stop crying in the booth while recording those. Legit. Tears for days. Oh. You guys hear me playing with my fidget toy? That's a toy? lot of tears today. That's a lot oh of... Oh my gosh. I know. I, I guess everyone's talking about things that made them emotional. <laughs> right. I, gosh. I'm just like, I'm going to keep saying this because just because I I love so much of our cast, but I'm like, I love Amber. And yes. she's also, amazing. Like, it's very true. Like she does love to laugh. She's a close friend of mine and I can confirm that. <laughs> so I feel like Farina was just made for her. Right. And it's like the the way that a lot of people Does match Farina up love to laugh? And so well, it's or is she just depressed? Things. And like, seriously, Farina has some of the cutest laughs yes. ever. Absolutely agree. Yeah. <laughs> Both. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. The saddest people um, laugh the I mean, hardest, the question, you guys. Though, what about you, Jenny? Okay, so I mean, my first job when I moved out to LA was actually being a pyrotechnician. Wait, no way. Are <laughs> yes, you serious? Um, That's amazing. What? I had such a blast, pun fully intended, by the way, at that job, <laughs> and it <laughs> really helped shape who I am. No, I haven't seen John's trailer feel yet. I feel like this is and I were kind of meant for each other. Oh, it definitely wow. feels like fate. Our similarities even like go beyond working with fireworks, too. Yoimi and I are extremely bubbly and very talkative, as you guys have probably picked up on by now. Um, <laughs> however, we love I think, you both for it. <laughs> thank you. Uh, however, I think the most meaningful similarity is the love we both feel for our disabled fathers. Uh, my father Aww. has since passed, but I grew up as the primary caretaker for my father who had Alzheimer's. So seeing Yoimi interact and help her father uh, really struck a chord with me. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit choked up. Oh, I love her so no. much. Um, Yoimiya honestly means more to me than I could ever properly articulate. I've met so many friends, like present company included, because of this opportunity that I've gotten to voice her, um, including her Japanese voice actor, um, who I got to meet last year, and she was so, so lovely. Oh, amazing! Um, oh my gosh! And I've also just seen so much of the world through conventions. Yeah. It's it's such an unbelievable honor to lend my voice to Yoimiya, who's just like, just to, who's a character that just brings joy to so many people all over the world. You do such a beautiful job. I mean, Yoimiya is a good too. girl, you know? Thank you. When I was cast as Venti, I was like, yay! I'm so excited to be a bard because I love singing. Yay! Um, so for their Vine Lisa Fest, Venti keeps talking about how he's rehearsing this big song and that he's going to perform it at the end of the event, and he keeps saying the word song. So when we got to that final performance, I was like, hey, just for funsies, since we're running ahead of schedule, can I do a version where I sing at the end just for fun? And the team was like, sure, if you can come up with a tune really quick, we can do it just for fun. Um, so I went on break for like five minutes and came back with a little tune for the lyrics and then uh, recorded it in one take. Um, it was super fun, um, but I didn't expect them to actually use it in the game because, like I've said 5,000 times, it was just for fun. And so when the event came out and people started excitingly tagging me in posts about Venti singing, I was so shocked and so excited. Oh my gosh. And it was just so sweet to see how much Venti singing meant to the fans. Like, the reactions were so heartwarming, and I, uh, I was just, I was so happy. Um, I'd love to sing in the game for another event sometime, you know, but I'm also happy to go back to his pretty poetry, too. I'm just really happy that I got to sing at least once in the game. <laughs> oh, Wait, yes. what? That's 
that's oh incredible. Gosh. She just came up with the tune, like, <laughs> yes, spontaneously, just there. Right on the spot. That's I love it. Staring, staring contest is past my bedtime. I'm tired. I and, and, like, I don't know if y'all have heard the Venti song from that event, but it is, is so the good. Yeah, Erica, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's Senora? That's Bring true. her back. She's, she's so talented. Yeah. She really is. She's so talented. That's crazy. I know, I know. Oh well, okay, gosh. so we've been hearing about how all these people feel like a connection to their character, and I was wondering, Crystal, No, I'm oh, gonna react to the to goddamn that. trailer oh today. Ooh, juicy. I mean, yeah, <laughs> no, I... If this I ever ends... The things that really brought me so close to Cloran. Although it is nice out. seeing the voice actors nerd. like do stuff. Like, <laughs> the second I found out she plays tabletop, and like, like plays tabletop with her friends, like not. Oh yeah, I was like, Lauren being a nerd That's is crazy, so fun. Yeah. I walked in and everyone on the call was like, "Hey, so I don't know if you know about tabletop, <laughs> or or like, um, you know, certain games involving tabletop." And I was yeah. like, "Are you kidding me? I live for that stuff. It's, <laughs> I love it so much." And so to be able to bring that side to her was just so incredibly fun, and I loved connecting with how much she. Um, like she's secretly super, super friendly. Like you don't yeah. expect it when you meet her. She's like super stoic and like yeah. down to business, but secretly she's just out here loving her friends and like supporting people. Yeah, she really and loves her friends. Yeah, I don't know. I, I love Very that specific friend too. She just felt she really She came really alive loves her I friend. That much more about her Singular. personal life. Beyond yes. her role in the court. Platonically, so of course. That's so yeah. cute. I, I, I love, love that. her so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Well, it's been so great to hear from all these different actors. I, I love her it. friend this too. Is great. This, <laughs> this is, is really much fun. fun. I know. I love hearing about how everyone connected, like personally. It's like that yeah. little backstage glimpse that you don't usually get. Yes. And a little yeah. peek behind the curtain, if you will. Exactly. Yes. And I still can't believe it. Like you and Alice. Me, me and Alice are just I, friends. Really, no time at all has passed somehow. Like, and also all the time has passed. <laughs> like, time. It's so surreal. It really it is. is. Who knows? <laughs> Well, oh my hey. gosh. I mean, well, this has been great. I've had so much fun with y'all today. Same. And I can't wait for the next. So, I mean, hey, everyone, yeah. stay tuned for more. And happy anniversary, Travelers. Yay, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. No, please, please, no. Hello, everybody. This is Alejandro Saab, voice of Sino. And thanks for tuning in to Tevet Talks. Hey everyone, Joe Zija, voice of Risley here, wishing everybody a happy Genshin Impact four-year anniversary. Oh my yeah, god, it's our same. general. Dude, I can't believe it's been four years. Oh my gosh. I remember when the game first started and I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And now I'm like, I know a little bit of what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't think I've even reached a little bit. I, I think like when I stream the game, it's it's mostly entertaining because I don't know what I'm doing at all. It's but it's been <laughs> it's been awesome to get to know the fan base and the game, and it's just this. Kenshin Impact has become this whole massive world. Like, who could have imagined? Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, so I totally get it. So, without further delay, let's check out what our voice actors have to say about this landmark occasion in our journey. It's like a but wait, there's more. Hi, I'm Erin. Oh my god, the English Arlequino. voice of the Nave, uh, aka Arlequino. Oh, aka Father. We've recorded many Arlequino scenes over the years that I am really quite fond of, but I think the ones that I recall most warmly are those that explored her moments of vulnerability and chilly tenderness, particularly in those few intimate moments with her children. And Obsidian. With Hell yeah, I mean, we brother. We made something special while in the booth, but oh boy, <laughs> watching the finished sequences with all the other actors' performances in there instantly made me so proud to be a part of this cast. And yes, it's also quite fun to play her viciously cool and aloof yet badass sides too. So thank you all for letting me be a small piece of this huge narrative adventure and for being such an incredible and welcoming community. Congrats on four amazing years, Genshin. Here's to many more. Wahoo. Man, Arlequino is so cool, and I absolutely adored that story. It was dark, and it was just yes. Sad I you wear the wear the puns. You know, a lot of work goes into building the voices for these characters. You know. Yeah, and sometimes like you don't know what the work's gonna be. Yeah, and you can build you these nuts. One of my favorite lines of Risley's is, "I'm sorry, if the Duke wants somebody dead, he needs no justification." And a lot of people don't know that it's one of the first scenes we ever did in in the booth. And I remember thinking like, "Whoa, this guy's like rough." He's a prison warden. He's over here saying he's above the law. Okay, I guess I guess I like you know, we'll play him tough, right? We'll play him really rough. Then it turned out that he was this really intelligent, respectable, even like kind 
man. Yeah. And so I just had to take that toughness that was, you know, kind of right out the gate and then apply it to his otherwise really formal language. He speaks really intelligently. But he's also got this kind of like blue collar spirit that makes for a super interesting mix. It was just one of those fun experiments in character development on the fly. Yeah, yeah. Moments like that are absolutely awesome, especially when portraying these characters that have so many layers and so many dimensions. I mean, in Sino's second story, we got to see so many layers of Sino, you know. Uh, we're, we're so used to him being nice to his friends after so many patches in Genshin Impact, you know, like he's like, oh, let's play Genius Invocation TCG, Let, here's a, a random joke, but it's cool that we finally got to, you know, a nice reminder that he's still the general Mahamatra. Yeah, and it, like all of us, you have guys could tell I'm getting tired. Stories about how we <laughs> mm -hmm. came to it, and they're but all. It's really past unique, my bedtime. So. I get I cranky. Know, let, let's have some others spend their time behind the mic for this. Yeah. Who else is it? Navia! First of all, <laughs> congratulations on four years, you cute people. I, I can't wow, be mean to my I queen. I have been part of the incredible Genshin Impact universe for almost exactly a year now, and let me just say. I was instantly hooked. From the talented team at MiHoYo, and our voice directors, to the hardworking studio crew, and the players around the globe, mm -mm 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 -mm. there is such an incredible energy tying You're us so all right. together. Uh, when we started our records and I dove into Navia's emotional roller coaster of a backstory, I knew that this mm -hmm. game was something special. I, I mean, mean unironically, she got still make me tear the up most just thinking about them fleshed out non-archon character in oh, Fontaine. Oh man, Silver and Malouse. I miss those guys. They were so cool. They were funny, but man, good times. Yeah, I can't wait to meet him. I haven't gotten to that part of the game yet, so oh. uh, before we get into any spoilers, let's hear from Amber and Stephanie. Yeah. Can we already hear from Amber? Congratulations oh, there's another Amber. On the four -year anniversary. That's what Emily sounds this like? This year has been the most exciting for me. Because I get to be a part of a game that transcends not only I haven't heard her beauty, I haven't heard her but English. Also a great community of players. Emily was such a fun character to play. She's calm during stressful or terrifying situations, yet gentle when it's called for. She can read the room and sniff problems out pretty quickly too. I knew she had to be mature enough to have the smarts and kind enough to care for others. Her character impressed me every day in the studio. When I found out which character I was to play and her impact in the game, Three I was Amber on a VAs plus Amber the engineer character. Told me Emily was the main character for this update. Initially, I didn't understand, but then once we recorded more and more, it hit me. I am now part of the Genshin Impact family, which is pretty awesome. It is a true honor. Thank you for having me. Someone just call her Kakania. I still can't believe I've been in the game for years. Did someone before. just call her Kakania? It's wild to think that I started as Cloud Retainer, the NPC, but I am so proud of getting <laughs> to play her. Not only is she a character that has helped me stretch my own vocal range, but she's also so full of life and it's mystery. Also, I feel like no, I, I've and heard so Cloud Retainer. So unintentionally hilarious. I started playing her as the mysterious and not so kind Adeptus, as we all know, and every time I would return for events. I'd get to give insight into other beloved characters through some pretty funny quips or some deep. Oh, Yoko Hikasa voices Emily in the JP dub. So when I was asked, that's to give Mio, her life right? As from Kaon. Playable Shen Yun. I will forever know her as moon. that. I mean, with her human form, I would be able to share her softer side, the side that we've only had glimpses of. So one was really. <clears throat> One was really loving getting to play the funny, soft, strong, and intelligent, sassy, and loving character that she is. I mean, she is the type of character that has made Genshin Impact so special for so many people throughout the years. So, thank you so much for asking me to be her, and happy for your anniversary, Genshin Impact. You're welcome, as Genshin Impact. Aw, that please. man. Please no more. I'm a nerd for this game. I, I love Genshin Impact, and, and just hearing so many people and all of the actors in this cast just be so excited about it. it I'm not gonna lie, it made me tear up a little, and I know that folks are gonna be like, no, you didn't. And I'm like, man, it it just let makes the, my heart all let warm. Let the man inside. cry. Like, yeah. come on, let him feel. A let the man <laughs> cry. One of the things, like, the through line here for me is how we have this thing called Genshin Impact, or any story, really, mm -hmm. and all we're hearing from actors is that how it evolved. 
right? Like it, no one knows what shape it's going to take. You just release this thing into the world and then the collaborative efforts of all these people kind of morph and change and it's it's yeah. developed so organically. It's really, really cool, like a living, breathing organism, but it's just art. Yeah. It's and art. I'm just so honored that uh, I get to be a part of this, uh, of the English cast Same. with you and everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, everyone, that's a wrap okay. on to that Talks. Thanks for tuning in. Good job. These four years of Genshin Impact have wow, been Wow, that was amazing. Good job, you guys. the adventure continues on. Yeah. Already ended. God bless. Thank you guys so much for watching on YouTube, Twitch. We're going to go watch Zhao Cho's trailer. Um, YouTube, if you want to watch it live, come over to Twitch. But it will be recorded and put on YouTube in like 15 to 20 minutes. But if you don't want to wait, come over to my Twitch channel and we'll watch it together live there. But for YouTube, goodbye. I will see you guys later. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this. Bye bye. Come 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 to come to Twitch YouTube lads. We'll we'll see you over there. Oh, bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Like comment subscribe. All that fun stuff. Bye bye. All right. We are free from YouTube. All righty. Let me. Uh, guys, that was really long. Also, that was really long. Why was that so long? In why is Zhao Cho's trailer today? Like unironically, unironically, why is Zhao Cho's trailer today? To make you suffer specific Like, is it ever on the Thursday? I feel like they stopped releasing Thursday trailers. Because lately they've been doing Monday night trailers. Or, like, Friday night trailers. I feel like they haven't done a Thursday night trailer in a while. They hate him so much, bruh. So... <laughs> Is this... His banner's next week? Didn't we just have Yunli? Has it been three weeks? Oh, shit. Okay, let me change categories real quick. Alrighty, let's go over to HSR. Jow Cho Trailer React. Why did it release today? <laughs> okay, we're in the right category at least right now. Where's my king? My my hot pot king. Alrighty. <clears throat> Guys are saying hi YouTube. What's up YouTube? It is 2 a.m. for me right now. We just finished the Genshin Impact live stream, so I can finally watch Zhao Cho's trailer. I actually had no idea it was coming out today. I think I fully forgot that his banner's next week. But I am excited for my Hot Pot Kazuha nonetheless. Um, I'm getting him. I'm going to get E0. E0 S1 is what I am planning on getting because while I can admit he looks like an NPC... I, I'm not denying that. If anything, I think I say it a little too loudly. I do like him. I do like him as a character. I wish he had a little bit better design in my in, uh, more memorable design. But I like him nonetheless. It's Kazuha's voice actor. And we're here to watch it. So the, no, no beating around the bush. Let's just get right into it. What? What? Raw ingredients. What is going on? Heat. What is happening? Seasoning. What are you doing here? Exposing fake healers. Oh my god, Sushang! Mm. 
can they not make me? It's 2 a.m. Please don't make me hungry right now. It's akin to making medicine. Eat freely and don't hold back. Please do me the honor of tasting and offering. Ooh! The music? What benefits can this steak possibly have? Allow you to run faster and jump higher. Is that so? Then I'll have another plate. What is going on? Eat to your heart's content. This is just a small matter. No need to put on an act. What about this hot pot? Well, Bro, I'm a hot pot. I'm a hot pot. Arrogant. When it comes to healing, it's quite effective for treating a great assortment of pains. Limb paralysis, insomnia, and overactive dreams. Holy shit! Can have miraculous effects. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. That was awesome! The main course is done. Okay. Would you like some dessert? Wow. Is this edible? Cute. Okay, I don't think that's the best trailer they've ever made, but that part right here, I they went they went insane with Come it. Off as a bit arrogant. Like it this part, healing, this part they cooked. This transition they cooked so hard with. Pains, Literally. Paralysis, insomnia, and this this dreams. It indeed has miraculous effects. That oh my god. That's so freaking cool! The main course is done. Would you like some dessert? Wow. Okay. Okay, it made me sit up. It made me sit up. Um, we learned nothing about him, I feel. But I also, like, wasn't watching the words. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be real. I was really just, like, taking in the visuals. And, like, the amount of food that they were showing me because it's so freaking late. I've been streaming for, like, six hours now and I'm kind of hungry. So, like, they, I really wasn't expecting to get, like, just shown food. Even though, like, he has a hot pot kit. But, you know, nonetheless, nonetheless. I like that Bailu and Sushang are in it. I think that's cute. I love it when they show other characters. But, yeah. Uh, yeah God. So, the thing is, like, with Jiao Cho, while his design's not my favorite... If there's one thing that you guys need to know about me, I'm obsessed with hot pot. I love hot pot. I'm I, the fact that they made an entire character's kit based off of hot pot is absolutely insane to me. Like in the fact that it's Kazuha's voice actor, which if you guys don't know, Kazuha is my favorite character in Genshin Impact, hands down. I have a cardboard cutout of Kazuha literally behind me as we as we're speaking. And so they took my favorite food with my favorite Genshin character, mixed them together, and made a hot pot Kazuha. So yeah, I'm gonna get him, but we're not gonna e6 because no more e6s. I said this, you guys, no more e6s. If they can't make me feel the way Robin makes me feel, then I'm not gonna e6. The only character I can see doing this is Obsidian. But we don't even know when or if she's coming out. So, you know, I'm safe for now, you guys. I'm safe for now. But, oh my God. So you hate HSR Cos? I don't hate him, but this transition is so good. Blind paralysis, insomnia, and overactive dreams. It indeed has miraculous effects. I love this. That's so good. That's so good. The I like how they played with the done. music, with like the Would visual like graphic. I think they did really wow. good on that. Oh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're going to be pulling for Zhao Cho. Um, if you're skipping, if you're saving for Fei Xiao, if you're saving for Ling Xia, let me know down below. Hit that like button, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye, bye, bye guys. All right, time to post this. Goddamn.
That's actually really good. I'm actually really, I'm pleasantly surprised about that one. I think that like transition at the end really saved it. Like really saved it. I need to make the thumbnail, you guys. I can't go to sleep yet. <laughs> guys, the grind never stops. Rip, yeah. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be on Molly's stream again with Camden and Allegra. I think we're either playing Uno or Lethal Company. So if you guys want to see that tomorrow, you can. Uno will be a bloodbath. I think Uno would be actually hilarious. How do you even pronounce this word? Numinal rice? For what reason do we... Do I weep? Uh, da, 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 da. It's chilly. Add... I had some dragon breath chili. Okay, let's upload this. Um, Hot Pot Kazuha. That is going to be my title for this one. Hashtag. Um, one second, gamers. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, let's make a thumbnail real quick. Let me open Photoshop. Tripling hot pot addiction. I love hot pot. I got hot pot on Sunday. I also got hot pot last Sunday. Um, bro, why does my local disc have no storage again? It's so annoying. I probably need to just restart my computer. It had like 20 gigs yesterday. Why is it back to 200 megabytes? Um, a Windows update? Ugh, you're probably so right. Um, let me do that. I think it's this one so you guys can see. Okay. All right, guys, what frames do we think would look good for a trailer or for a thumbnail? Definitely his face. I kind of like the the nihility one where he looked really cool, like around here, and then it's like, and then and then this. I think that looks really cool, or maybe like the back shot. But it's really hard from how crazy he looks. Um, it's really hard to get like a good one. Damn, they didn't give him a 4K trailer. I think you can tell how much they like a character is if they give them a 4K trailer or not. Um. Okay, maybe... Bro, this is really hard to find a frame that I like. This is really hard, actually. I mean, I could go with this, but this feels like such like a safe option to pick. Um. Wait. Is this Team Gun? Who is this? Him? I don't know, man. I don't know. Mina, you need to sleep? Yeah, I do. I mean, this is cute. Hold on. Maybe I can use this as like a back one. And then... 
I need like a frame of him. Okay, he looks cute there. I'll just use this one. He'll be like that, and then... All right, pen tool time. Oh, maybe I should put music on. So you guys aren't just, like, in silence. Why is it installing Spotify? Hold on. One second. One moment. Um. Okay. Okay. You say you love me. I'm just looking for a joy ride tonight. I'm just looking for a good time. Burn my engine to make me purr. Beep beep. Joy ride. Motherfucker son. Beep beep. I like this song. Joy ride. Bum, bum, bum. Joyride. Joyride. Well, I am mother. Tonight, I'm just looking for a good time. I'm just covering Bailu. <laughs> Make it purr. Beep, beep, bitch. You like my sh you I like it when you edit your thumbnails during stream. Thank you. Do you like just seeing behind the scenes how my brain works? Oh, how do we do that one? Uh... I don't know if I like this background one. I feel like it's too similar to like this one. Um, I, I still want this. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I kind of like this better. Thoughts? Thoughts? I want them to look cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello again, friend of a friend. Not in a while. Oh, 
You have all your reactions. Yeah, why do you think I use the same four? Look at that. Look at that. They're all... I just use the same ones. <laughs> They're just here. All right. Good enough. Do I listen to Billy Billy Eilish? Yeah, sometimes. Actually, this looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get this posted. The way I have to be like, remember one stream you said you own that color orange. If anyone puts this exact type of text and gradient in their thumbnail in the gotcha space, they are 100% copying me. I don't know if anyone does it, but if they do, they're copying me. <laughs> I own, I own this gradient, okay? <laughs> you should take another 40 minutes making another? No. I'm actually pretty quick at making thumbnails. I feel like I, I do it uh, kind of quickly. Uh, jow -cho, jow -cho. Let me just post this real quick. Here, you guys can just look at him real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Um. Guys, I'm two hours late. Who am I? I'm never this late to a trailer. It's all Genshin's fault. All righty. I think my favorite reaction of yours is Seely's trailer. Really? I think my favorite reaction is Robin's trailer or the Akus One dance. Guys, go like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. D yep, you missed it, but you, it, I just posted it on YouTube. So you can go there and watch that. I'm going to sleep. Good night. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm tired. I've been streaming for six and a half hours. It's past my bedtime. Good night. We're not raiding anyone. I'm going to sleep. Good night, you guys. Good night. I'll see you guys on Saturday or tomorrow on Molly's channel. I will see 